Okay. Hello? Eh. Hello? Did I turn on my captions? Okay, there we go. There we are. Are we good? We're good. I am so excited. It's finally happening. We're finally... She posted once more case. Oh, you know what? You're right. Let me just pull the muzzle again. I... Uh, we're finally getting into Shadowburgers tonight. I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. Um, we got a couple notifications. Hold on. Day old turkey sub. Thank you for the... For the subby. Thank you for the sub, turkey sub. And Zach, thank you for the two months. And Alex, thank you for the six months. I'm Bongo mostly just lurk here, but hi, happy December. Happy December to you too. Oh my God, yes, it's December 1st. Where did November go? Where the fuck did November go? <laughs> like time has just been whizzing by. Did I like Wednesday? I did. We only got through two episodes. We're gonna watch more next week, but it was very, very, very good. If you figured it out, let me know. I got you, don't worry. I, I literally cannot fathom that we're already in December. Christmas is on its way. I don't like that. <laughs> I like Christmas, but I don't like knowing that it's about to get motherfucking cold. Dale turkey hits different, does it though? Do we like the day after turkey? Is that a thing? I don't like meat when it's too old. Or I don't like meat when it's old at all. Yo! I missed your crying stream cause work, but happy to be here now to watch the one and only Sylph Sire Nosebleed Sire <laughs> Nosebleed. You know, thank you for the four months reset. I appreciate it. Well, you know what? I'm probably going to be crying again because everyone told me that Shadowbringers is sad. So don't worry, you didn't miss as much as you think. Day old pizza does slap. I love me some cold pizza. It's our birthday, which is exciting. Oh, happy birthday, Devil's Eyes. Happy birthday. The cold equals skating and snowboarding. Okay, Terry, you know what? You may be right. The cold also means cuddling, which is great. But I have arthritis. I don't like the cold. I know Mariah Carey and Michael Bublé both defrosted this morning. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. What's a self? It's a Syra. I'd like to follow. It doesn't really go below freezing here, so winter's cool enough for my coat, but too warm for my coat if I walk anywhere. Oh, that's not fun. That's like early autumn for us. I never know if I can actually wear a coat or not. Like, if I wear a coat, will I overheat or will it be just right, you know? I finally figured out what one of the issues with my stream was. So I have not had my pink light on. I had it purple for a while and it was making my stream look super like blue and like too cool toned. Now we're good. I was wondering why my skin always looks so like washed out. This is better. It's happening. It's happening, oranges. It's finally happening. We're finally getting into Shadowbringers. I'm very excited. We're gonna be rewatching the Shadowbringers trailer as well. I really wanna, I wanna watch it again. I wanna get excited. I wanna get hyped. This is what didn't shut you out. It didn't. Yeah, it might take a hot second. I'll give it a while. Sometimes the, the Discord bot is like right on top of it, and other times it takes a minute. I noticed a giant Kibu and yeah, he's been there for a while. And I got a Mew and I got my giant Eevee and y'all can't see her, but I have a massive ditto right here. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Hi Vince! I know it's time! It's time! Hi Stacy! So Vince, hot cocoa, winter fashion, snow if you live in one of those places. Best season confirmed. You know what? Winter fashion does actually slap. I will say that much. I love me some winter fashion. Or you know what? No, 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 no. I don't care for winter fashion to a degree because that means like overlayering. I love late autumn fashion. Can you give me a sub? Emmy, hello! Your bot is not immediate. I'm glad I checked Discord. I'm glad you did too. How are you? How are you, Kelsey? Hi, classic. I hope you realized that like, you weren't getting into Shadowbringers until 2023. <laughs> look. 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 Listen. I didn't think... You know what? Okay. <laughs> I'm embarrassed because I, I agree. I started this game a year ago. 
I started playing this game a year ago. OMG Red, is that you, my best friend? <gasps> Vincent, thank you for gifting Emmy a sub. Emmy, welcome to the Covenant with your bedroom in your stay. Is hoodie in shorts fashion? Absolutely not, honey. Dentist! Thank you for gifting 10 community subs. I really appreciate it. I can just sub with my covenant with your badge months and your stay. Yeah, so I don't know what to expect from Shadowbringers. Um, apart from Anthony Bridgerton. He's back. And Grahatia is voiced, finally, and it's by Anthony Bridgerton. So something is happening with the Crystal Tower. Minfilia is back, but like reborn as a baby. Thancred shaved, and he's a tank. He's Tancred. Ishtola and Orianger are okay, and Orianger now has a face. It's not just the goggles. The fuck? What else was there? Oh my god! All the babies, all my babies. Okay, I okay, okay, okay. So in the trailer, we saw the scions, and most of them are okay. But I don't know about Alfino and Alize, and I'm so scared. My sweet baboos, my babies. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Ah, where are the twins? Where are my boobas? I want my boobaloos. Um, what else did we discover from the trailer? Oh, there's this big white woman. But it's just like it's a it's a primal. I'm guessing that the that meteor was fighting. Um, God, I don't. Oh, oh, there is Solus, Rat Man. This man is a rat, and I I may I may be into him. <laughs> the primal's me, yes, Kelsey. <laughs> um, there's a big Rat Man. Okay, I have a theory. Wait, I have a theory. Is everyone here? Did my bot finally shout me out? It did. Thank God. All right, cool. Hi, mommy. Hello, Grinch. Is everyone else knock? Yes, baby Minfilia! Baby Minfilia Moo! I feel like I was too lewd about Orianger because it comes to a moderation setting. You gotta be a good boy. Good boy, good girl. Everybody's gotta be... Everybody's gotta be good on their best behavior. Well, thank you for the hydration. Speaking of, I need to get some water. You know what? Let me do that really quickly. Let me grab some water. Remember that time Gratia told us you were the bane of my existence, the object of my desires? <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite lines, okay? I, look, I know Jonathan Bailey is a beautiful gay man, but Anthony Bridgerton? Enemies to lovers when?
Thank you for the two month free sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Any Bridget is a hot himbo that doesn't know how to communicate. <laughs> no one knows how to communicate. I know. Communication in Bridgerton is not a thing. Hi, CJ. Hello. Are you on Jay's I don't. I don't know if I find him hot yet. I still just view him as Shakespeare. He's just. He's just my Shakespeare man. You know. I can never say enough. This song is amazing and it's so relaxing. Low by way, what song is it? Is it, is it this one? Or was it the Doma theme? Oh. Whatever the hell the Great Wood theme is? That. That? Don't look it up. Oh, it's a Shadowbringer song? Oh, I come bringing Ladu. Hello! Thank you for the Ladu. I appreciate it. How are you, SVB? Hi, Lonely. Hello. Hi, Fennis. Everyone go hot in <laughs> Shadowbringers? No, you're so right. You're so right. At least from what I can see. From what I can see, at least. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm good, but sleepy. Yeah, isn't it like fucking 1 a.m. for you right now? Hi, Carnage. Carnage, I think I saw you blow me a kiss in game. I think that was you. <laughs> hey, Vlad. Hello, hello. I'm waiting for Sarnix to get here. And then we can begin. It do be 1 a.m., but I do be degenerate. Perfect. That means you can hang here. When are you playing Final Fantasy XIV with me? You're crossing in this part. Thank you. I'm the inmate glams. Hell yeah. Hi, Atka. Whatever happened to the pale but hot horned elf girl with the twin siblings that was like a faction leader or something in Final Fantasy whatever out of curiosity? Hot horned elf girl with the twin Ah, uh, the, uh, the elder seer? Her? Oh, or Yugi? Hi, Albin. If you're willing to teach a complete noob the ways, and I'll play. Oh, absolutely! Look, 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 look. Look. Final Fantasy XIV is incredibly easy to get into. I will 100% guide you through it. I may not be... I may not be, like, the best, but I, I will hold your hand. It's very simple. It plays just like any other RPG. There isn't really too much to learn. The game is very beginner-friendly. If I can do it, the dumbest person I know, then you can too, okay? And I know you're smart. And also, yes, my community is also willing to help. We can do raids together and stuff. We'll guide you. I saw Blessing was getting at you the other day. He was not getting at me. He was just tweeting me, okay? He's very sweet from what I can see so far. <laughs> yeah, the Elder Seeds here is not an elf. She's something. I don't remember what she's called, but she's not that. Thick Bick. Thank you for the prime sub. I mean, you can't be calling yourself dumb anymore, honey. The more you talk to me, the more you'll realize how dumb I am. Trust me. Hi, Zax. I'm gonna tweet in the server that I know you will like. Did you? Does someone put me in charge of queuing for shipping because I fucked that up? I fuck it up all the time, too. Don't worry. Okay, you the War of Light. It's been over 10 minutes since you lost the worship and now you have to really emphasize him, to him how much you missed him. What is this? Attack or shown. POV, you are the warrior of light, and it's been over 10 minutes since you last saw Orshva, and now you have to really emphasize to him how much you missed him. That's so cruel! That is so cruel. Hey, they follow me. That is so cruel! That's so mean! Oh. Y'all are bullies. Y'all are fucking bullies. Oh, hello. Oh, I get head pass. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> well, 
Thank you for showing me that. I literally, literally scared me. Literally made me upset. <laughs> that's my little purple cat. Oh, that's you? Well, I knew that. I knew that. Thank you for the head pass. Are you in Gridania? I am in Gridania. I'm just idling over here for a little bit. Here, I'll turn off the in-game music so we can just um, hang here. There, y'all can y'all can come find me if you want. I'm just in Gridania on Goblin. <sighs> you are so cruel, though. So mean. Oh, they follow me. What? They do? I just saw that. That doesn't look. It wasn't them. That like upset me. It was who was it? Zach that tagged me in it. Zach's? Yeah. Fuck you, Zach's. <laughs> Let me come over and say hi. Bet. Bet. Yeah, no, that's just cruel. <gasps> hi, dentist. Oh, I get my head pads. Oh, I get my head pads. Okay, where's Sarnix? I wanna, I wanna start spitting theories, but I don't wanna spit him when he's not here. Oh, he is here. I see him. He's, he's in the, he's in the mod list. Okay. So, I have a few theories. None of them are right. <laughs> or maybe they are, I don't know. But, I, okay, so, I'm, <laughs> let me, let me, big, let me brain blast this, okay? And no one confirm nor deny that's the whole point, okay? I don't want to know. So, I have a theory already. So, Solus, okay, I was talking about this in the last stream. Solus is an Asian. So that means his name is not Solus Valglabgarbus Galvagbarbus. That's not so. Waldo, come here, come here. What's going on? Anyways, so. So he can't be a Garlean because he's an Asian, unless Asians are Garleans, but I don't know how that, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense. And then they mentioned that there are, that there are three Asians. So there's Laha Bread, there's Edible, and then there's Emmet. So I'm, I'm under the assumption. Laha Bread, Laha Bread and Edible. I don't fucking... Edibidibis. Ed edib edible. So that's my that's my theory. There. I don't know how Grahatia is back. But I know that's him. I know that's Grahatia. I know. Because I, I, Anthony fucking Bridgerton voices him and I know that voice. Oh, I know that voice. I listened to that voice real long. Souls on edibles? He is. Okay, let me see what the hell my dog wants. What else? Oh my god. We're all we're all matching. We all match! Look at us! Matchy matchy. Um Is he back though? I don't know! I think he's back! Cause I know I know Anthony Bridgerton voices him! Um I'm trying to think. I know I had some other theories that I was like guesstimating. I am really excited about about Gaius though. How he's here and now he's helping us. See now, th so that's a redemption arc that I like. This game likes to use VAs for multiple characters, so keep that in mind. That's true. Wasn't th wasn't um Thancred like everywhere in Alamigo? Every Thancred was everywhere. He was Alamigo. He is Alamigo. Seventeen months. Wow. Love Cassie, this community. Thank Purple you for Heart. the seventeen months. Thank you. Ignore the guy in white. The guy in white. Is that you? Where's your cat boy? I thought you had a cat boy. Did you get rid of your cat boy? D Dude, Gaius is so hot. 
Ishtola, Ishtola's VA also voices a couple of characters? Fuck. Now I'm sad. That's you? Okay, that's you, Adrian. Okay. I meant he ain't matching? Oh, yeah. Well, now he is! Look! Now we all match! They reuse VAs? Fuck. Okay, so then maybe it's... So then maybe it's not Grahatia. But no! Grahatia was locked in the Crystal Tower shenanigans! Because remember, we were running and he was like, No, I must stay. Go. And I was like, Okay! <laughs> and, and and he looked all blue and crystally, and they showed the Crystal Tower in the... In the... In the... Um, uh, in the... In the... Uh, the You're naked. Put clothes on. In the... Uh, in the... In the trailer! Speaking of, let's uh, boot up the trailer real quick. Uh, Shadow Bringers trailer. I'm not gonna do it in game simply because I don't wanna log out. So we're gonna do it like so. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go straight to YouTube. We're gonna rewatch this. It's six minutes, Jesus. We're gonna rewatch the trailer and then we're gonna get straight into it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? <laughs> oh shit, um... <laughs> I'll start spitting. I'll start spitting. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, and homeboy was just job switching? Like, mid-battle? Why can't I do that? That shit was sick! Mmm. So that's like the um was that like the like the Garlean emblem stuff thingies? Oh god, this trailer is so good. This trailer is so good. Hey gutter! Years have come and gone since Look, it's Jay! Day. It's Jay! And Miss Ashley Tisdale. <gasps> oh, wait, and Asian is also in Ashley Tisdale. Moment. Fuck, never mind. My other theory might be wrong. Wait, did we figure out who was in Ashley Tisdale yet? The one that stood alone against the storm. My theory could have been so wrong. I don't. Oh! So good. So good. For the one they called. So good. Oh, this trailer, the, the graphics. Of light. It's so good. Just to battle stuff like that. Stranger Paradise, more action RPG though. What is Stranger Paradise? Is that a different game? Is the lore for this hard to understand? No, no. Um, the lore for Final Fantasy XIV is not really hard to understand if you are willing to actually pay attention to the story. Um, they do a pretty good job of getting you like up to speed with things. Again, Xenos and his army at the end of uh, Stormblood. But I don't think there were any trees there. Oh yeah, and he calls her Master Matoya! Fate or defy it, but we cannot deny it. God, he's so pretty! He's so pretty! Deny. I am not wont to run from my trouble. Mummy, 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 mummy. Mummy, 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 mummy. Oh, oh, it's so cool. No! And boom. Like, where is this? It, it better not be Gradania. 
It better not be Gridania. I live there, I bitch. Hold the line. <gasps> the fat cats? I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Like, I don't understand this. So does this game, like, enforce the idea of reincarnation? This town certainly has changed. Also, Homeboy needs some lip balm. His lips would look at ashy as fuck. He's a tank! Tank grid! Tank grid! This shit's so cool. This shit is so cool. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Minfilia. Oh my, look at her! Oh! Her eyes, though! She's got no pupils? Like, what's going on there? Look at the little moogies! They got blue thingies! Where is this? Is this outside of the Crystal Tower? Because this looks like the Crystal Tower. Okay, so y'all told me that this is not an actual character in game. This was just them showing you that Vieras will now be available. And same with the Dancer class. Like, th like this is just like previewing those, right? Like Gunblade. Dancer, Viera. This is so cool. This tragedy, greater even. I'm. This is. I'm telling you, this is Grahatia. I can't see his ears. The hood is concealing his ears. But I. In my. In my heart. In my soul. I, that's gotta be him. It's gotta be the return of the. Oh. If history must be unwritten. Let it be unwritten. Oh, I love that line. Become <laughs> what you must. <laughs> ah! 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 All of my Dark Knight leveling has become canon! I am canon! <laughs> It's so cool. <laughs> this is Tancred. <laughs> ah! 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 It's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm scared. I'm ready, but I'm scared. Wait, what happened to my internet? Did my stream like die? Or are we good? Pre-order now. Sure. I'll pre-order it. Seems like a good game. We're good? Everything's perfect? I can't see you. Who are you? Oh, wow. That's a that's a cute gathering. Oh my god, Mark, you actually signed in. Oh? Who this? Who's this little fella? Utopa Multopa? It's nice to meet you. Alright. Well. Oh my god, look how Look at us! We're all matching! We all look spooky! Okay, now show me your weapons. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hi, Owen. All right. Okay. I don't... Did I... I needed to pick up the quest in the Rolling Stones, was it? Because I don't think I actually have it. Or maybe I do. Fuck. Maybe I do? No, it does not look like I do. Alright! Are we ready? Is it actually hap- Are we- Oh my god. Why am I so excited? Is it happening? Are we doing this? Are we doing it? Am I- Is it hap- It's happening? It's happening? The Rolling Stones? Oh, the Revenant's Toll. <laughs> is that what I said? Did I say the Rolling Stones or did I say the Rising Stones? Isn't it called the Revenant? <laughs> This was when they ori originally, uh, initially re revealed it. Wait, is this one different? Bro, I'm not watching no crowd reaction. Why would I wa- You just- You just watch my reaction. I just- Why are we gonna watch the crowd reaction? Sarnix, get the fuck out of here. It's so hyped though. Bro, no! No! Okay, let me turn up the game a bit, because I feel like it's a little bit quiet. 
Become the warrior of Patness? <gasps> oh, I get half pass. Thank you. I think we go in. We go in here. We do. Sorry, I said fuck them fans. Why am I gonna watch? It, it's a y'all click the link. It's the world's shittiest quality. The audio is gonna be bad. It's just gonna be a lot of like Bleh! in your ears. Mm -mm. Okay. I went the wrong way. Wait, who the fuck is this? Wait, I don't remember this person. I said, oh, they gave me quests, I think. I think they were giving me quests, but I don't remember how they got here. I don't remember if that was part of like the MSQ or not. I need some hair pills. I don't know. Oh, my ears keep flipping. Slipping, flipping, slipping, dipping, flibbity, flabbidin, flabbidi, oh, it's Tataru. Or I'll have it. Oh, I'm in, st I'm still in just chatting. Oh my god, let me switch that. Final fantasy. 14 online. Yeah, thank you, babes. Okay, Tataru's itching to share what happens, but appears to be good news. <gasps> I like good news. I love the sound of that. Good news, Pepper. We've had a stroke of luck in our search for that beacon. Apparently, our colleagues have... Our colleagues? Our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the Crystal Tower. Oh, I'm really glad I can see my reaction. A path I doubt we'd ever have have found had the ironworks and the suns not added the numbers to the party. Next to them, we have eager eyes aplenty down there, checking under rocks and peering into every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there's a lot of ground to cover. Um, then we'd better go and give them a hand. Sounds like tedious work, but on tedious is weighing around, I suppose. Um, yeah, that one. Exactly. So I was thinking we should go and lend a hand. The sooner we find the beacon, the sooner you can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And the sooner we can work out how to help our friends. We have to find a way to wake them up and before the Empire comes calling again. Meaning we have no time to lose. So true, bestie. So true, bestie. There's a boat in North Silvertier waiting to ferry people to the site. So let's be on our way. Silvertier. Oh, isn't that by the, um, like where we picked up the quest originally? Oh shit. The quest acceptance sound? Did y'all hear that? Was that just like a guitar riff? <laughs> Bro, Shadowbringers is about to be edgy as fuck. Okay, my ears are not stabilizing. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. I think I can fly here, so I'm not gonna have to call an Uber. Wait, what? What's happening? What are y'all complaining about? That's the tank chest I use. Isn't it cute? It's so fucking good. Okay, wait, I went the wrong way. <laughs> no, I'm changing. What the fuck? You don't want to match with me? I see how it is. Okay, so we gotta go this way. I want to be able to dye my to die my abyss set, but I can't. I have the gauntlets and I have the chest, but they're not dieable and it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. That'll land small, hello. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, how far do we have to go though? I think it was like down here? Yeah, further down. Much further down. The keeper of the lake? It's by a dungeon. What dungeon was there? A keeper of the lake? What was that one? Oh, is it over here? Is she there? Oh, there we go. Ferryman. Hello. Head to the survey site, madame. It's on the eastern shore of the lake and the swiftest way to get there is by boat. Yeah, you gotta take me. Let me turn my glam to something spooky before I go. Welcome, sire, to Shadowbringers. <laughs> As you should. Oh, oh, it's so misty. Oh, Hori's here. It's so misty. Is that an aura? Who is this? 
Is she cute? What are you? Nope, that's just a fucking bow. You're a normie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any day now. Oh. looking through some rubble, as you do. Just another day. Look how many people Poison. there are. Uh, let me know how the audio Should is, we get chat. to it, then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like, and we'll make ourselves a pile. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We found bugger all without you. Figs! Wedge! The babies. He looks like a red onion. Aye, aye. Well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse called it the chief of some other business. So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Thrice as hard, even. Thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. Alrighty. Oh. I'm not seeing anything out here. Yeah, well, you're looking like this. You gotta you go through the rubble. The wedge? And get stuck halfway. Okay, that's. Is it no, because he's you. small? Come on. I could try if you like. Girl, y'all are the same size. What if you get Tataru, stuck? Tataru, no. We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Girl, okay. What did I find? Main character moment. Did I find it? What did I... Sorry, I, I meant to say, the scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far. But in. I found a thing, and it looks like a compass or something. Hmm. What's that you maybe got there? Maybe that's the beacon. Now that looks promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? No. Oh no! Now I have you. You are right. What's happening? <laughs> me too, girl. Stay with me. Focus on my voice. I'm focusing. I'm listening. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. This is kind of lewd. Wait, this must be it. The device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. What do you mean it's supposed to happen? The mind fucking thing? The gates that we may pass. They are wide! Journey, They're wide! Find Alfred. Wait, what do you mean safe, safe journey? Room. Where am I going? I came here for an expedition! You knew this would happen to me? No, no, no! Oh my god, am I knocked the fuck out? I'm knocked the fuck out now, aren't I? Oh my god. I found God. All right. I'm in the heavens. I've died. Game's done. Roll credits. That's it. GG's. Oh, it's so pretty, though. One of those just went into my eyeball. Oh, uh, oh, okay. They're, like, clipping into my... Oh, where am I going? Don't look up my skirt. Am I... Am I diving? My babies! My babies! Oh, do not look at me so. This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you! I say your spirit is a We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still, it came to this.
Your time has not yet come. <laughs> Why not? After that, I think it has. You can put me out of my misery. I'm good. <sighs> Y'all knew that would happen? <laughs> Y'all knew that would happen? <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking me. It's him! It's Arnfold! Arthur, whatever. Oh. Was, was it him that was beckoning me? Because that was my first guess. Did you show me, my man? Was that your doing? I'm not okay. Oh, I look so pretty. I look so peaceful. It's all purple. Oh, is this the place from the trailer? Uh, this actually does not look right. Oh, it's so pretty. Where the fuck am I? Why is it all purple? I like it. I'm not complaining. It's aesthetic, but... It's like... It's like if someone took the hue, like, bar and made it all purple, you know? Like... When you're tinkering with the hue and it kind of like changes the color. From endless so, oh. dreams I awake. Was it him? Is that a foot? Is that Something a big foot? Oh vague. no, it's just a ripple. Of the Yet sky. urgent calls me to action once more. <laughs> I thought that was a big foot. It looked like a foot. Elkabo. Where's my controller? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ugh. Rare to meet someone out here is not a peddler himself. Isn't that, that him? brings you into the wilds this time of night. Or no, maybe it's not. It kind of looks like him though. Actually, I think that guy had white hair instead. Um, what do you mean this time of night? It's, yeah, it's bright as fuck. <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. My okay, granddad, God rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman at kicking out time. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk, you. Yeah, this is the night. this is the guy from the prologue and the guy who like <sighs> takes us to Camp yeah. Dragonhead, right? <sighs> that hurt to say. <laughs> Over a hundred bleeding <laughs> Is he dead? Ago, Is that why he's here too? <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop. You got that look down to a T. I can't stop I picturing Orshifon's dying it. face in my brain right now. I keep seeing ah, it. Ah, <laughs> got to you, did they? <laughs> the trauma. <laughs> That explains it then. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm about to get fucked up with this guy. What do you mean no? Take a swig after that shit, you sure people. Well, I've roads to travel and wares to sell. But you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Just head east through the trees and aim for the Shining Tower. You'll find the place soon enough. It is the biggest settlement for Malms around. So this has to be the place from the trailer then. Because it had like the tower, now, it had like pinky purple They'll trees. Take good care of you in the Crystarium. The Crystarium? Is that, is, is that like a town surrounding the 
Crystal Tower? Not a very, uh, not a very uh, clever or unique name, but I guess it's fitting. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. To dizzying heights it rises, the gleaming spire. Its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. There, it will all begin anew. Between dark and light, the pure and the corrupt. The one true struggle. That's the warrior of darkness, I think. There it is. There it is. And so it begins. And so it begins. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Will I be able to come back? Sorry. Will I be able to come back here to, um, to, like, G-Pose? Because this shit's gorgeous. Oh, my name is, like, lost in the trees. Thank you, thank you. Ugh. Why are you all smiling? I- I'm getting mixed signals from chat. It's one of the main zones? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I, why are you smiling? Why are you smiling? Don't worry about- What the fuck? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <gasps> I don't- I don't have any other words apart from like, it's so pr Like, are you fucking shitting me? Hold on. Fuck it. We do a- we do a little- we do a little pose. We're gonna- we're gonna do a little- a little- shit. Where am I typing? I typed in sit somewhere, but I don't know where I typed it. And we'll do it like, like that. And like, uh, like so. Boom. All right. The ant, the assess, the ascensor gate, ascensor gate. Halt. No. <gasps> Viera? <gasps> oh. Mommy? Every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. Oh, her... Her voice? This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. I will answer any question you, uh, place in front of me. From where do you hail? Redania? Oh, fuck, it says Limsa Lamenta because that was my first place. What? Where was the source? I don't remember where the source is. Ah, fucking Limsa Lamenta. Limsa Lamenta! Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. <gasps> Had you given me an honest hey! answer, ah! I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin. Is that Cypher? Instead, you chose Is that Cypher? And I will not suffer you to pass. Is that Cypher? What the fuck? It sounds like Cypher. It. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I heard. I heard a little bit of her in there. Also, what was that? Oh, Crystal. Hey, look! It's got loot. Go get it. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Can someone Ring look it up for me? Because I don't want spoilers. It's not. No. No. Fuck. Yeah, just really close. <gasps> Oi! Aww. Damn. Well, at least he had a he had a drink before he died. Who this? You got toes. Everything all right, Captain? For free. Are those six toes? No, those are five. That's him! That's him! That's Hi, Grahatia! Right, Lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. 
That's gotta be him. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. Ooh, Waldo hair everywhere. The cheeks look the same. But I see you met my guest. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself. Your if you guest? Have no Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Very well. I'll what inform is the others place? your guest is to be given the run of the city. 100% on Smash? Hell yeah. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Okay. Wait, that seemed kind of suspicious. Oh, it's so cutscene. Weren't I literally just here? Where did we... What ha... What? Right then. Before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. I didn't really have much of a choice. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. That you are still able to make the crossing unharmed is... a great relief. What do you mean by that? And I could so have died? We come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, that makes no sense having to been me. awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. It does look like it's just me that came here, but um, I appreciate that. Oh, wait, no, because the rest are- <gasps> Am I going to be reunited with them? Are they here? Are they waiting for me? Are they waiting for me? Please tell me they are! Please, I gotta know! Are they here? I gotta know! I wanna see my babies! Ah, that is a question with no simple answer. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. Bro. Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. Oh, turn a off slow mode. Just put it on a mode only. Everything in its path. Just do a mode only. More than nine tenths of this star was lost, and the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. The white one, right? And not the guy who offered me a drink? <laughs> it was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. <clears throat> And though it meant depriving a world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, you would bring salvation to the source as well. I don't remember what the source is. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, but what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. Am I dumb? <laughs> yeah, Syra lost. <laughs> Cyra lost. I can feel my nails. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't find my nails anymore. Seems like the cutscene is over. It's walking time. I've entered a sanctuary. It's now walking time. All right, you could take off a mode only mode. Um, do not be surprised if my mods delete a bunch of your messages. No spoilers. No helpful hints. Etc. Etc. Oh. Cutscene again? Long time to- oh. Oh, don't put on follower only, Mo. It's fine.
My chat will fight you if you ruin my experience. And I will fight you too. This is so pretty! Look at those trees! Oh, that reminds me. Let me mute alerts too. Such a proud and vibrant city. Okay, well, I can't right now. Oh, it's so pretty. The soul sanctuary for the living in Prokar. a world all but resigned to oblivion. And bunnies! Each stone was laid with hope. The town Pumpkin. itself a symbol. A monument to defiance in the face of death. This is so cute. <gasps> no would-be hero could fail to answer its call. Me. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? Are they all living in harmony? Or that's that's the agalazilagaojalalzilagaalosoglaza. I don't remember what they're called. Wingy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. I did great. Yeah, I got it in one try. I did it. I nailed it! And here we are. Welcome, my friend, to the Crystarium. Oh, White Oak Weapon Coffer. Wait, what are these? Oh. <gasps> All right. Deep Gold Claymore? Is it ugly? Oh god, I have so many weapons. It's kind of neat. Is it better than what I have right now? It is not. All right. The Crystal Exarch uh, has a request for you. Alrighty. What is it, babes? Now, a full, a full and frank discussion in the privacy of my studio would seem to be in order. But I think our conversation would be more meaningful were you first to gain a firmer grasp of the situation here. To that end, I would like you to visit a few of the Crystarium civic leaders and glean something of this world and its predicament. Sure. Is that their etherite? As you can see, this path will take you directly to the etherite, a convenience with which I am sure you are only too familiar. Being the rightful object of my summoning spell, you should in theory be able to reach all the way back along your etheric trail and find a connection in the source, believe it or not. I strongly suggest you complete this attunement before venturing any further. Thank you, I'm glad someone is reminding me to do this. <laughs> After you have done so, walk up the steps next to the etherite and head out to the left and to arrive in the crystalline mean. This is where you'll find our collective of crafters and gatherers, as well as a spokeswoman, Catless, one of the people I should like you to meet. All right. Another is Morin. To reach him is and his cabinets of curiosity, you'll want to avoid the uh, aforementioned steps. Take the exit to the left and simply continue straight along and down until you come to large doors at the end of the path. So down there. And then in here in this rotunda, the third and final person I should like you to meet is Bragi, a man, um, a man in trade, in charge of trade and distribution. He is to be found at the markets, which you can access from the opposite side of the Etherite Plaza. Sounds good. And seeing out each of my colleagues, you will visit the major districts of the city and hopefully gain a feel for the place. I trust my directions were simple enough. Crystal clear. That's a terrible pun, Pepper. Ha! Very good. I concede the layout of the Crystarium owes more to historic necessity than planning, but I'm sure you'll learn its twists and turns before long. Look, it can't be worse than Limps Elements, all right? In all honesty, the true challenge may be, fi may be in finding the right way to approach its citizens. As you discovered during your encounter with the captain, uh, the people of this world are unaware of the existence of other stars. Oh! And will struggle to accept the truth of your- Oh! Oh, like I'm in a completely different w Oh, that being the case. Well, they ask once you hail, as they inevitably will, I suggest you claim to share a homeland with the Crystal Exarch. There is an unspoken rule here about peering too deeply into that particular mystery. All right, sounds good. We're hoes, I mean, we're bros. <laughs> we're bros. When you finished making the rounds, pray meet me in the large courtyard at the center of town. Until then. <laughs> <laughs> Your character is so pretty. Thank you, Mahal. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh, I got a hair in my mouth.
Okay, got it. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, are you fucking shitting my dick right now? Oh, I'm gonna piss. Oh, this place is beautiful. <gasps> Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hello. I've arrived. All right, now move. I got places to go and people to see. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. That was mean. That was mean. I do, I do a little, I do a little, I do a little bow. And now I go, fuck y'all, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for greeting me at the entrance. <laughs> All right, let me attune. <laughs> Gone like a fart in the wind. I did it, I attuned. By focusing your senses, you took the flow of vastly distant currents of ether. Your connection to these energies is faint but stable, and did Sarnix just slap me? Did I just get slapped? Uh, distant currents of ether. Your connection to these energies is faint but stable, and should allow teleportation to etherites in the source. <gasps> Hi, friends! Hi, friends! Hi, friends! I have friends! I have friends! Wee! Y'all coming with me? We gotta go up this way. Let's go. Let's raid this place. Come on. Let's um raid the crystal tower, if you will. <laughs> I think he said it's like in here. Um, I'm already lost. Um, speak with Catlin. Oh, right, this way. Okay, I'm following the map. I'm doing mappy things. So he said to speak to Catlin. God, this is so. <gasps> This is so pretty! Everything is so crystally. So is this before like things went to shit then, I guess? I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go, right? Catboy. Catboy? For me? Rare to see a place so well stocked with goods, isn't it? But not here. I'm going to guess you're new to our fair city. Well, for what it's worth, you've chosen a fine sanctuary. The exarch can throw up a barrier if the Sinead has come knocking, so it's a damn sight safer. It's a damn sight safer in here than it is out there. Hey, they got one of those little, like, roly-poly guys! Safer and more civilized too, thanks to us in the main. We work together to procure materials and resources and craft the goods which make city life possible. This is the place to visit if you need a coat mended or a kettle forged. Nice! Just don't go thinking it'll be all handed to you on a plate like those you will more and layabouts. We're in the Crystarium, we work for a living. Though I see you're no stranger to honest labour, you don't have that whiff of indolence about you like some folk I've met. Indolence, rather, I think that's how you pronounce it. Still, I can't quite pin down your profession. Where's it you're from? One of the exarch's countrymen, you say? I see. Yeah, we're hoes. <laughs> well, then, I'll work twice as hard to make you feel welcome. I said he wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him, and any friend of his is a friend of ours. Well, I almost tried saying a friend of mine, but then I saw that it said ours, and it turned into ours. But, you know, it's really quite incredible when you think about it. They say his grand magic summoned the Crystal Tower into... His grand magic summoned the Crystal Tower into existence, pulled the entire thing out of thin air. It wasn't long before droves of refugees began congregating around its base, desperate for shelter after losing their homes to the flood. And that's how the Crystarium began. At the Exarch's invitation, buildings started growing, uh, going up, and with the help of some curious relics brought forth from the tower, the place gradually expanded to the thriving metropolis you see today. I don't even know if she has an accent. The city stood here for decades now, yet the eldest among us swear the Exarchs looks, ex looks exactly the same as he did back then. Oh, wait, what? He's indeed a man of many mysteries, but for all his secrecy, he has never yet to let us down. So if he and you wish to remain silent about your shared homeland, then the folk here will respect your wish for privacy. I am, however, more than a little curious to see any craft intelligence you might be hiding. If you want to contribute on that front, be sure to come back and visit once you've had a chance to settle in. No, I'm good. Just ask for Catalyst and I'll find you a niche here in the, crystal in the crystalline mean. You can help us keep the cogs of the city greased and turning. Your exchange with Catalyst has taught you about life in the Crystarium. Thanks. Alright, and so then the next place is all the way over here and I have to go... Can I go up this way? What's up here? What's over here? Ooh! 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 Hey, 
I got that I got that same I got that same weapon. Look, I got it too. Oh, I lied. It's actually not the same weapon. This is really embarrassing. Never mind. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um Oh! A little fella. Let me attune to this. Oh, they're so pretty here. Look at them. It's very blocky. It's not like carved like the ones back in Eorzea. These ones are like. Okay, let's see. Can I? No. Okay, so I do just have to go down. Can I? Can I jump? Can I leap? No, I think I have to take the stairs. Your British accent's getting better. It's not that it's getting better. It's just I have different versions of it. <laughs> yes, we're in Shadowbringers. We brought the shadows. Oh, there's another one right here. My harem, indeed. And so they come. My group just keeps getting smaller and smaller, it seems. <laughs> Andale, andiamo, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna have to just go back downstairs, and I think it's here. Yeah, that's the ether, right? Okay, so now I have to go into the basement. I think is what he said. <gasps> Look at that! Look at this crystal flooring! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there's another etherite over here. Perfect. Wait, no. Etherite's the big one. Ethernet's the little one, right? I think that's how that works. What do you mean, Dark Knight? Yo, what were these guys called again? The Ajala Jagla La Jala. The Aja Jaja Gala Jaja Aja Laga Jaga Gaja Um Um Jaja I feel like I'm just speaking like Daenerys now. Ija Gula Jigja Joja. Rene Torico Jagula Jajijo. You know? Like. Amalja. I was close! The Amalja! See? Well, that's what I said. I said that. How you're speaking Dothraki. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite fluent in it. Ooh! Plants! Oh my god, this place is so pretty. I want to go see the plants. I want to see the pl What? Plants! Tree! Oh, this is the alchemy thing that they were showing me in the little cutscene. Hey, you've heard of Mad Lad, but how about Mao Lad? Okay. Now we're going this way. Now we're going this way. <gasps> oh, this is so this is so pretty. It looks so pointless, but it's so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, okay. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what if we just Oh, um, I'm a little short. Y'all. I'm I'm a little short. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's G post time. It's G post time. It's G post time. It's 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 the posing of the G time. It's the posing of the G time. Um what's a what's a good pose? What's a what's a good pose? What's a good pose? Actually, I'm not even going to open up G pose. I'm just going to do it like here. Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little cheer wave. I'm just gonna do a little cheer wave. Um, I'm taking it this way, actually, y'all. You're facing the wrong way. Wait, do we want to do it that way? No, this is not as cute. No, gotta get the trees in the back. There you go. You get in there. No? <laughs> Same with Lala. As, at least the Lala fall can kind of like peek between. <laughs> I think that's cute. I can't see Orange's face, but we ball. Hold on. Let me just, let me just, oh. I think, I think, I think that's good. I think, wait, wait. Let me, let me get the right, let me get the right, the right angle. I think that works. There's some, there's a straggler back there. Wow, wow, wow. And she took off her hat for this. Perfect. Wow! 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 
Let me get that little. Eh. Wow. Okay, that's it. All right, we're good. <laughs> Okay, so now I still need to go back and find Morn in the Cabinet of Curiosity. I think I'm definitely going the wrong way. So I have to go this way? Is this where I came from? This doesn't look like where I came from. Oh, perfect, I'm going the right place, the right way. Okay, so let's tune here. Thank you for the photo, everybody. <laughs> CJ, you got lost and y'all bullied me. <gasps> Oh, I feel like Belle. <gasps> oh, this is so pre- This is so pretty, chat. Oh my god. The aesthetic of the Crystallarium is amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go up. <gasps> Ooh. Did I pass them? Oh, did I not go? Did I miss the steps? Did I miss the stairs? Oh, I did. I totally missed the stairs. <laughs> I thought I was still going up. Found them. Crystarium. Oh, Crystarium. Crystarium. Got it. Uh, excuse me, miss. Are you recently come to the city, perchance? I'm quite familiar with our civic roles, you see, and well. <clears throat> What I mean to ask is, have you brought any books with you? A rumple scroll, even? A scrap of scribbled on parchment? My apologies. Literature is something of an obsession of mine, as well as a profession. Librarian Morin at your service. This humble collection is known as the Cabinet of Curiosity. As your powers of perception have likely informed you, my colleagues and I are responsible for curating all manner of tomes, documents, and other vehicles for the written word. As horrific as the loss of life, that is a very specific number. 17? Uh, by the flood. Wait. As horrific as the loss of life. Shit, hold on. As horrific as the loss of life and land wrought by the flood unquestionably was, the damage of recorded knowledge was no less catastrophic. We, we few do all we can to preserve what wisdom. That was a very specific number, Bio. Thank you for the 17 gifted subs. Can we get some hype for the chat to everybody? I'll give this up. We'll come to your bedrooms and your stay. Thank you! Thank you so much for the gifted subbies. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> but tell me, what brings you to the cabinet today? Looking for any tides in particular? May have a spot of academic research? Oh, so you've been interested in modern history? Splendid. A thorough review of recent events can often yield novel perspectives. I quite agree. If you would prefer something visual to accompany the account, then I think I have an illustrated history book for children somewhere. Just a moment, I'll fetch it for you. What the fuck? I don't need a children's book. Unless it's cute. I do like cute pictures. What if I just... <laughs> and here we are. Would you like to pull up a chair? Make yourself more comfortable. Ahem, on with the lesson then. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> A hundred years ago, or near enough not to matter, villains and as the warriors of light slew the Shadow Keeper, the steward of darkness. Hmm, it's a good thing they don't know who I am. In the wake of this tainted de deed, light began to pour into the world as if from unseen cracks. It pooled and swelled without seas until the day an enormous blinding wave rose up and swept across our star. You know, what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak in a normal my Canadian accent for this. So I know it's gonna tucker me out. We call this calamity the flood of light. Everything it touched was leached of life and vigor, leaving not behind but a luminous wasteland. I'm sorry. That's interesting. So that's where the joke about the the light came from. Minfilia? Yet just when it seemed that all would be lost, a savior appeared before us. Or Heidelin, I guess. The Oracle of Light. She stood twixt us 
She stood twixt us and approaching doom, and by her power did she st did she say the flood. Thus was Norvrant, and Norvrant alone spared the fate of Erasure. Damn. Or I guess not. Maybe that's just somebody else. Hey, that's the thing from the trailer! Tragedy would, however, arrive in another form. From the blasted emptiness descended horrors of strange and terrible aspect to, to bedevil the few folk who survived. Hi, Nutted. No, it's not square on the on the thing. The Sin Eaters were light incarnate, and their fulgent presence stole the night from Norvrant Sky. It's scroll lock. I know how this works, okay? Thank you, though. Even now, they circle the remaining bastions of civilization, ever on the hunt for us, ever hungering for our flesh. So I gotta go fuck those guys up, huh? <laughs> and thus did the world become what it is. Should you ever wish to hear the tale again, I'd be glad to retell it for you. I have very bad memories, so there is a chance that I may return. Hope that's okay, Moran. Oh, if you would rather I speak of other matters, that too would be my pleasure. I should be glad of the company. You're quite lonely here, aren't you? <laughs> it's okay, I only have one friend here, so you know. Thank you for teaching me the flight. We're dealing with a group of cannibals, as you do. Oh my god. <gasps> it's a Christmas elf! You're one of Santa's elves! Look at you all. Wait. Where's Ray? Did Ray vamoose? Ray, you're so fake. You're so fake for that. Come, children! We must go! Come on! Come on! Come on, kitties! Come on, kitties! On to the next place! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Andale! Andale! Come on! Come on! Come on! Here we go! Here we go! There we go. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Bro, I'm playing WoW? Wow. Wow. Are you playing Dragonflight? I guess they say you want to get cast anything true. Well, not all of you are cats. Am I the only cat here? No, there's one, two, three, four, maybe? There's four of us? Five? Okay, there's a few of us. All right, we're gonna have to stop saying No, what should I get to eat? What should I get? Is there a... I was gonna say if there's an ether right in here, but like, why would there be when the main one is right there? Oh, there is one in here. Would you look at that? Let me just get that real quick. <gasps> oh, this place is so pretty. Oh, that person's like, their weapon? Oh my god. Do y'all see this? Look at that! Their weapon is so cool! I wanna see it. Show me your weapon. Show me your weapon. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Can you show us your weapon? Hey, me and my friends wanna see your weapon. Hey, we wanna we wanna see your weapon. We wanna we wanna see it. Can we can we see your weapon? Can we see it? No? No? You're 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 are you AFK? Maybe. Okay, thank you. the stranger until they get out <laughs> oh my god it's Kelsey it's Kelsey oh they were in a cutscene oh <laughs> my bad no Indian food new to the city friend the spinning head and wide eyes give you away Go to character connect to some other PCs? No, I don't want to. That'll hurt my head. Welcome. My name is Bragi, and I'm the master of these markets. They gave the district another official title, but I'm not in the habit of using it. Too floored by the half. In any case, our merchants stock a range of equipment for missile... For missiles such as yourself, so finding something in your size shouldn't be a problem. I'm sorry, did you say missile? Yeah, um, I'm a Mikote. What's a mistle? 
Hmm? Must be a oh, must be a dialect I'm not familiar with. Oh, here I'm called Mistel. That's kind of cute. I'm a little Mistel. I'm just a little guy. Let's see if we can straighten this out. See those two in front of us? The shorter one is a whom. <laughs> the taller one is an elf. Oi! They say elf. The sturdy individual over there is a gulgent. Whilst the one with the horns is drawn. And then you have the large, scaly chaps with long tails and a neck for raising livestock. Those would be the Zoon. I am in shock. Which is probably not the name you know them by. Now I'm curious to know which far-flung region you hail from. Um, actually, I'm from the same country uh, that, um, what's his face is from? Ah, the same as the Exarch, is Ex Exarch, eh? Well, he said something else and I missed it. You don't get much uh, further flung than that. We've had a few of your lot pass through in recent years, and despite their obvious learning, they floundered over the simplest things. Petra gave me thing for the two months, appreciate it. My ears are hurting, I don't know why. But not to worry, should you find yourself confused by the local language or customs, I'll be here to answer your questions. Well, thank you. I'm done! Alright, let's go find not Grahatia. Oh my god, it's literally called the Rotunda. I'm so smart. I just know things. Okay, I didn't read this correctly. Because I saw the docile gate and then the rookery and I thought that said the dookery. And honestly, I oh, I didn't even attune there. And honestly, I kind of wish it did. You know what I was saying? Um, I don't know why there would be an etherite here because there is the etherite behind us. I uh, used it. I went further. I, I walked the same distance to that etherite that it would have taken for me to walk to this one. So I... Mm-hmm. 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 I'm doing great. Whom is the name of the human race of characters in Final Fantasy XI? Really? Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know why my head is so irritated. The docile gates. Alright, chaps. It's time to talk to not Grahatia. Well, how did you fare? Did my colleagues help you form a clear picture of this world and its people? Yeah, I got these. Yes, it seems you achieved the most thorough introduction. I understand it was something of a chore, but it was necessary that you grasp these things before we proceed. As for the Crystal Tower's origin, you may have noted that details were sparse. The structure is, in fact, the self-same one you know from the source. Oh, right. Okay, right. Transported to the first in its entirety. Oh. It was my first attempt at breaching the boundaries between worlds, something of a trial run for your eventual crossing. Ah! Play the long game with me! Although I do not know which era I tore it from, I do know that its arrival served to set the wheels of fate in motion. <gasps> Ooh! I got something! I got a gear! Alright, let's see. Is it cute? I got this. Nice. <laughs> nice. You've done as I requested and learned something of the world in which you find yourself. Now it's time I fulfilled my half of the bargain and explain what has befallen your comrades. That is a conversation I would rather have in a privacy of my quarters, however. I must go on ahead to the tower and organize a few things, but I shall see that the guard knows to admit you. Just like that, then... Grahatia is. <clears throat> I'm on to you. I am not familiar with that name. Is it something I should know? An extraordinary tale, but I'm afraid I found no such individual residing in the tower when it passed into my care. So you're not him? Well, my hap we can revisit that mystery another time. For now, I think it best that we focus on. So Pepper asked where Grahatia was. Not that that was him. Or not asked if that was him. Fuck. Where tail? I don't know. Maybe he's tucking. Good night, CJ. Greetings, madame. The Exarch awaits you within. 
entering the Quimstorm Tower. So pretty. Ooh. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Welcome to the Ocula, my private study. We can speak here without fear of being overheard. Oh. I have much to explain, but the truths which I must touch upon in doing so would cause only distress and confusion to the people of this world. Pray keep that in mind. All right. Now, I am sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow scions. Absolutely, I need to know my babies are okay. To put it simply, they are here in the first, their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. Here, time flows at a different pace from that of the source. In the space of a single hour in your home world, an entire year might pass in the first. Oh my god! And the reverse could also be true. The pace fluctuates oh my without god. time or reason, and it cannot be predicted. So they've been here for that a said, while we then. seem to be entering a period of near equivalence. And thus, for the moment, Unless you need not overly concern not yourself yet? with the passage of time. As for your companions, however, Eustola and Urianger have dwelled here for three winters, all told, while Thancred's count stands at five. Oh my god! Even our more recent arrivals, Alphino and Alize, have lived in the first for almost a year. My babies, my babies are okay. <gasps> My intention had been to summon only you, but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult to master. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most closely bound as well. As they were not the object of my summons, their transference was incomplete. Is that Thancred? Did he arrive Though they naked may appear again? to possess corporeal bodies, they are, in truth, Merely spirits that one can see and touch. Is he naked again? Consequently, while you yourself will be able to pass between worlds with relative freedom, they will not. This guy. Much as it grieves me, they are stranded here, unable to return. Wait, what the fuck? No. Then find a way to send them back. What have they been doing all this time? Um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm more concerned about making sure that they can also go home. I don't care. I can ask them what they've been doing. Like, I can ask them that myself. Oh, my God. We spent every waking hour searching for a way to reverse the summoning. In the beginning, at least. As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. And then we all but abandoned the endeavor once Urianger shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his journey through the rift. Much different than In mine. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. What Urianger saw was the future, that which would one day come to pass. In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined with the source. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Amongst those who perished, Urianger clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. And thus did the Scions embrace their exile and began searching this world for a means to forestall the coming catastrophe in yours. Their souls are stranded in the first, yes, but they have fought on, desperate to save their home and you from destruction. Oh my god, my baby! Nor have their efforts been in vain, for it was they who finally established that the elimination of the Sin Eaters will indeed serve to prevent the calamity. Considering these circumstances of our meeting, you would be forgiven for doubting my version of events. And so, before all else, I would suggest you track down your comrades and hear the tale from their lips. 
I shall, of course, be happy to assist in these reunions, and you need not make any decisions regarding your involvement until you are certain of where you stand. So you brought Meanwhile, me here? I promise I will not <laughs> okay. rest until I have found a way to help your friends return home. Oh. Thank you. What say you? Have I earned your trust for the moment, at least? Um. Yeah. For the moment, I but I'll see you keep that promise for a want of a better choice. Um, I'll see you keep that promise. Excellent. You will not regret this. I fucking better. With not. that settled, we shall have to see about getting you ready for the road. Do I not look ready? Are you calling Traveling me ugly? across the rift has no doubt left you weary. I will arrange for a room <gasps> where you might rest in comfort. While it's being prepared, perhaps I can show you around. Oh, please do. Oh my god, why am I already tired? Thank you for the hydration. Chat, what food should I eat? No, 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 don't worry. I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let my sleepiness get to me. Okay, so sound effects. Well, no, wait. System sounds. If I take off system sounds, I will not be able to hear um, the chat, right? Like when people- oh, that actually turns off everything. I don't fucking like that. Um, is it a character config? Notification sounds off. Perfect. Okay. What? Nothing. No, 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 no. Nothing spicy. If I eat spicy food, I am running to the bathroom, and we do not want that to happen again. What should I? What should I eat? I was gonna make food today, but life did not go the way that I wanted it to. So, I kind of want to see server time, Eorzea time. Time is going the same way. Hmm. I kinda want burgers. I'm just playing some time off work and getting my account set, finally dealing everything for this game. Yay! Zombie, I'm so excited for you! Hello! Congratulations on finally getting prepped for the game. A cheese boyka? Ooh. When you get a chance, can you look at general gaming? Sure. What did you put in there? Oh, <gasps> yo, no shot you won Pokemon Violet? First EVIC, yeah, you better be naming it after me. <laughs> Congratulations! All right, you won the whole Switch, yeah, that's nuts, congrats. Congrats, Pars! You get a Switch and Pokemon Violet? Fuck yeah. Okay, it looks like Burger is winning. So... I have a feeling that's the vibe. Right? That's so cool! I got it the last night you streamed. Yo, I'm good luck. What can I say? Okay, chat, I'm getting burgers, but where should I get burgers from? Should I get burgers from... <gasps> Born, thank you for the five months! My streak is over, that's what I get for not turning on my comp for a month. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you, I am having a good night. It's okay, don't worry about your streak, it's fine. Yeah, after what happened last time to my butthole, no Indian food. No, 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 no. <laughs> I kind of want to- I'm gonna get McDonald's, actually. I need my- I need my comfort food. Gotta pick a local place at this hour? There- none of those are open right now. None of those are open at this hour.
chimkin burger. I'm getting a chimkin burger. I'm gonna get a junior chicken. And I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get some fries. And I think... I think... I'm also gonna get... What's a McCrispy? What's the difference between a McCrispy and an... <gasps> No, if I get a spicy habanero McChicken, I will shit. I will shit literally everywhere. Should I get chicken nuggies? I can get six chicken nuggies for free with a purchase of 25 bucks. <laughs> and my purchase is not 25 bucks. <laughs> apple pie? An apple pie for dessert? Donde es economía? Let's see. I will get a cheeseburger too. I haven't had a McDonald's cheeseburger in a hot minute. I could use a little bit of death as a treat. Wait, we have five guys in Toronto. Five guys is here. What you mean? What you mean, Sarnix? I love me five guys. I'm almost certain we have a Five Guys here. I'm almost certain. You bought me dinner chat? You'll say less, Ray. Okay. All right. I've made my choices. I'm getting 20 chicken nuggets. Do not judge me. We're gonna be playing this game for a long time. I'm going ham. I don't give a fuck. You fucking ready? <laughs> Has the Five Guys in King Street another one on Young? Yeah, I feel like there's also one on the Danforth too. No judgment, only envy. Alright. I've ordered it. I've ordered it. Okay. Let's continue with this game now. Okay. Hi, friends. Alright. <laughs> the Osarium boasts a number of residential districts, but I have been informed that a room has just become available at the Pendants. Which, as it turns out, is perfect. Our path there will take us past the markets, and I was hoping to give you my own introduction to their wares. Come along. Let's go. I can't believe he expects me to believe he's not Grahatia. That has to be him. God, this place is so gorgeous. I, I'm like, a little bit like awestruck every time I look at it. Oh my god, the colors? This game is so fucking pretty. Who the fuck was it that came into chat and was like, is this game still washed? God, it's gorgeous. Oh, my ears. Shit. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. Hey, yo, All you might need to prepare music. for your journeys can be purchased here. Can I sign with your record label, please? I got some bops. Here's my ah, mixtape. Yes. You must be curious about the currency. Fear not. The gill you carry will serve you well enough. Great. Wait. Each nation once minted its own coins, but was all a jumbled mess following the flood. He knows I After have much the debate, the local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the worth of its metal. As for a unit of measurement, we agreed upon the term gill. Oh. A word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. Oh shit! And no as way! As our traders peddled their wares across the land, so too did our usage of gill become common practice. From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here, or near enough not to matter. 
nice. Our way of life has benefited greatly from the Conversion. artifacts we recovered from the tower. Some of which may be familiar to you. Hey, yo, is that the new iPhone? <laughs> yo, they got iPhones up in here. What? Do I have a headache? What's wrong? But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. Does I really need a means to access the commodities no of your home iPhone? world. Well, now I want to get that as like a phone case. It's an iPhone! Van Kerm Sin? <laughs> yes, I'm here! Of course I'm here! What amusements do you have for me today? My dear Feo Ool, paragon of pixie kind. For you, I have the most vital task. This fine lady is a friend from a distant realm. Hello? And we have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from her home. Might you be able to assist us in this matter? I mean, I guess I could do a fetch quest. Is that Ponto? Is this a Ponto raid? Ponto, thank you for the raid! Hello! You came from beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift? How Everyone should go check out Ponto. He streams a lot of Final Fantasy as well. But I'm cooler you than him. You've the heart of a pixie, you do. After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. Make a pact with me and the fun can begin. Ayo! <laughs> but answer me this traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? Yeah? I think so. Why do I have to think about that? Yeah! Just as I thought. Then you've a good stout connection with your home through which all your belongings, great and small, the may easily pass. fluttering of her wings? From this moment forth, I will be your Isne Fis and you my Snay Yak. Like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our I'm bond her, uh, will flow snayak. unbroken from one to the other. Is this like Gaelic? Raise your hand. I'm do- I'm- Ayo! Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, something's happening. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, what'd she do to me? Is done. We are bound now, dear. Oh, that, that's that's it. That's how we. That's how come, you come then. You bond. Make your request. Tell me your desire. I wish to visit this world of yours. Oh my God, she's so excited. May have her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your safe arrival. <laughs> Fairies are they them? But but he called her. She. They're they're using different pronouns though. Who will I contact? Oh, who do I contact? No. I, f I feel like... I feel like I should contact Kryl to tell her that everyone is okay. I'm gay now, it's canon. It's always been. Oh, he's talking about me! Consider oh! Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, that's sick! They're all non-binary? Wait, that's sick! As you heard, that oh, I love Feo that for Ool us. the Pixies. I love Their that kind for possess us. an affinity for magic akin to that of arcane beings. They oh, rarely show themselves yeah. in populated areas, but Hell Feo yeah. is insatiably curious even by pixie standards, and seems to have taken a liking to the Crystarium. Try to zip up my little cold. Right, we were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. That's so cool. I love that. Y'all, I can't, I can't get my zipper to work. My zipper's not working. As a result of your pack with Feol, you now have access to delivery moogles. Hey, marker board and summoning bells. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Feo. It spells Feo, right? Okay. Did I attune to this? Am I attuned to this? I should be. I am. Okay, I'm not attuned to the pendants, which is where we're going. Which checks out. Let's see, do I go up here? 
I think so. That seems right. And then this way? Yes! This all seems right? Like, I, c I could be incredibly wrong. Sick. I think I'm now attuned to. I don't know what that just said. But I'm now attuned to. Yeah! I'm attuned to everywhere here! Perfect! That was quick. Oh, this is the right place. Nice. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay, I thought that was an NPC for a second. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Ah, there you are. I'm just finalizing the matter of your accommodation. You'll have a private room here at the Pendants for the duration of your stay to make use of as you see fit. Our NB overlords, yes! Welcome to Shadowbringers! Thank you, Fonzo! When you're ready to retire, the manager will show you to your lodgings. Pray, rest, and recuperate, and we shall rec reconvene in the ocular anon. I believe that covers all the, the practical concerns. I do believe so as well. Thank you for answering my call, Peppa. We had denied the comforting blankets of night, but may peaceful dreams attend you nonetheless. Oh, I got a kiss. <gasps> a pleasure to meet you, miss, and welcome to your new home at the Pendants. Your room is ready. If you'd care to retire? Yes, please. Show me my room. Is it cute? Oh, <gasps> It's huge! Oh, look at the little Fae Bell. Oh, I love that. The Fable? The Fae Bell? The Fae Fable? Get it? Because... It's really bad. <laughs> I get foodies! The theme. <laughs> ah Ardvark. It's Ardvark. I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. I am! And I know you. You're Oddvok. The warrior of darkness? Yeah, I remember him. I'm not gonna say it. Who are you? I could not have forgotten oh. that whole spit. Did you just... You can hear me? Yeah, you're... <laughs> oh, God, how long <laughs> has it been? Since someone's I... heard you? I, that was what I called myself in your world. The warrior of darkness. Wait, but here are you the warrior of light? My real name is Ardbet. I used an alias in the source. Ar the Ar one, Ar Ardbert? 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 If you Ardbert. recall my tale. That's Ardvark now. It was my comrades and I who caused the flood. Right. We thought our home doomed. Oh my god! And so we listened to the Asians. Let oh them my guide god! Us to the source yes. And try to hasten their god's damned order. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia. How she listened to our pleas. And returned our souls to the first. What a time that was. What a journey. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant. Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. They all got trauma, boo. Yeah. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? A hundred years. Yeah, it's it's been some time. A hundred though. long years. You're gonna eat my apples? Oh, is it gonna? Yeah, I was gonna say. He's not gonna be able to pick anything up. 
Aww. My hands find no purchase. My gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. They reach mine, and I can I see I am a shade. You. Cursed to do naught but drift. I feel as if I've been walking forever. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Then bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. In front of me? Why is it that you can see me? What are you even doing here, come to that? It's a long story, my guy. Also, yeah, why can I see you? What is our con- You were summoned to save the first- I was. What? Waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Can you at least be a little bit nice? Is it so as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. But if fate has brought me to you, the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me, then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe, maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Oh, this is, this is kind of sad. This is, this is pretty sad. Well, I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. And I'll be looking for you, Ardvark. But do me a favor. Be careful out there. This Pyro, world thank you for the raid. has had its fill of heroes. Hello, hello, hi friends. My name is Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy streamer now. And we just got to Shadowbringers. And we're getting a little bit emotional with Aardvark. But now he's gone. Oh, and why do I sleep? Why am I sleeping in armor? And also, why am I sleeping like a corpse? Someone's about to fucking dissect me. <laughs> Can y'all put some, like curtains in here oh there are curtains well can you close the curtains a little bit that's not how i sleep also hi matt all right what is that Oh no! Kian has died! Okay, where are we going? Where am I going? I'm going to... Tra this Travelers... Of okay, so we're going to... That ether right over there. Alright, so it's right here... Travelers of Novrant... Nor Norbrant? 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 I don't think I actually heard them say it! Or maybe I did, and I'm just not the brightest. I love your subtitles. Is this something you added? Yeah, so this is actually a little plugin that you can use. It's called Stream CC by Gooseman. And you can add it to your streams. That way, people can, people who are hard of hearing, people who can't hear, or people who have auditory like processing issues like me can always kind of figure out what I'm saying by reading the, the captions. It's great. One second, chat. Hi, Waldo. Sorry. Are people who can't play with audio? Yes, for one reason or another. Maybe they're in a crowded place and they don't and they won't even be able to hear you. Maybe they have family over and they don't want to disrupt the conversation. Who knows? Uh, 
All right, one second, chat. Give me a second. Sarnix, are you still in here? Because CJ has gone to bed. Sarnix is still in here. Oh, you're fine, Vlad. Don't worry. Do you have dailies, oranges? Have fun with your dailies, y'all! Just give me one second. I'm just trying to get modding down. Um, I think Jay's busy. No, Davies. Yeah, Kelsey, give me one second. I may, I may give you some rain, some power. All right, chat. So because my beautiful moderators are going to bed, we are now um, having two new mods. I think I got... Nope. I think uh, Jay is AFK. And if Jay is coming, then he will come when he comes. And so our new mods for, for the stream will be Kelsey and Davey whenever Davey gets in here. Um, yeah, you're fucked. Godspeed, Matt. Oh, there's Davey! Okay, it's two eyes. Okay. There we go. Davey, can you say a little something? I think it should have worked now. At least I hope so. All right, so these are gonna be our new mods for the Final Fantasy stream tonight. Sarnix is going to be AFK, CJ's AFK. I don't know if Jay will be here, so we ball. Wait, what did Davey do? Davey, what did you do? Did you wipe chat? Did you wipe chat? What happened? What happened? Oh, shield mode? Oh, we don't need, we don't need that. We don't need shield mode. Don't pull a Sarnix. We don't need that. All you gotta do, yeah, shield mode. Nah, we're we're not on the front page or anything. So all you gotta do is just delete the little messages when they come in and out. Easy peasy. Um, that is if they're like spoilers. Uh, Kelsey's pronouns are she, her. Davy's pronouns are they, them. Chat, be on your best behavior. I'm so confused and I'm terrified. Look, I'm confused and I'm terrified too. Okay, but. That's, yeah, shield mode, I think, literally just launched today. Um, I haven't tried it, but I do know it's, like, a thing. Got it now? Okay, good. <laughs> I welcome our new overlords. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, mod view is a thing. I don't actually use it when I mod for other streamers. I just wing it. Um, but, yeah, get a little hat pat. Hat pat, hat pat, hat pat. Pet the mods. Pet the mods. All right, I think I smell my McDonald's. Or am I crazy? <gasps> my McDonald's is here. Oh. And I'm gonna get my my Mickey D's, and I'm then we're gonna continue onwards. Hi, Artie.
I got a bunch of burgers. I have 20 nuggets and I have fries. We're, we're gonna be bulldozing through this ship. All right. Oh, thank you for the posture check. I appreciate it. What? What did you just do to my boy? That's my boy. That's my sweet. Actually, you know what? He probably fucking deserved it. Never mind. Dear moderators, you have no right to ban me or remove my messages. Do you have? Do you even know who my father is? He is a very powerful and rich man. I strongly advise you not to mess with me or consequences will be met in court. I hope you understand all the seriousness of the situation. Have a good day. Don't fucking kill me. Oh. Is it pronounced Jakotsu? How do I pronounce that? Oh. Eh. Yeah, I got my depression food. I already cried today, chat. Literally, we were like five minutes into Shadowbringers and I already started crying. I fell off my chair, literally. All right. Ooh. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Wait, chat. There are so many bags. There are so many bags. Oh, is this family crew? Or are you guys all from the Sam's community? Hi, friendos. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm prepping my food. I'm prepping my workstation. I will probably make a mess and start crying again. With hydration, I appreciate it. Where are my nuggies? Oh, there they are. Chat, look at this. Da -na -na -na. There's a chubby, a chubby boy beside me, and he is begging. He is staring. I almost got that today. What is stopping you from getting it now? Ooh, I haven't had Burger King in a really long time. I can't teleport to Goblin and Ranger Yellow Po- Wait, why can't you teleport? <gasps> Did y'all see that fry ricochet? Ricochet off my, um, my, my wrist. I'm on ether. You can still teleport. And you have to do it from the main menu. You right click your character's name and click um, data center uh, transfer. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Depression food acquired. Gameplay time activated, let's go. Mm. So we're gonna go speak with the non grahatia. All right, best. This place is so beautiful. Like this is gorgeous. The design here. Oh my god. I do wish um the crystals would like glow a bit, so it wasn't static. That would be a really nice touch. Maybe in the graphics update? Ah, how did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest. Mm-hmm. Hmm, should I tell him? Should I tell him that I met Aardvark? I was not aware the room was haunted. And you were rather tired. Well, should you receive another visitation, be sure to let me know. Now, let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. He does not care about my ghost. Ooh! This map shows the lands of Norvrand, 
the only area to be spared the flood of light. Ooh. The Crystarium is here, in the region known as Lakeland. Okay. To the center? And to the north is the fairy kingdom of Il Mec. That mm -hmm. is where you'll find Orianger. Mm -hmm. No shit, he's with To them. the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your Stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. Alas, neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. Bro, are you serious? As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins, <laughs> each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystaria. I want to see my babies! I want to see my babies! Alphino is on Calusia, an island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulmore, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. He would be there. For his part in furthering our cause, Alphino journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. Mm. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. Is that where the fat cats are? Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, mm. where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack. By so the you're sea. saying going there is easier than in going into the forest? Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy, and thus she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on our foe. Neat. So, will it be Calicia or Armoraine? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Simply inform me once you've made your decision, and I will see to it that you are provided with a suitable mount. A mount? You mean Jin? Ah, but you must be wondering about Thancred. He has taken up with a new companion, and is presently engaged Minfilia? as a leading hunter of Sin Eaters. You mean Minfilia? You mean baby Minf? Being ever on the move, his whereabouts are often difficult to ascertain, but Sorry, I am certain your paths will cross ere long. All right, so I'm gonna go see Alize first. I love Alfino, he's my little trouble troublemaker son, or troublesome son, but I, I wanna see Alize first. I feel like I deserve to see her in search of Alfino. What do you mean in search of Alfino? No, in search of Alize, thank you, thank you. Yep, <laughs> I feel like it makes sense to go and seek her out first. Do you know what I mean? She went through so much. She went through so much. And she, and like, there was the whole like, she didn't want me to leave her alone. She didn't want, all that, all, oh, all that angst. No, I gotta go see the baby girl. It's the part for Amarang, Amar is it Am Amarang? Amaranth? Amaranth. Yeah, let's go see Amaranth, or let's go to Amaranth. Alize will be overjoyed to see you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. I know she's uh, impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was repeatedly. Yeah, it was um awful. I only hope that my part is sending you to her, and sending you to her will garner me some measure of forgiveness. Here, this is a letter of introduction addressed to a man named Cassard, the master of a merchant caravan. Okay, okay. There are a few who know uh, the ways of the desert as well as he does. Find him at the Amaro launch and you will see that you reach your destination. Cool. I'll like, I'll pick them both up. I guess I have to. Oh, I didn't even read that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna focus on, not that. On um, the Alize quest. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna disable the Alfino one. Okay. Exit ocular. Jay. <gasps> Hi, Jay! Oh my god, we have Jay here. Now he's here. Wait. Wait. I was eating Indian food. 
Okay, so technically we only have three mods here then because Jay is useless because he's gonna go shit soon, right? Okay, we have a lot of mods. Um, Jay, will you be here for the rest of the night? Because I don't want a mod wall. Yeah? I have too many. I don't want mod wall. So you know what? Our temporary mods have passed away. They've gone. Um, they've left the source and they're now in the first. Sorry, we don't know where they are. And their bodies are here, but their souls are gone. <laughs> Goodbye, swords. Thank you, though, for your vigilant duty. I appreciate all you have done for us. But, goodbye. It'd really be your own. <laughs> mm. Mod wall makes me anxious because then I also can't tell apart users. It's like a overstimulation thing for me. So, hey! You just beat my ass and then sat down? Hey, yo? Rude. Yeah. If y'all, if, if for whatever reason Jay needs to disappear, I'll give it back to you both. But I trust, I trust Jay. I do have everything I need. Thank you for understanding. It's like, because every time I see, like, the green sword, it's like, oh my god, did something happen? And then I can't figure out who's who, and then, like, I don't even want to look at chat. So it's easier when there's only, like, a couple, like, stable mods than, like, four stable mods. Thank you for understanding. It's got nothing against any of you, I promise. You can also use your ether compass. No! No! Not this shit! Not the ether compass shit again! Chat, what class should I be playing? Arm Orang. From this room. parched earth, the nation of Nabath Orang once rose. This is the Warrior of Darkness talking, right? When I journeyed here long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me Armoreng meant majestic land in the language of his people. Ooh. And so it might still be, were it not for the light's unrelenting onslaught. It is really interesting now hearing how, um, quote unquote evil the light has been to this world. Considering the praise and worship that we've received elsewhere. Oh, <gasps> my Uber! <laughs> Dark Knight is- oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know that the Dark Knight is, um, like canon for Shadowbringers. Um, I just didn't know if it would be, like, the preferred, like, gameplay class, but I'll fucking do it. My how many times I come here, the heat never fails to catch me off guard. Don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night, though. The sky is still bright, of course, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. <clears throat> I also I was to take you to the inn at Journey's Head, which is where this Alizé friend of yours is staying. Well, that's a fair old distance, so I propose you make a stop in Mord Souk. Mord Souk? More soup. I'm going to more soup to break up the trek. Allow me to attend some, to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. Okay. Y'all want some soup? We head southwest, straight as an arrow. Sounds good. All right. 
Come on, Uber. <laughs> yeah, the music here is pretty good. It's very funky. <gasps> oh my god! Those cactuar- Hey! Oi! 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 Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Wrong way! Over there! Over here! You know what? You know what? 3111 is at the foot of the bridge. I'll walk. I'll hoof it. I'll, f I'll hoof it. Oh, <gasps> ether current. Let me grab this one here. Bless you for being my Uber. But you know what? I'm gonna hoof it. I'm gonna hoof it. All right. Where is he? Where's this man? Not Jin laughing. <laughs> Stop here a moment. This is your first visit to Amarang. Is it not? Mm-hmm. I have to turn around and feast my eyes on that? Is that like a sexual pun? Oh. <laughs> well, I did turn around and I am feasting my eyes. Behold, the mighty cheeks. You know what? I am admiring the view. Thank you. I'm really glad that's what this quest is. Um, so I've, I've done my beholding. Go on, take a look. We're not waiting until you preach the majesty of that edifice. Well. It is quite nice. Your thighs are pretty thick too. I would say you had a thigh gap, but I just realized your legs are just apart. Um. Oh, it's kind of flat. It looks nice from the back, but not the side. Wait, what the fuck does he want me to look at? I'm like, I've admired the view. What view am I? So oh, there's a sparkly thing on the floor. Thoughts on me. I really thought it had something to do with his butt. I really thought it was a butt joke. Hey, yo, it's on an angle. They built them big, didn't they? That's Castle Sharl, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabath Arang. Seeing what was left behind, I believe. I believe it when they say it was once one of no. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Norbrandt? Norbrandt's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along. Great chunks of Nabatha Rang's lands were lost to the light. <laughs> it's a great city included. The few who survived didn't see much point in staying. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> no, not many choose to come here these days. Now with everything in ruins, and the Hulk and Great Fortress has become a little more than an Amaro roost for me and my ca caravan. But not everywhere is as deserted as this place. Just wait until you see more soup. Let's put on, shall we? Yeah. All right. I've eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've eaten twelve nuggets. I'm done for now. I love getting beat up. Thank you. I'm <laughs> staring at this rose ass like, what more do you want? I don't know, like, do you want me to fiddle with it? Try finger butthole, no! Not this. Not this. Okay. Okay. The area is very bright. Sometimes I can't see the sparkles in the ground either. Yeah, like, it didn't seem obvious to look there at first. Ah. Especially with his giant butt in the way. Okay. 
That's pronounced nerd ramp? What? Nerd ramp? Nerd ramp? Yeah, it's nerd ramp. That's it now. What is that? What the fuck is this? Is that someone's mallets? Is this a mallet? I, I guess so. Y'all having fun over there? Y'all enjoying yourself? All right. Oh. Speak with Kassard. Here we are. More soup. By the Blessed Shadow. I love this town. That's some beautiful XP. Thank you for that. More soup. Not just full of more, but whom's and all manner of others too. M Wait. What is moored? Because whom's are the humans, right? It has been... It has long been a refuge for folk displaced by the floods. The population is nothing if not diverse. Oh, have you met a moored before? They might look like shifty little blighters, but a more welcoming lot you could never wish to meet. Oh, the little guys! These little dudes! Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gengen. I'll go ahead and let him know we've arrived. And I'm just trying to see Alize. I just want my baby girl. I thought you were saying more soup. I am. No, I absolutely am saying more soup. You got it. <laughs> this is more soup. What's wrong with more soup? Do y'all not like more soup? God, the music is so nice. It feels very playful. You know? Like the music in like a... In like a children's fantasy movie, you know? What kind of soup? Hopefully tomato soup. These guys are just like my little friend. The Gaboos. Yeah. They're the Gaboos. Yeah, Kobold. Yeah. Like the baby Gabu. I miss Gabu. I really hope we get to see him again. <laughs> Master Gengen, this is the friend of the Exarch I was telling you about. Very good, very good. Though friend or no, all are welcome in Maud Souk. Souk is Mordish for city. Mm. As things stand, this Souk boasts the largest and busiest marketplace in all armor. So literally just Mord City. <laughs> You'll find ore from the mines here, of course, but all manner of other things, too. Many of them rare. As I told you before, not many visit Armoreng by choice, but Mord Souk's a different story. Mord Merchants Souk, okay. come from miles around to purchase the relics the Mord dig up. Aye, that they do, for Mord do not dismiss the spoils of the earth. We clean them and polish them and reveal to the world their true value. I didn't expect him to talk like that, that at all. That is why they come here, come from far away, come with much money. <laughs> and so our souk is always busy, busy, busy. No such thing as a thing no one needs. You kind of say that every time, Master Gengen. Uh, some sort of family motto, wasn't it? Or perhaps a maud philosophy for which we should all be very grateful. Would that everyone was so willing to take in refugees regardless of race or creed. Now then, if you intend to spend any time here, you'll want to gain the trust of the locals. Oh no. And there's a little custom all newcomers are expected to observe. The cracking of the coin purse. You buy one thing from the market. Price can be low or high, just as long as you buy. As the good Maud says. In fact, the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. I have money. I got Sarnix. A Verbert gold piece, no less. The first I've held in years. Oh. Verbert gold? Real Verbert gold? Oh no. 
Oh no! Oh no! Here, newcomer, crack your coin purse with me. Oh no! You want my goods, newcomer? I have jars and pots, all smooth and shiny. <laughs> Over here! Come and look. You buy, you buy. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. Enough of that. Come, I say. This one must still journey through the barrens. Nothing bulky, nothing heavy, no pots. What if I want a pot? Nothing pot. better for the road than a full belly. Spend that piece at Ron Ron's place, yes? Eat for three before you leave. Eat for three? I'll pass out from all that food. That is cute. That's cute. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to Ron Ron. All right, where is Ron Ron? Over there. He's got. F is that Roti? <laughs> Welcome to Ron Ron's Traveler. I have words to empty your purse and fill your belly. Take your time. Stare and sniff before you choose. But no drooling on the merchandise. Yes. Browse Ron Ron's wear. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a food. A food stuff and inspect it with R2 or and X. And or an X. Wait, what do you mean start? Meat. Bread. Worms? Um Ron Ron! <laughs> hmm? Silly like customer, you cannot eat Ron Ron. Not even for a Vobert gold piece. Damn it. Okay, I guess I want some bread. I do like me some bread. I call that mush loaf. <laughs> the middle is stuffed with bittersweet cactus fruits. Mmm, so even if the bread dries out, it's still moist inside. Keeps you going in the heat. I like that. Meat. Yummy. That's my ever burning bounty, made with the best parts of the lizard, cured with special spicy spices. Some find the smell challenging, but it'll warm you up on chilly desert nights. Um, pot skewers. Oh, I didn't even see the froggies. Oh, guess I'm Shrek tonight. Oh, you'll like those chewy skewers. Find small frogs hiding under rocks, spear with stick, then roast over fire. Crackly on the outside, gooey on the inside. Perfect for snacking. You know, I'm sure that sounds, that tastes great and it sounds good, but the idea of me eating a frog like I'm Shrek is not really ideal. These like silkworms? Everyone's favorite, plump white worms slathered in honey. Once you eat a glazed wriggler, you'll never want any other treat. I've had my fair share of glazed wrigglers, and let me tell you, not all of them are that good. <sighs> it's been a while. Oh, buzz buzz? You'll look tasty, yes? Switch to choose, switch to choose. Hmm, yes, think long and hard. Um... You know what? I'll have some worms. The mush loaf sounds amazing, but I want to try those wrigglers. Too good to resist, eh? That's what I would have chosen. You have the gold? I do. <laughs> and done. One Vobertite. Vobertite? Oh, I missed the rest of that. <laughs> Wait, what? That look on my face. Oh, she's eating. She's eating her worms. Oh, she's crunching. Oh, she's swallowing. She glug glug. <gasps> oh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten the worm. Every last mouthful, I think I'll share the rest. Was the worm not good? Our visitor invites us to feast. Let us give thanks for her great generosity and small appetite. Consider your coin first correct. I am pleased to accept your custom, and Gengen will be pleased that you honored ours. <laughs> Weston and Pepper. Oh, Weston chose the worms too? Hell yeah. Keeping the merchandise down, yes? No returns. No returns. I bought 15 jars? That was 15 jars worth? Nah. I know, I kind of wish I had the non-two. The roti looked really good, but 
I was watching from here, Pepper. You honored our custom and with great relish. You will always be welcome in more soup. If you need anything in Amaranth, we are here to provide. Hell yeah. Working off meal. <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ron Ron's words are more exotic than harmful, but I don't envy you the bellyache you'll have on the morrow. Wow, thanks. Right, now that you've eaten, I expect you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a touch again? I have a few deals left to close before I conclude my business here and more soup. Oh, offering your services, are you? I would never do that. I, well, an assistant would certainly help hurry things along. I have a receipt here for some goods that need picking up from the market. I'll probably pay for it. You just need to do the lifting and carrying. What do I fucking look like to you? Oh, there's someone over there named Bun Bun. Oh, that's cute. I'll go and take care of some last minute haggling then. See you in a bit. Uh, you may view the market receipt at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. Alrighty, so market receipt. Table cactus from Tauntaun and iron ore from Toltol and Nabath ring antiques from Mill Mill. Alright. Bun Bun? I don't think Bun Bun was the person that I had to speak to, but I'm gonna go here anyways. Chest of perishables. Nope. Yeah. Private worm slash? I'm so fucking sorry. I wouldn't dare go anywhere near that. Um, okay. Let's see. No, not Ron Ron. We were just there. And I got a fucking bad poo poo, I bet, from that. We're gonna be on the road to Alize, and my stomach's gonna be gurgling and flurbering. Just like when I ate the Indian food. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see anybody here. Mm hmm. Imagine you're in the middle of war and you get like an upset tummy. What do you even do? Like, Ayo, hey, hold up. Don't hit me. Just give me a second. Time out, time out, time out. I gotta go poop. Can we resume? Like, I'll tell like the army not to attack you so it's fair. Like, I'll be back. Don't worry. Let's see, not you. Total, you. Yes. You have a quest, Jinjin? All right, so the ore from Toltol. I'm so glad I'm a mime. Castor had sent you, did he? Right, yes. What kind of ore was it again? Iron ore? Iron ore, of course. So explain this box I have here. It's all yours. Whew, that was a good guess. Okay, so I'm gonna have to probably be answering more questions. Okay, let me see. Um, market receipts. Oh, thank you. Table cactus and bath orang antiques. Okay. You give me a kiss and then you leave? Fine. The nun also makes you sick. Cactus juice is not for people to drink. My warrior of light found out the hard way. Oh no. Your warrior of light had bad poopies. Not the bad poopies. Okay. <laughs> Love this for me. Gotta go find two more people. I know I just came up here, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a quick dosy do once more. Yeah, okay. I hear something glowing. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? Oh, it's just bun bun. I think I have to go further down here. Let's see over here. Mm, doesn't look like there's anybody here. No one hiding. I'm losing my mind. Oh, I hear somebody. Are they on the outskirts? Um, mill Mill. Oh, I gotta get the antiques from you. Yes, antiques from you. Perfect. Hands off. That water is from Mill Mill's fo footpath. Oh, <laughs> we'll see if coin or barter. Oh, you work for Cassard? Mill Mill has, has, oh, has his antiques all boxed up and ready for transport. Yay, thank you. Oh, wait. What? So do I, can I not? Can I not take them? What? Maybe I have to get that one last? Okay then. Alright, so where's the other person? It's Tauntaun? Okay, where is Tauntaun? Is Tauntaun on the outskirts? Are you still on the outskirts? Oh, you definitely are not. Okay, so you're in here somewhere. Where though? Where? Where though? Where? Where you at? Where you at? 
Where are you at? Where are you? Where the fuck is Tauntaun? No, not Tauntaun. Toltol. No, Tauntaun. Yeah, where is Tauntaun? Oh, I found Tauntaun. Wait, was I already there? No, it was not. Okay, perfect. Wait. Nabatha Rang Antiques. From Mil Mil. To be collected from Mul Mul. Did I just speak to Mil Mil or Mul Mul? <laughs> was that Mil Mil? Or was that Mul Mul? I gotta find one of them. I gotta find- Oh, I gotta find Mul Mul. I think I spoke to Mil Mil. He said- Yeah, because he said he got them- He had them packed up. Okay. 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 So where- Where the fuck is Mil Mil? Is Mil Mil outside? Wait. Oh no, I gotta find Mil Mil. Right, okay, so Mil Mil- Okay, yeah, so that's Mil Mil. <sighs> okay. Okay. There's Ron Ron. God, I'm gonna remember all these guys before I remember the entire plot for Stormblood. <laughs> oh, that's Bill Bill. Bill Bill, can you tell me where Mol Mol is? Or Mil Mil is? Or no, Mol Mol. Fuck! Okay, maybe you're over here. No, I was just here and there was no one there. Oh! 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 No, that's Bun Bun! That's Bun Bun! Oh my god. <laughs> I am going insane. Oh wait, I hear the sound. Are they over here? Are you back here? No, I'm out of the oh I'm out of the designated area now. Are you are you over here? Are you hiding? Are you hiding from me? Are you shy? Are you right here? No. Is is this you? Are you are you somewhere over here? No. Am I just hearing the etherite? <laughs> I think I am. Oh my god, am I back to square one? There's Mo oh, there's Momo! I found Momo! Oh my god. I did it! I finally found Momo. That was that was easy. Hey, no touching. That merchandise is spoken for. You can possibly change my mind with a better offer. Well. What? Kassard sent you? Why didn't you say so? I wouldn't dream of selling his goods to a higher bidder. No, 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 no. Uh, Nabath or Rang Relics. Was it all packed in that box? Handle with care. Perfect. Alright, now let's go find Kassard. Hi, Jin. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where am I going? I'm so zoomed in. Alright, we're going this way. These guys are cute. Amaro. So this is the Amaro? We have Amaro for hire if you're interested. They're cute. I like them. Are they supposed to be like ancient chocobo? <laughs> can I even summon my chocobo here? Oh my god, I can. Oh yeah, because of um, Feo, right? Feo Ul. When I bound... When, like, when they like bound me to them, I think it like... It did the thing, right? So I could like access the the, uh, the Moogle. I can use like the Etherites or something, and then my summons, right? Don't tell me you've been around the entire market already. I have. I'm a quick gal. Though it did take longer than I want to admit. All right, that's a lot, all right. Good work. Thank you. And quick work too, because you're not set foot in the place before. I thought you want to ooh, I thought you want to sit in the city like the Exarch, but something tells me you're not a stranger to visiting strange lands. Unfortunately, your efficiency presents something of a problem. I've hoped to complete all my business before your turn, but it seems there's been some confusion over one of my orders I placed. No I'll have to drag in I'll have to drag in my middleman and sort this mess out. I'm sorry to make you sit around and twiddle your thumbs. Cassard feels like an age since I last saw you. Who's this white girl? Well, if it isn't the lovely Tessline, it has been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This lady was on her way to meet with Alize. <gasps> I'm supposed to be taking her to your corner of the desert, but a misplaced order has command commandeered my attention. So am I going to travel with you to find my girly? Wait, I know who you are. Alize has told me so much about you. You're Pepper, aren't you? I am! I knew it! How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories! 
I'm Tesseline. I work as a carer at the inn, and I've gotten to know Alize quite well since you took up guard duties there. Do you want me to take over as Pepper's guide, Cassard? My shopping's all done and packed for the rose, so it would be no trouble. That would be a great help. Thank you. Yay! Well, looks like you'll be able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Sing me out when you've had your fill of amaranth, and I'll send you back to the Crystarium. Thank you. I should probably check out- no, I don't even think it's gonna show up on my- on my gear. But I'll try it anyways. So I got this top, and I got gloves? It's a deep gold, right? Yes. That's fine though. Hi, Tesleen! Alize has been desperate to see you, Pepper, so let's get you to her sooner than later. Yeah! The inn isn't too far- to, uh, too hard to find, really. You can actually see the top of the rock spires from here. We just need to swing around the ridge, then head south. Come on, I'll get my supplies together and meet you outside. Sounds good. Okay. Ah, fairy magic through the bonding. Hell yeah. I love that for us. All set? Oh, I should probably mention the wildlife. Well, most of them will leave you be if you keep your distance. The local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. I see you. I see you hiding over there. I see you. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. Do you think you can handle any beasts that try to make a meal of us? For sure. I thought you might. Alize was always saying how much he, um, I mean, let's get going, shall we? Excuse me? What was Alize saying about me? God, okay, yeah, this place is so bright. It's so beautiful. But how does it get cold at night? Like, it doesn't get dark, per se. So, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I want one. I want a sand mole. I am a sand mole. Oh no, combat? The music? Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, my hot bar. Oh, there we go. That was weird. We're good though. All is well. All is fine. Don't worry, Tesseline. I will protect you. I will protect you with my life. Sorry, there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Were you bitten? Those things would be nasty. And you're hardly a match for you, it seems. I'd always thought Alize was strong, but in her mind, she was never... Hmm. That would make sense. <clears throat> well, we should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that have our scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Sounds good, girl. I would rather you follow me, but you know what? Whatever works. Alright. Let's go kill a bunch of puppies. Well, I hope you didn't hear that. Hi, Ben! What's up? It's a random slot boxing samurai for me. I know. They're just following me everywhere. They're just gonna keep slapping me, I think. Just another day in Pepper's life. Oh, wrong thing. That's fine, though. Oh, I hate when they cry like that when they die. <laughs> the last one talk with Tesseline. was that seriously the last one i mean it was kind of far i hope so that would check that would make sense okay let's go dude these turtles are kind of cute though look at them it looks like he's got a little like, beard oh you do a hide look at him oh i love him okay let's see she's over here somewhere Tortle! Yeah, little tortle! Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Frightful creatures. Let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Sounds good. Talk with Tesslein. Okay. I'm wondering if it's gonna be the same shenanigans. I'm gonna have to go and fight some more guys, aren't I? Oh, wait. Am I getting closer? Oh, I am getting closer. Hell yeah. <gasps> Hi. 
No, you're so much faster than me! Slow down! No! <laughs> okay, let's see. This way. Oh, shit ahead. Ooh. Oh, is it is it in here? Is it through this? Oh, I think so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, there's Tesseline. Hey girl, hey. This is it! Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow, but first, let's head inside, shall we? Hell yeah. How is Kelsey in a cutscene, girl? What haven't you done? Oh, the lack of music here is kind of haunted. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is bleak. Welcome to the inn that Journey's head. You might be our first visitor from the Castarium since Ali's arrived. It's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and a handful of carers. The afflicted? You don't know? I don't think I met anyone besides Alize who was so unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. I don't know. But... Hmm. I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Alize give you the full explanation. <gasps> but does she know more than you now? Like, why does Alize have to tell me? Why can't you tell me? You're the one that's from here. I mean, you know what? Any excuse to have Alize talk my ear off, honestly. I'm cool with this. Tessaline cast her gaze around the inn, hoping to spot Alize. Now, where is she? Let's look for the red bow. Hmm, I think she might be out on patrol. You could wait, I suppose, but why not go and surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out the... <laughs> Anyways, it's not far. Head out the south side and you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while you're gone. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I should probably attune first, honestly. I always forget that that's kind of important. <gasps> Too far away! Whoa, oi! Oi! Thank you. <laughs> Playing on a controller can be such a nightmare at times. Oh, it's not even that far out. I guess going in my chocobo is a little bit redundant. Oh, holy fuck. That. Yo! Is that it? Like, is, like that's like the edge, right? That's the light? Oh my god. That's kind of, it's kind of spooky. Hey, neither current. So I gotta go there. Okay. It's pretty spooky. It's very fucking bright. It's crazy that they were able to, like, freeze light. I don't understand how any of that works, but I mean, I'll roll with it. I'm sure we'll get, like, more explanations later. Alize is nowhere to be seen, but you spot fresh footprints on the ground. And they look to be about the right size. I do. Oh, I do. Those are her feet, I guess. They lead northwest. take this the wrong way but but e e the footprints continue to the northwest ah these dead guys the gilmans okay where is she going 
And how come her footprints just end? They curve to the west. If I find her in trouble, swear to god, I swear to god, this game better not make me cry within the first, like, 30 minutes or something. Performance sounds, it's fun. It's fun, I'm not typing that, I'm not reaching over to type that one, I could just go mute myself manually. Does she fight here? There are more tracks here, but they end in a mess of disturbed sand. Oh. No, oh, yeah, I'm just looking at the light. God, that shit's bright. Eugh! Must be agonizing to stare. It must be really hot here. Oh, a sin eater. Get back here! <gasps> oh -ho! No, no distractions. Is that girl? Girl! Me. No distractions! Oh and she and she landed perfectly still. Girl, how are your legs not dead? How are they not broken? How are you in one piece? Sweepy. Impressive! You did so good! Just a lesser sin eater. Nothing to write home about. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later, but I had been hoping for sooner. Oh, Sweepy, I know. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me? Show us the fit. Oh, she looks so cute. How are you? Oh, she looks so cute. That's all the stream sniping I got for today. Bye! Don't do that to people in the MSQ. It's not fun. We've fought them to a standstill then. The Exarch did say that the Empire seemed to have drawn back when he last looked in on the source. Oh, so they don't but really know who without knowing either, for sure how fast Exarch. time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. I'm heartily relieved to hear that it hasn't, just as Alphano must have been. As you can imagine, both he and Orianger were desperate to hear the news from home when I arrived. Hmm. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Yishtola yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should Wait, have at least. does she mean like yet as in like at all? Is that what she means by that? When I think of how frantic Tataru and the others must be, I want nothing more than to rush back Aww. and reassure them. Oh, I know. But we still haven't found a way to reverse the summoning. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Urielje's vision. I mean, we could. I'll die, but like... He may use like... ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. But on this matter, he was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. What if Uriange is a snake? Nor how again? difficult oh, it no, must have been to speak about the them. Game. Never mind. The eighth umbral calamity and your death aren't exactly topics for idle conversation. As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We Aww. can't allow the rejoining to happen, which means we have to save the first from the Sin Eaters. So is that going to be this entire X pack then? Doing that and then returning home? Oh that God, great what if we wall never of white home? is a remnant of the flood. A hundred years ago, the balance in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day. And then, without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Norvrant was spared. I'm For the so most spooky. part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects. But when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered and their natural form breaks down. Then they either perish or are warped into mindless abominations. Like the Sun Eaters? Or is there something I'm missing here? Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. 
They were once living creatures or people oh my God. that were caught in the past. That's of really the sad. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within reach. But even that is not the worst of it. The stronger sin eaters can plant light in us, like seeds in soil, corrupting our ether and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. So how? Like they are the creatures bite? of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no pity, know no remorse, and are utterly deaf to reason, which is why they must be destroyed. Every last one of them. I'm sensing a plot point. The infirmary is full of the Sin Eater's victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. Oh my god. Game? That's really sad. I honestly can't imagine what it must feel like to have um have something so terminal and just be like any second now any moment now you know i know i'm starting to think that someone dear to us is gonna somehow get affected by this and honestly i'm not looking forward to that plot point me yeah i figured honestly i figured we were still waiting for you to turn i wouldn't really call that a loss and it's a matter of time more for some less for others those patients will all become monsters in the end you can feel it in your knees yeah and to add insult to injury the afflicted are feared, shunned, cast out of society and exile her to the edge of the world. The only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that it's served, it has served me well as a training ground. Leslie and the others have also been kind enough to share their knowledge of the Sin Eaters, which is knowledge I can now share with you, while you help me finish my patrol, of course. Here's what we'll do. Hmm. I'll take the east side of the inn and you clear the west. That way, you can have an undiluted experience of resonant terrors. Wow, thank you. Undiluted. These marks on your map are where the usual trouble spots are. You can assume that any beast with a white hide or carapace is a sin eater, and you'll know for sure soon enough when they come slavering after your ether. Remember, it's killed or be killed with these monsters. Once you slay whatever's prowling around out there, we can rendezvous back at the north entrance. Good hunting. All right. Bet. I only have to find three of them. Not bad. <laughs> dear to her. <laughs> well, Jay's dear to me in, in some ways. But don't tell him I said that. He can't know. Forgiven cowardice? Oh. That's a title. Don't worry, I'm not flipping it right now. Okay, good, good, good. So an eater sounds way for the normie. I'll take it. I know, right? Bro, if I get something that's terminal, I want you all to start calling me a sin eater. All right. <laughs> little ancient lizard boards are the an the little ancient lizard boards are very cute. What guys? These guys? They are very cute. Look at their little hands. They got little hands. All right. Get another one here. Where are you at? Oh. Okay. Not a single one spawned there. But there's going to be one further up here. I just know it. 
or nerfs from Star Wars. Okay, that's what I was thinking of, because I was gonna say, they look like something from Star Wars, and they also look like, um, that one guy from Lilo and Stitch. So can't we call you Sinead or Syrah? I am Sinead or Syrah, am I not? Oh, they do look like Rex! From Mass Effect, right? Wait. Right, did you just say I'm firmly hot? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ooh. Whoa! What did that do? Whoa! 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 All enemies standing in the corrupted patch of salted earth take additional unexpected damage with a potency of 500 for the first enemy. Ooh! Oh my god. I just realized I could do my Dark Knight quest soon, I think. If there are going to be any. Unless they're all done now. I don't know. Weren't there supposed to be some in Shadowbringers? Or in Stormblood? Or is it over? When did the, when did the quest lines end? Only one post, I'm just gonna 80. One? One? What would your senior name be? Like, Forgiven Defiance? Um, Forgiven Stupid. Forgiven Catastrophe. Forgiven, um, uh, Poop. Forgiven poop. How did you fare? It was pretty easy. Uh, I thought there might be one or two lurking on the fringes. Nothing out of the ordinary for this area. I expect you notice it yourself. Individually, these lesser sun eaters are no more deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. It's when they appear in numbers that they pose a threat. Much like the void scent, they have an unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful sun eater goes on the hunt, it might be attended by a ver by a veritable swarm of weaker kin. Imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or hamlet. That's the basic idea behind my patrols, to call their ranks often enough that their numbers won't be overwhelming when the big ones come out to play. You've certainly helped on that front. That's a part of victory to, te to Tesselian, shall we? Yee. Yeah. <gasps> you have the helmet I want! That's the helmet I want! That helmet is so good! Uh, oh, your weapon is sick as fuck, too. It looks like the one from the trailer? That's dope. That's dope. The Sauron crown? I want it so bad. Hi, Sunken Valkyrie! Which Dark Sword is that? Uh, or Dark Knight Sword is that? Because it's so pretty. This is. Oh, uh, it's part of my glam. Let me see. It is this one, the Seeing Horde Guillotine. Or Guillotine, rather. Alize tells me you helped out on her patrol. You have her thanks, and my apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we met. In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alize has missed her company. Everything is always, if Pepper were here, she would... That's an exaggeration. I don't sound like that either. I was simply trying to view matters from another perspective, and I respect Pepper's methods. Honestly, after seeing her in action, I can understand why. The way she leaps into the fray without hesitation. It really is something to behold. Might be a little smitten myself. <gasps> I'm like teasing, though I've no doubt she deserves all the admiration she gets, just as you do. I love Tesleen. I think I think I love her. Gimme. 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 Wee woo wee woo. I see the I see the quest my feisty little choke about. Yeah, that's stay in there. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Tazleen has the air of a woman being pulled in ten directions at once. I love to lay out a welcome meal, but the duties I put off when I went to the market are still waiting for me. Ah, there are a hundred and one things that need doing. I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting here for the LSA? What, and twiddle our thumbs while you work yourself to death? Surely there's something we can help with. I have a minion to use? What do you mean? I could do with a hand, it's true. Thank you. You can start by helping me sort out the larder, Alize. While we do that, could you tend to a few patients, perhaps? There are three in particular I meant to visit. It's just a matter of saying a few words to them and seeing that their skin isn't caked in sand. 
Their names are Ponil, Panil, Todden, and Halric. They may not give much in the way of response, but I promise they'll be pleased to meet someone new. This is pretty sad. In my inventory? Oh, Jin gave me that, but I already have it. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just touching them. Oh, thank you. Hello, Todden. Hello, how you doing? Totten glances up at you blankly, but you notice the tension in his face ease slightly. Oh. Oh. Oh, Rick, you're so small. Are you young? Oh, is this gonna be sad? Alric remains utterly still as he wipes the sand from his cheek. The texture of his skin has hardened into something akin to plaster. Oh no. Oh no. He's not doing so hot. He's gonna turn. Where's Tesslene? There she is. They all seem to love your MyMac. Good work. Thank you. I worked very hard on it. She already had it because she's spoiled. I am spoiled. It's not my fault that people like to give me things or that I like to go into the market board and uh, find things myself. <laughs> I think his time may be near. Oh no. We shall leave you to have that discussion then. I was gonna take Pepper to uh, more soup if you have any errands that there that need doing. Well, I suppose there's one thing. Can you pick up a nectar from the markets, please? The Sarat's caravan just passed through, so Ron Ron should have some fresh fruit. Come then, Pepper. There's something I want you to see. Right after we stop at Ron Ron's stall, of course. Alright, sounds good. What servant's ASN are you on? I'm on Crystal Goblin. Must be turning the MB, pop off. Gotta do what I gotta do. My pantomime performance. Stop. That's my favorite thing to do in um in dungeons when I'm waiting. And just run up to the um the front of like the boundary standing area. And I just pop that. It's fun. <laughs> I like watching me hop over. <laughs> So right over here. Oh, it's doing a run run. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Woo, back again, are you? You need a taste of run run's wares? Mmm. Actually, we're looking to buy a nectarine. Do you have any in stock? Oh, yes. Nectarines, peaches, grapes, fresh and juicy. Hmm. You know how richly you craft your coin purse with me? I might still owe you food. Here, take this one. Free of charge. Oh. Thank you, Ron Ron. Is it rotten? Gods, I've never seen a Mord merchant give away something for nothing before. How much coin did you spend here? Just... Just one. A jar of honeyed worms? Oh, girl. <laughs> hmm? Oh, no, they're not for me. It's an offering of sorts. Yeah, girl, I had some of those earlier, and they gave me the shits. Only the best regulars for you. Come again, my friends. Thank you, thank you. Right, that's our shop interesting, Kara. Let's head up past the etherite to the main tower. The view I want to show you can only be seen from its very top. Oh, show me a view. Hmm. So does this mean that Alize is now, like, 17? Because they were here for one winter, so like one year, right? Or no. No. Never mind. Because like a year is like an hour, right? No, she's still the same age. But here she isn't. No, but technically yes. Wait, how does that work? 
Been lurking Ponto, then lurked you. Hello! I completed 6.0 MSQ yesterday, more or less. Congratulations. I don't know what that is. And Walker, presumably? Here are your precious worms. That buys the trick to the top of the tower, does it not? <gasps> Glaze Wrigglers! You actually brought them! I really shouldn't let you, but just this once, alright? Only once. Never fails. Shall we? <laughs> Only this once, and then she says never fails. That's so funny. <laughs> Look, over there, where the wall is broken. I did notice that when I was running around. Do you Ooh. see what lies beyond? Is that snow? That's what the land became after the light flooded in. Oh. An empty white nothing. Oh, it's literally just, wow. Life like cannot exist in such conditions. The primordial light would wreak havoc on the body's etheric balance. getting bleached that nectar in you bought it's Halric's favorite fruit I knew it I knew it I figured that's what it was oh are we giving it to him before he passes basically most of the patients Halric included survived the attacks of powerful eaters but their fate was sealed all the same the monster's corruption has entered their bodies, and their very essence is being subsumed by light. The twisted state of the world itself just makes matters worse. Under normal circumstances, a person's ether naturally tends to equilibrium, but for these poor souls, the opposite is true. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Tesslin and the patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. I feel just as helpless as before. No matter how hard I fight, it's never enough. That's so but sad. But it's a war I mean to wage, nonetheless. Speaking of wars, do you remember how I made you promise not to leave me and then promptly collapsed? Uh, yeah! It's been, uh, weighing on me. <laughs> well, let's just say I had a few choice words for the Exarch concerning the timing of his summons. <laughs> but even if the fault lay with someone else, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd abandon you on the battlefield. So I swore that I'd make up for my absence there by making a difference Aww. here. Oh, Elisa, you're so good. And that's what keeps me moving forward, even when things seem hopeless. She's just doing her best. Just always trying to do her On best. On which note, it's time we headed back. The longer we keep Tesslin waiting, the harder this will be for her. I love her. I love her so much. She's such a sweet baby. Elise is still the best Alfino. Yeah, Alfino, the red Alfino is pretty great. I love red Alfino. I'm glad I was able to show you that. When it comes to understanding the catastrophe, should I do the Alize voice? I'm glad I was able to show you that. When it comes to understanding the catastrophe which befell the first, one glimpse of the empty wasteland beyond the wall was worth more than an hour of Uffianger's lecturing. And I needed you to know beyond a doubt that Tesleen has no other choice. The lecturing will be a kindness. It isn't just a threat posed to others. When a person becomes an eater, the pain appears to be excruciating. The carers are truly fond of their wards and would spare them that suffering. It is their way of fighting back against a fate worse than death. Ah, <sighs> this game has so many, I mean, like I know I should not be surprised, but it has so many dark elements in its like storytelling 
that makes it really hard for me to ever believe that there was someone that played that that there are people out there that exist who have like played through this game and been like yeah it didn't do it for me you know like there are definitely some aspects so far of final fantasy 14 that did not tickle my pickle like as most of you know who saw me like go through stormblood i didn't enjoy a lot of it but it was still very good like looking back at it now like for example lise i didn't like lise and she's still not i think she's still like the weakest scion well, it's not really a sign anymore, but you know, the weak is scion, but even so, even so, like, she, um, she, she had tremendous character growth, albeit taking until the patches for you to really see it, in my eyes at least. And like, you know, there isn't a single part, like, that, like, she was like the, the one part, apart from A Realm Reborn, of this whole game that I didn't really like, but I still turned around. You know? A Realm Reborn was a slog, but what made up for it was all the combat. The combat was fun, the side quests were fun, the trials are fun, the music is fun. It makes me keep going, and then I get lost in the narrative once it starts really picking up. I know, I don't blame people... I don't blame people that can't make it past a Realm Reborn, I understand, because if the gameplay isn't compelling enough for you, then you're kind of lost there. But if you're able to get past that, you know, like, I don't see how anyone could turn away. And I clipped you warming up to her, I know. You clipped me smiling for one fucking second. Y'all caught my ass. Looking back at Stormblood as a whole, it's still a very solid experience, even if it isn't someone's prison cup of tea. Exactly, yeah. There are a lot of quest sync. There are a lot of aspects of it that like weren't that great, but it was still an experience at the end of the day, a good one too. Mm. Let's go deliver this nectarine. I'm fucking scared. Wasn't there something else? Somebody else who liked nectarines? Oh no, it's a, it was a, a persimmon. Hi Julio, I'm good, how are you? There are two kinds of players, people who skip the story and quit early, and people who think this is the best RPG ever and will die on that hill. And you know what? You know what? I will take that. I will absolutely take that. Because it's... I mean, that makes sense. Because again, A Realm Reborn, it was hard. It's, it's hard for a lot of people to get into. And if you, if you stop there, then you're missing all the goods. But if you get to the goods, you're not putting the game down. You know? The characters' relationships and the growth arcs and, and adventure the ga this game takes you on is what really drives Final Fantasy XIV as experience, I think. Oh, I agree, too. I wholeheartedly agree. You know, I, I thought about it before, actually. Um, when I first started playing this game, I really wish it had, like, a gifting sy uh, system, like, a friendship slash relationship system. Like, I wish it had a little bit more RPG to it as opposed to just like a fantasy narrative um but you still get that without it actually being there when you do the little quests that include those characters when you talk to them like whatever it's still the <laughs> same hashtag bioware yeah i feel like bioware has definitely spoiled us in that degree um you know not that this game needs to be like a dating simulator simulator or anything like that but, you know, there isn't, like, another way for you to get closer to the characters. But when you play through the story, the writing, even though, like, sometimes it'll drift from the main plot, it will get you there with those characters. And then you, yourself, can decide, okay, do I actually like this person or not? Like, are they annoying me? Because you have a silent character, right? So you can, like, make up the, the headcanon in your head, right? Let me kiss the NPCs, I know! Oh, sorry, uh, Anna, what did you say? Final Fantasy XIV always had real stories, even the even in A Realm Reborn, the main quest and side quests all had so much depth and character development and real-life motivations and behavior that most of our fiction somebody doesn't bother with. I agree. I agree. I think what, what made A Realm Reborn so difficult for me is... So, most of you know that I have a lot of trouble reading, um, and my attention span is really bad, and what have you. 
my biggest gripe with A Realm Reborn was the lack of voice acting, which made a lot of scenes feel really flat. They either felt very flat or I got exhausted from this. And you and you then can fill some gaps in your head can exactly yeah and it makes it makes the experience a little bit more personal you know because then you can read into the actions in game and see what fits you best i think like my first and do not judge me i know chat i know that you will but my first instant of that feeling was when orshifon has an anxiety attack over you going into battle without him by your side because he wanted to help you and he was nervous something was going to happen and stuff. And I was like, you know, because like, I, like the way that they built up to that with Emmerich being like, oh, yeah, there's a certain commander who wants to see you. He was very, very worried about you. Twelve knights had to hold him back. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what? And then you go see him and he's like beyond relieved. And I was like, this is this part of the of the story was about like five minutes at most less even literally like two minutes but that y you know those little moments that they that the writers like throw in there so good i know the voice acting was i know i know i know that it you know it just simply was not the same they did not have the the tools at hand but it's still a valid reason for it to, you know, not be as gripping as the rest. You said his name without bawling? I, <laughs> I know. For now. Did anyone clip me falling out of my chair? <laughs> or am I going to have to go find that myself? <laughs> I don't really have a worry about ship it in my head, Emmerich and Estate in our canon. Oh, I agree. I don't remember what the scene was in Heaven's Ward, but there was something between them. That, oh, Emmerich like was really worried about Estinian and they were talking about how they were like childhood friends or some no, not childhood friends, but some some shit like that. And then Emmerich scoops him up bridal style and I was like, gay. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> and it was like the most simple thing, but I'm like, that's it! That's it. They are gay. And I love them now. <laughs> and like, oh, and that reminds me, um, like about like the, the small things. Like at the end of Heaven's Ward, when you see Estinian with the bouquet, you know where he's going. With the flowers, you know exactly where he's going once he recovers and 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 and, 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 and And that was also like 10 seconds. It was just like a 10 second thing, but you know. It's a little character beat moments that make the world feel alive. Yeah, and I think that's why, I think that's why this game does so well. It's because they have, it's because they have all those, he went for Iceheart, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because then he leaves it, he leaves that, the, the bouquet in the area where where she like pew, with the ship yeah yeah because that's where, that's where she went kaboom or whatever the fuck it was right god i remember that quest i hated every second of it and then that scene got so intense and i was like Whoa! and then i was like wait a minute <laughs> i loved their rivalry so much that too, that too got me. Oh, God. Also, there's a line that says, Emmerich never left Estinian's bedside. Sounds homo to me. <laughs> I know. Isail was a character that took a little bit to grow on me. Because at first, I was kind of like, my God, this woman is a little bit preachy and she's kind of a dick. Into it. But, you know. But then the more like, but her her character was fleshed out really well, in the in the short time that we had with her. I wish we could have seen more. I wish we got more. What is happening with my hair here? One of Heaven's Ward's best moments for me was in three point one after Vidochner saves a child from. Be oh my God, 
That scene! Yeah, yeah, yeah. As things calm down, Edmund warns Emmerich about how some Ishgardians would look upon that event, and then he looks right at Emmerich and says, I see much of Orsha. I know, I know, I know, I know! <laughs> I know that scene was really fucking sad. I'm pretty sure that scene got me too. Got all of Heaven's Word just fucking just it ripped me apart. It got me fucking good. Oh. So far, just like Stormblood, most of my crying during Shadowbringers has been about remembering Heaven's Word. Yeah, Heaven's Ward fucking sucks. I love it so much. Do you see this shit? Do you see me? <laughs> I have... Oh my god, yes, you love the Moogles. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's give this kid his fruit. You're back. I hope you had a nice time. Did you manage to find the nectarine? I did. I got it. It looks like a little butt. Thank you. Allie says explain why I wanted this. Has she? I could see it in your eyes. We may not need it just yet. I spoke with the others and we decided to keep an eye on Halric for now. Thanks to you, though, if his time does come suddenly, we'll be ready to send him on his way with a taste of happier days. The time left to us. Tazleen makes an effort to smile brightly. Well, nothing is going to happen for a little while yet, so let's see if we can to lighten the mood. We don't want our gloomy faces worrying the patients. I think it's time for the, that welcome meal, don't you? Take a seat, and I'll make us a nice stew. <sighs> All right, I need to poison the kid with nectar. <laughs> I like Tesline so far. She's a sweet character. She seems a little fumbly. She seems a little like, you know. Speak up if you'd like another helping. I made a little bit more than usual today. But I like her. Like just And you've added something happy special to the broth, kinda. if I'm not mistaken. Poison for us. I, well, it's not often we have visitors from the Crystarium, so I may have thrown in a few extra bits and bobs. I wonder if she's the first version of Lise. Oh. Oh. That's a really good, um, like, interpretation. But wouldn't it be too soon for there to be a version of Lise, I guess? I don't know. The Nectarine. Halric's Nectarine. The Nectarine chosen especially to poison Halric. No! This is more so my headcanon. I kind of- I like it. I like it, Jay. That's a good headcanon, honestly. Because isn't that, like, kind of the whole point, too, with some of this? It's, like... Like, the characters in the first, or, like, the events and things in the first kind of, like, echo the source, right? Lise or Ida? Ooh! Well, I don't know enough about Tesline yet to know if it's if she's more like Ida or Lise. Actually, wait. Actually, wait. Can um can someone clear this up for me? Because I saw someone talk about it on Twitter, and I actually don't know if it's true or not. Or not Twitter, Reddit. And I don't know if it's true or not. Ida died, like, way before, right? Like, the Ida we knew was Lise all along, right? Okay, I just wanted to- yeah. Yeah, well, we never meet Ida. It's always been Lise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Because I remember someone was, like, talking about it, and I was- and I- I- I was reading their post, and then I got lost. I was like, wait- wait a fucking second, what is this person saying? And so I just stopped reading it. But I just wanted to double check with- with chat, so I- <laughs> I didn't, like, start, like, fooling myself. Yeah. <laughs> At least I could take her leave. I think now that I've like gone through Stormblood, I'll like I'll reiterate what I said earlier. Lise is by far the weakest scion. But she grew on me. She definitely grew on me. I think 
I think what's hold on. My bag fell. I think what sucks with Lise is that her character growth, I don't think was executed well. Because she gets there. She definitely gets there. And it's really nice to see her find her footing and her backbone and her voice. Because she did always have it. But she was so tone deaf at the beginning of Stormblood that it's like, I had so much... I had so much trouble, like, listening to her. You know? Like, and, and I'll, I've, I've said it before. I've said it before, and I will say it again. That scene where, um... That scene where Elise is trying to tell the Alamegans from, um... I think it was, like, Al Alagiri or something. Where she's like, you have to come fight for us. Come fight in the war. Blah, 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 blah. You guys have to. You have to. My people. Our people. I'm your people. Blah, blah, blah. Like, and they, they fought back and they were like, girl, who the fuck are you? Do you know what we have been through? I would rather live like this than blah, 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 blah. You don't know shit. And I was like, yeah, you fucking tell her. Like, that scene. And like, I don't know... And maybe this is now me being nitpicky, but I'm sure there's a select few of you that can at least understand. Her being a blonde, blue-eyed girl, telling this to a bunch of tan NPCs, it was not fun to watch. I know that like, that's digging deeper than I should be. I know, I know that probably wasn't the intent. But from my perspective, sitting there and watching that, it's like, oh, I hate, I, I don't like this character. I don't like you. This is fucking awful. You know? And again, I'm glad that she got her character growth. I do like her now. She grew into her role. But that sat with me since the beginning. I think it was overlooked or imagined it was because she's biracial. Yeah, but when, when you, mm, yeah. She's biracial. She's a biracial girl. Yeah, I'm like, I get that. But, you know, like, from, like, if you just showed anybody that clip with no context for the game. Mm, out of context? It is not looking good, you know? Yeah. Um, And I think because of, like, that scene alone, I carried that with me throughout the entirety of Shadow, oh, not Shadowbringers, Stormblood. And so, like, it was, it was real, it was really hard to, like, get over that, that hump. But, you know, her character growth, and I'm sure some of you could probably, <gasps> thank you, Nixie! I'm sure some of you could probably, like, um, I guess, like, understand a little bit. I, now that I look at it, Lise's character growth is very much akin to Alfino's character growth. Yes, Alfino... Sorry, excuse me. Was an annoying character in A Realm Reborn for many reasons. Um, but he was, he also had that like naive, almost overly privileged, somewhat bratty um, essence to him. Least didn't have the confidence that Alfino had. But it was, they were, they both had that same kind of like, oh, like this kid, right? It felt like babysitting. Um, but Alfino's character growth hit a lot quicker than, than Lisa's, I guess. But, you know, watching them have to learn like, oh shit, maybe I am wrong. Maybe I can't do things on my own. Maybe I have to cooperate with people. Like, I like that. I like seeing that. I like that shit. I like redemp not not even just like redemption, but I like growth in characters where like you can see the work. You can see you can see it. <clears throat> Am I the drama? This game has a huge problem with whitewashing. Yeah. That's a conversation I don't even want to have, honestly. The second I saw Sri Lakshmi and she was a uh, brown haired white bitch, yeah. I don't even Whew. 
A big issue with Lise, um, as she started off in Stronghold, is that she's effectively with the dumb blonde trope, and that's just not enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. She did kind of start off that way. She did really start off with the dumb blonde trope, and it's not, it's not good. It's not good. And it's hard for me to even, like, read between the lines, you know what I mean? It's like, is that their intent or what? But at the same time, like... Like, I think it was Davy that said it a little bit earlier, but it, she had the white savior complex, too. More so than, than dumb blonde. Yeah. That primal fight was so uncomfortable, I know. Um, like, Sri Lakshmi, yeah. And it sucks, too, because Sri Lakshmi is beautiful. Like, that concept... Like, make her brown. Like, make her look like Pepper, and we're in, baby. Like, I, I want, I want to cosplay Sri Lakshmi so bad, but with my normal skin and my black hair. <laughs> I was going through that with Alfie, and then again with Lise, burn some people out. Yeah, I. Oh, you think going through that with? You know what, Maximum? I can see that. I can see how having that same character arc like, twice in a row, kind of, can be a little frustrating. And to be honest, I don't really... I don't really remember anything of Ida, apart from Ida not actually being Ida and Ida being Lise. I saw it very differently. I saw her as, a, as more of the naive kid. As more the naive kid, more than anything else. Yeah, well, that's what she was. She was incredibly naive. But it's, like, all those, like, many things where I was just, like... Girl. Way better than the game itself, yeah, but do I have the skill to pull that off? <laughs> it was just dumb and punchy, like me. <laughs> Ida was dumb and punchy, yeah. God, so much, so, you know what? They really just slapped on Lise, huh? That's, oh, that's another thing I don't like, and I don't see it too often in this game, but in general, and this is, this is not so much about Final Fantasy XIV per se, this is about just games in whole, as a whole, I hate fan service. And when I say fan service, I mean the, the sexy fan service. I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate it so much. I get it sometimes. But I feel like, I feel like they did that a lot with Lise. Every time she would, mm, she would do her stretches and stuff and like her, I think that's also, I think that's also what made me uncomfortable with Lise. But again, I like her now. Of the anime Food Wars, I've heard many things about that anime. Lisa's was written by men? Clearly. I can tell. I can tell. That's kind of what it boils down to? Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. It's like... God, Dragon Age had that problem too where, um... Where Sarah, the lesbian elf, was written by a straight man. Sometimes you just gotta... If <laughs> just why? <laughs> like why? Like why? Why? What went wrong? <laughs> like written by men for other straight men. Yes, written by men for straight men. Not for women who want to feel empowered, not for any other reason that would make sense apart from being for straight men. Yeah. And it's, and it's sad. And I find that so sad. Because then you, you have to, like, you know, grapple or... Good, uh, just, yeah, it, yeah. I feel like characters really lose... Or no, fans really lose themselves by, like, you know... Trying their best to defend a character that was never done well in the first place. And it all just comes down to their headcanon preference and trying to convince everybody that their headcanon is actually canon. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> this is why we go to AO3! Literally, literally! This is why we go to AO3. The way they wrote A Realm Reborn Papa Papalimo slash Ida was to have them as the sort of smart slash mehid comedy combo that was always together and were a complete character together. They gave Papa an arc by eating him and that left Ida, so they had to like give her personality all of a sudden. Yeah, and there wasn't there weren't any bones to build from that, right? Yeah. Just confusing confusing character development, yes. Very confusing character development, but I find that like, you know, once you get there. You got there, you reached the destination, and you're like, cool, I'm here. How did I end up here? <laughs> kind of like when you like wake up and you're suddenly in these purple, lavendery fucking crystarium shit. I'm trying to like fix my hair. Too many 3 a.m. nights, relatable. Need more Ishikawa writing in Final Fantasy 14. Didn't she write? She wrote Shadowbringers, right? I think that's what everyone was telling me. Because she did Dark, The Dark Knight, right? Well, Stormblood and its patch content has a lot to love. It's not lost on me how many people pick Heaven's Word Shadowbringers as their favorite expansion for still out on Endwalker, but Stormblood's in that Yeah, I Like It boat. Yeah, the way that I've seen it is a lot of people do, like, Shadowbringers, Endwalker, Heaven's Word, Stormblood. But so far, for me, it's, well, it's Heaven's Word, Stormblood, A Realm Reborn. Um, we'll see if Shadowbringers beats um, Heaven's Word. Ah, yes, parts of post Stormblood. I do believe I remember uh, someone chat saying that as well. The Stormblood patch content slapped. Yes. Um, and I think, to be honest, that is what saved Stormblood for me. That saved all of Stormblood for me. Um, 4.3 uh, did not like at all. But the rest of it was amazing. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's uh, till around here. What was four point three? Um, Yotsuyu. Where did my phone go? One second. I just realized I don't know where it is. I think it must have fallen when I was screaming or crying or something. Oh no, it's under my desk. I'll have another bowl. Give me foodies. Give me my foo-foos. Oh, clipping? Love that. My armor is not That's actually attached like to, to my hear. shoulder. Give me a moment to warm up the pot. Oof. In a place like this, you learn to take what moments of happiness you can get. I remember when I first came here with my mother. She was showing the early signs. Oh no. I knew there was no way to save her, but I just couldn't face what needed to be done. That's the way of it for most people. Why they travel for moms to stay here. Beaten, broken souls come to wait out the inevitable. To receive the mercy of a painless death. <laughs> so would the poison just kill them in their sleep? Like they wouldn't feel that? When my mother finally left this world, I was mad with grief. But also thankful that her passing was a peaceful one. Wish or Shafar had a peaceful death, but no. Heh, <laughs> but. Looks like a little butt. It's never easy ending a life you've cared for, even when you believe they go on to a better place. I often find myself wishing the warrior of darkness would come and do that part for me. The warrior of darkness? You've never heard the tale? I'm not sure where it began, but every child in Norvrant could tell you a version of it. 
Warrior of darkness, servant of death, take care of our souls at our dying breath. Let sinners and eaters of sin go with thee, that all may return to the sunless sea. I mean, that's kind of pretty. It was piece because <gasps> Well, that's the version I was taught anyway. It's just an old bedtime story. He certainly never deigned to visit us here. Which is a good thing, surely. He sounds rather ominous. <laughs> Do you think so? I always liked the idea that he treated every soul the same, even the Sin Eaters. Why would you say that to me? I'm never gonna get through this fucking cutscene! I'm not a crybaby! Okay, maybe just a little bit. Maybe I am just a little. No, Ray, I'm not crying because of shadow bringers! I am crying because Oshifon had a peaceful death because he was the last thing he saw! It was the last thing he looked at! I'm still crying over Heaven's Ward! I am literally. <laughs> that doesn't count! That doesn't count! Oh. 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 That doesn't count! Shut up, Davey! Who's this? What's happening? What's going on? What they all looking at? Oh, he's They're coming. kind of crusty. Who's coming? Deslin! Oh no, is it a big guy? Have you seen Halric? I swear, oh, I only took my eyes off him for a no. moment. Oh no! We couldn't even give him the nectarine! We couldn't even give him the nectarine! Pepper, Ellie's. We have to go look for Halric. I don't know what's gotten into him, but if he's wandering out there alone, will assign search areas and split up. Any idea where he might be headed? No, he's never done anything like this before. But it can't be a coincidence that the other patients are suddenly so agitated they can sense something. In any case, let's keep the search close to the end. Halric isn't very sure on his isn't very sure on his feet, so he won't have gone far. I'll search the east side. Please, Halric. Please be all right. Oh no. I'll cover the north and west. Then you take everything from here to the south. Um, so this way. Oh no. This kid. Oh no. Why do you lose a whole ass statue child? <laughs> Worst babysitter ever. I know, she looked away for a second and man's gone. Is that counter in the lower right the cry counter? No, that's how many subs I've got in this stream. Oh. You know what? My makeup isn't really running. Ooh. Look at the shine, though. Look at that. Mmm. We love a good tear shine. Ooh! Hey! My makeup is kind of... It's kind of holding up. What do you want? What do you want? Are you here to mock me? Are you here to mock me some more? Is that what's happening here? Is that what's going on? Oh, I get head pass. Thank you. I'm surprised he didn't dote. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> you see no sign of Halric. Maybe he went further west. Alright, let's go this way then. How'd he get that cap? You can get it on the market board. I have it too. I don't know if I have it on one of my glams, so I can't even open them. Same eyeliner, same eyeliner. Well, Cyracore equals Crycore, true. It's. I did like eyeshadow and then. Um, liquid liner see I've been trying to do like slightly more like 
smoky eyeliner Lee looks. So happy you have Dark Knight leveled for this. Look, it was meant to be. It was so meant to be. Tis my main. That dub time was on point like that makeup. Stop it. Stop it. We do need a cry cut at this point. Honestly, you're right. Okay, hold on. How many times in this game have I cried? I cr my first my first cry was when Orshifon died. My second cry was when Orshifon helped us um, with Nidhogg. <laughs> I don't know when my other my next cry was, but I'm assuming it was related to. Oh, my next cry was when we went to Camp Dragonhead. And they put up the portrait of Orshifam behind his desk, and Amandaline was like, Oh, it's like he's always there. He'll be proud of me. Blah, blah. Um, my next cry was. I think literally my next cry was Gabu. And then my next cry after that was when I saw. Um, oh, was dark was the Dark Knight quest when when you speak to um uh lord edmont for tom and he talks about his son and and now he's like overcoming his grief and then i think the next time i cried after that was when you speak to him at the end of stormblood and he says that Ishgard will always be your home, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and then my next cry after that was <laughs> when you're when you're traveling to this place, and then you, you see him there, and then and then just now when they mentioned like peaceful deaths and then Anna made me cry. So I've cried about seven to eight times. <laughs> did you visit his grave? I always visit his grave. Oh yeah, when I did the side quest in his grave. And I, and I, and I, <laughs> okay, so I've cried nine times. Tearing up does not count. Actually crying? No. Oh, you need to visit Orphan's Christmas. I do! I was there just the other day! <laughs> I was there literally the other day! <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's it. I think the only time this game has made me cry that wasn't related to Orshifa <laughs> was Gabu. I think it was just Gabu. I did, I did count that. I did count that. Okay, I'll thanks for the prime sub. Oh, did I cry when Gosetsu died? Or died? No, I don't think I cried. I think I got overwhelmed. Oh no, I did cry somewhere around there though. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did when, I don't think it was when Gosetsu, Oh my god, it wasn't when he died, I think it was something else, but it was like part of that like same plot line, I think. Was it- did I cry when he died? That! That's it! Yes! It was- okay, yeah. So it wasn't- it was that, it was that, when he called Hien Shun. Yes, that's it. Okay, so I've cried ten times. Ten times? Oh! And I- I don't- I think I cried when Alize collapsed, but I almost cried. I think I got overwhelmed, but I don't think I... No, I may have. So 10. We'll say 10. I've cried 10 times. The rising event? I forgot about the rising event when you tell the new recruit to smile. I forgot about that. It was right before I got the worship on a boat. <laughs> I 
I gotta lick that shit up. Like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the time you cry. When you're crying, the times you cry. Mm. You suck at the one thing he asked you to do by the cry right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration. I don't have water on me, but I got my Coca Cola. Okay. Should we have a cry counter? Where do I put it? It's like, thank you for the 10 gifted subs to everybody that got gifted the sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. At <laughs> like 25? Okay, hold on. Okay, so I think we're at 12 or 13 then. Can someone like write it out? <sighs> Ugh. I've missed some streams. How did Syra enjoy meeting him? I'm assuming you mean Solus because everyone was really excited about me meeting him, like the rat man. Um, he's a little shit, but I think I like him. He's kind of funny. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Poor Posture. He does kind of walk a little. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. He's kind of interesting. I have a theory. A rat man. He looks like a. He's like a little rat. He's like a scrungly little man. Um, I. I have a theory. So, like, my theory is that like. So he's an Asian. In the body of Solus, which means he's not Solus. Because Solus is a Garlean name. And so if he is an Asian, unless Asians and Garleans can be the same thing. But there's an Asian in, in Ashley Tisdale as well. So like, uh, so like, we have, we have Laha Bread and Edible. And then there's the other Asian. That's him. Mr. S Mr. Scrunkle! Mr. Scrunkles. What? Will she turn around before the end of the stream? Who knows? I'm guessing no. She kind of stinky, but I let. <laughs> what the fuck? You can scan your. You scan around your surroundings in search of power. Hold on. What's happening here? I'm under attack. <laughs> oh no! I'm under attack! Oh no! They found me! Okay, yeah. We need to make a cry counter. Where do I put it? There's an Assy and Ashley to tell some magnificent statement with that cosmic. <laughs> Put it above MS2. Because <laughs> that's the cause of tears, is true. Well, I have my, my bloopy floopy up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. My bloopy floopy? I don't know what that meant. Cry counter. Um, cry counter. Um, actually, Xenos, uh, Xenos, hey, Galvis Tisdale, exactly. Um, we are at like 12, 12 or like 13. Can we get an infinity symbol? One more for the end at 3.0 postcards where you place Orchon's broken shield. Okay, you got me there. I guess we're at 14 or 15. <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to me? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. That doesn't count. That's not from the game. That's just me putting on my BRB screen and crying. <laughs> 14 right now. 
now 15 minutes 15 later okay 15 to 10 minutes okay <laughs> Kind of like morbid how this is my starting soon page and then oh look this is where we started and this is where we ended <laughs> it's kind of morbid <laughs> started from the bottom now we're here started from the bottom now only orshifa is here in the grave while i'm outside on land crying Oh. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no. Literally, started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now... Literally, only Pepper is here. Mm. <laughs> how it started, how it's going. <laughs> Alright. Cry counter. Um... Um, no, honestly, we could just, like, put it right here. I know it's, like, kind of in the way of my, of my stuff, of, of me, but, like, it's small enough. I think. How do we feel about that? Like, right here. Or, like, oh, yeah, please go fast and Hallark is probably dying <laughs> You're right. Um. Oh, right here. Hey, chat. How do we feel about that? It's right above the subbies. I think I think that's actually a pretty good spot. Boom. Done. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right, chat. Okay. Or top left of the webcam. True. Llama! Cannibal Llama! Yes! Nine months. Thank you so much for the resub. Oh, you know what? Because I have my notifications muted, let me just see if I missed anything. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna read through my notif- my notifs really quickly. Hold on. Um, Cannibal Llama to give it a nine month resub. So, like, thank you for I know I, I thanked all of y'all ar already, but I'm just gonna just go through it in case I missed anything, okay? Um, thank you for the nine month resub, Cannibal Llama. Thank you for ten gifted subs. Slink, Faria, thank you for the raid. Chaos, thank you for the prime sub. Pyro, thank you for the raid. Poncho, thank you for the raid. Born Insane, thank you for the five months. Um, Petra Gaming, thank you for the Prime. Bio, thank you for the 17 gifted subs. Dentist, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. And now we're back at the beginning. Okay, perfect. So we're fine. That's all I missed. I didn't miss that much then. Perfect. All right. So what's over here? <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> thank you for clipping that, Caleb. Surveying. Did we find him? Oh, I must have found him if this is a cutscene. Oh, this music. Any sign of him? No luck then. But he surely can't have gone far. We should keep looking. The Sin Eaters are out in force, and if we don't find him soon, you can be sure music. they will. Oh, it's gone. Oh no, is that him? Oh, is that one of the big sin eaters? Is that is that what the warrior or Did you see the size of that trailer? Thing? Yeah. It must be one of the nasty ones. That is a nasty one. Wherever it's going, it can only mean trouble. After it! Alright, let's go, babes. Let's go take it down, yeah. The scrunkle song. It was that was a scrunkle song, yeah. Oh, that voice crack? <gasps> Is that... Oh, oh, no! Don't tell me he's gonna say mama. Oh, shit! Halric! We have to run! Tess, 
just like Orshifa. No! Damn. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. When she was making the soup, something about her talking about her mom and stuff. I saw it coming. Damn. We all deserve happiness. Oh. Wherever we can find it. That sucks. I liked her. The time left to you is precious. No one should die in pain. Oh. Mother. Mother. I. Oh. 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 Oh! Oh, is she transforming? I mean, this is so sad. Oh, she's transforming. I don't like that sound effect! This kid is so creepy. Oh, she looks so cool. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, she got titties! She got boobs! Forgive me, Alice. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Is what about the kid though? Oh. <laughs> well, what about the kid? Now what do we do with the kid? Oh, we well we brought him back. You you good, Holrick? Yeah. What what you looking at, my guy? Oh, you just looking up at the sky? Yeah. All right. I, sorry, Pepper. I tried to tell the Kira's what happened, but can't be the shoulder to lean on like this. All right. So you want me to go tell them the tea? All right, Kasana. Well, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's just so unfair. This scene was always so cheery with the patients, telling them not to be scared, that there wouldn't be any pain. Yeah, that's why she died. Come on. Of all the people in the world to suffer such a fate. I know. That fucking sucks. I really liked her. She was very sweet. Too good to be true. I imagine you're just as shocked as the rest of us. So I appreciate what you're doing here. Me? I can barely... I don't have the words. Without a body, we can't even give her a proper burial. She, she cared about that sort of thing, about giving people the chance to say their goodbyes. Ah. Well, let's prepare the nectarine. Oh, speak with Halric? Oh, man. Is this gonna be some sad shit where he says, like, his his, his last words and... Halric is as unresponsive as ever. Nope, never mind. He stands motionless. I guess you could say he stands motionless and white. Uh huh. Staring up into the sky where the Sin Eaters made their escape. Alize is lost in grief. Alize needs a fucking vacation. And a hug. And a forehead kiss. I've spoken with the. Uh, no. Alize. Da, da, da. Thank you. What you're doing, it means a lot to them. Me. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. We, uh, we realized we hadn't thanked you for rescuing Holrick. 
You weren't hurt at all, were you? Hurt? There wasn't even a fight. I was too late. Oh, too slow. And I thought I could protect you. Oh, you can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Hallrick back safe and sound. No one could have done any more. Elise! I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing in my role here. I hope you'll forgive me for leaving you, and that you will delay Hallrick's last meal for as long as you possibly can. Not until it's too late, of course. Just give him what time you can. Damn. You always do. Is it just too much for her? Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Of course, she would have done the same. Aww. Farewell, Hallrick. Keep Tesleen's words close to your heart. It's like Gabu all over again, huh? Wait! You're leaving this very moment? I understand how you must feel, but surely this is a bit hasty. Do you even have anywhere to go? Yeah, she's got me. I have a destination in mind, yes, and a purpose. This damn light. Building without seeds. This is pretty. What if I just made it my lock screen real quick? <laughs> Building without seeds. It's the reason we can't save those. Oh, fuck. But what if we corrected the balance, even if it were only little by little, even if it took years? It would surely make things better. Now, hold on there. Everyone knows there's too much light. How could you ever hope to get rid of it? You'd have to change the whole world. <clears throat> That's right. And she intends to. With me by her side. <laughs> we should return to the Crystarium. I may not be able to repel the eaters on my own, but I can still use the skills I have gained here to hurt them. Didn't even give her two months notice. Wait, I accepted a quest? Oh, I did. <laughs> Alright. Speak with Alize at the Red Sarai? Oh? Oh, wait. I can just. Can I not. Wait. What? Oh. Oh! She wants to speak there? Well. I. I guess I could just like go here and then like run over. Man. I like Tesleen, but I had that same reaction. Well, that was fucking cool. I know, like, it's really dope. I don't know if it's because I just like, oh shit, because I like horror so much, but I think that that was a really cool transformation. It was very scary and I loved it. Um,. That was sad though. One thing that this game, and I, I was talking about this before with Jay, um, one thing that this game does really well, but also not that well, is it's like predictability. Um, the storyline is so, <laughs> it's very easy to put two and two together, but the game gets you with the small, with the small details. It's those like minor things that you don't expect that really like hit hard. I find like I almost always kind of know what what to expect up the road but sometimes it'll be like how we get there or the ripple effect of those things like that's what will get me I just imagine what the would what that would look like in a live action movie or something it would be straight up like the thing shit oh my fucking god dude I haven't seen the thing in so long that movie was spooky of course, Rico just didn't deserve that, and she did not. But so the story goes, right? Does it have to assume people aren't reading the dialogue too carefully? Mmm. Very good point. I like to see you predict Shatterbringers. I will throw- uh, I will as we go along. Like, I'll do my best. Shatterbringers gonna change your mind? We'll see. Let's see. Forgive me, Pepper. I couldn't stay, stay there a moment longer. But I was serious about what I said. While the men and women at the end battle against this blight with kindness, I must fight it in my own way. With steel. Oh, I love her. Miss Alize? Is there anything I can get you? Your swiftest Amaro. I need to return to Crystarium immediately. As you wish. The scenes that have always gotten me were the quiet character driven moments that weren't huge story beats. Yeah. Mostly same. 
Ugh, remind me to wear goggles if we ever fly over Amaranth again. I've barely gotten the sand out of my eyes. But the wind didn't help but the wind did help to clear my head at least. I think I'm ready to meet with the Exarch. It's pronounced Exarch, right? Uh, we need to talk about how we're going to wipe the Sin Eaters out, shall we? Yes, yes we shall. What are you doing here, mister? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna casually walk past me? Uh-huh. Exarch, 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 Oh, I hate saying that. Exarch. They're huddling that Tazleen was was gonna get got with all her talk about death and such. Yeah, well, yes, exactly. That's, that was kind of um, what made it obvious to me because they gave her that, that beautiful quiet moment that was voice acted and everything where she was like, my mother, me momsy, me mom. <sighs> Thank you for seeking me out, Pepper. It meant a lot to have you there at my side. Oh, some just set off again the moment we had decided upon Direction upon a direction. We still have to visit Alfino, haven't you? And if I know my brother, he'll be on the cusp of discovering something vital to our success if he hasn't already. I'm content to stay here and consider our options for the time being, but don't keep me waiting too long, eh? Alright, Alf keep holding duty finder. Alfino time Where is it? In search of Alfino Yeah vibes. Uh I gotta leave here? Right. Oh, my legs. I just did a train. What the hell is a train? The fact that we can't hug people in game is a travesty. I mean, you can do this. It's not the same. <laughs> Sorry, random person. <laughs> But you had to be my example. <laughs> All right, where am I fucking going? Up there. Okay. I need a stretch reward. Why? I'm stretching right now. You just can't see. And right now. Oh. Your face is a note to me. What business have you at my rookery? I've got a letter for you. Oh, you know what I noticed? I like how the seal for the Alize quest had a blue... It was blue, like the seal was blue. And for the Alfino quest, the seal is red. I think that's really cute. It's like swap kind of, you know? Hmm. Signed by the Exarch, no less. Yes, I can pro provide you with an Amaro for passage to... Lucia. I will pick you out a friendly wealth. And there I was expecting a chocobo. So we're saying, what's that, right? A chocobo? Do you hail from one of no Norvron's more isolated settlements, perchance? I hear there are a few places where they ride little else. Oh, really? I'm here in the Crystaria, mounts like that gray fellow there are far more commonly used. Oh, so chocobos do exist here. Hmm. See, as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding tomorrow, I think it best I accompany you on this flight myself. Any Zune worthy of the name could do it, of course, but the Exarch sent you to me. Ensuring you arrive safely is my responsibility. Gather your things and meet me at the Amara launch. One of the junior tamers will attend to you while I ready the mounts. Sounds good. Where the fork am I going? Okay, that way. I don't need a mount when I have Jin. He's my mount. Like my Uber. He's my Uber. That's my that's my Uber driver. Oh, but I'll take one anyways. I'm eating Reese's cereal in the shape of bats. In the shape of bats. That sounds yummy. That was quite the clarification. Thank you. <laughs> I had to back travel a little bit. You said your legs hurt? Yeah, I'm just stretching them right now though. I'm stretching under my desk. You want to fly in tomorrow to Calusia? Kalusha? Well, I suppose if Master Genmai is going with you. Wait here, please. The Master should be along with the mouse shortly. You can now travel to Kalusha a little better. Alright, cool beans. Oh, it's the Halloween edition? They're still selling Halloween um, 
More like a chauffeur? Yeah, my Uber. The whistling breeze, mute. The pounding surf, frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge, all is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, beyond the broken earth, a city beckons. This is very interesting to say the least. Did I just say interesting? Interesting. Inter Whoa, how do you say interesting? Interesting. 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 Sting. Interesting. 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 Words are weird. Who's the narrator? That that has to be the warrior of darkness. That's Aardvark. We are arrived. This is Crackshell Beach on the eastern shore of Kalusia. We should be safe here for the present. Inter interesting. 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 <laughs> Compared to the mainland, sin eater attacks are far less prevalent, and the native beasts are not any more dangerous than elsewhere. It is the people you should be wary of. Yeah, the fat cats. Buy you that city in the distance? That is Yulmore, the island's main settlement. It rivals the Crystarium in scale and was once an ally in our battle against the Abominations. For years, the Ulmoron, Ilmoran elite have fancied themselves the masters of what remains of our broken world. They've gone as far as to offer the leaders of other settlements their protection if we bend the knee. Bend the knee! But to say their ideals are questionable would be putting it mildly. The Cossarium is one of is one among many who resist their heavy-handed authority, and while we are not at war, our relationship with Lilmor is strained at best. It may be wise to conceal your ties with the Exarch during your stay here, okay? Especially in the vicinity of the city. Sounds good. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, the Exarch has has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make finding your friend a good deal easier. Listen closely. Sir. I gotta initiate the next quest for you to tell me. God damn it. Whatever Sam Jen Mai has to tell you, he plainly deems it worthy of her undivided attention. Attention. Did you only just realize that Luxury watches my stream? Oh! Are you who they call Nissan? <laughs> I'm still dead on the floor of the Crystarium. Sucks to be you. What do you think of the quest start and end sounds? It's kind of, um, corny. The guitar riff? <laughs> Whatever, oh wait, he plainly deems it worthy for undivided attention. Okay. If you head south along the coast, you will eventually come to a fisherman's shack. A friend of the Crystarium lives there, a man who goes by the name of Ibor. Abor. Abor keeps an eye on everything that happens in Kalusia and will be able to point you in the right direction. Just hand him a sprig of time and that will let him know that you can be trusted. Here, this should be enough. Find your pen. I will stay here with them tomorrow until you're ready to return. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh wait, there's something over here. Can I, oh, uh, nope. <laughs> I guess not. Hobgoblins? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh. I didn't know I was in this game. Hey yo, Square Enix, you gotta you gotta pay me. I need my royalties. Y'all fucking stole my likeness. That is amazing. Oh, I is that someone's feet? Oh, that's a hobgoblin. I thought that was a penis. I thought that was a dick. That is in fact not a dick, but those are some juicy cheeks. Nice. Nice. <sighs> all right, so there's an etherite like all the way over there. I guess I can just hoppity 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 hop hop hoppity 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 hop hop. Oh, this music is so nice. I'm thinking of that Lego meme again. That's what made him when starts the character in the game that looks like her. When I see me in a game, Ayo. 
It's so true though. Why am I so attracted to characters that look like me? <laughs> like if I see a character that looks even like remotely like me, I'm like, oh, hello, are you romanceable? <laughs> I saw you in the other place. Are you following me? Hmm. You're not making eye contact. You're trying to not make it obvious. Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, so we have to go down here. Because you're super hot? Fariha? Those are fighting words. Who's talking? <gasps> you're so cute. I like the whip tails. Characters where you can see your reflection, their shiny head? True. True. I don't know what it is about people that have like buzzed hair. Like, like buzz, like buzz cuts or like just bald. They're just bald? It's just, it's hot. <gasps> they have a horn! Can Hrothgar be horny? Well, thanks to Kelsey, I know that's true. What you after? Fish crab? I think I've got an eel in a barrel somewhere, if you have a taste for them. Oh, oh, I like, <laughs> I like went like this and he went, huh? Oh, I do a little bit of time. Chuck some in the pan and it's like a bloody festival of flavor. What? I feel called out. Have you seen Kelsey wear pants? No, exactly. Have you met a Hrothgar player? I have, and it's Kelsey, and she is both down bad and in... Well, down bad and down bad. <laughs> Kelsey is the dad to our six kids. Kelsey, you're a father? How did I not know this? Now, if you know I... Oh, if you know A? I know the one. Our young champion of the downtrodden. Yulmore is richer than all of Norv... Norv... Put together, but it's a different story for them as... Story for them as live outside the city, as live out the... Mess... Me, me, fuck! Oh my god, I cannot speak. Most spend every waking moment just trying to stay alive, which makes their friends an occasion to help another stand out all the more. I, I can hazard a guess as to where he is now, get a message to him. We will need somewhere quiet to meet, away from prying eyes. Make for still tide. That's the fishing village just up the path there. Was that just where I was? You're looking for a rundown excuse for a tavern the locals called the Leaky Keel. Wait there and I'll see that Alpino joins you. That is literally where I just was. Nice. Can I just... Can I... I know it's not far, but I'm lazy. Hi, Danny! I give smooches too. How are you, Danny? <gasps> Yennefer Freya, redeem hydration. Thank you, Yennefer. I don't have woods on me, so I'm just going to drink my cook. Oh god, I'm so zoomed in. Hey yo, what is this blue thing up here? Is that a potion? What is that blue alcohol? I want it. I want that one. Um, excuse me, Theva. I want that one. Oh wait, sorry, not that one. I want that one. Yeah. Can can you can you give me that one? I can't reach it. I want that one. Thank you. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's fucking Jin. Who you want? This is the first time in a tavern. It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What will you be having? Ale, mead, water. Well. I mean, you did... My what? My what? My what? Who's what? My what? My what? What did I say? My cock? When did I say my cock? When did I talk about my dick? Did I say my cock? Is my dick sticking out again? <laughs> I have some water because someone redeemed hydration. Fine choice. What are you paying with? Well, no, those are exotic. Where did you come by coins like that? I'm sorry, dear. I don't. I don't doubt they have value, but I don't have a touchstone to test their purity. And I'm not about to go begging for one from the neighbors. So we'll just have to come to some some other arrangement. You want a kiss? It's an idea. There's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables, but lately the pests have been eating more of them than we have. 
What do you say to a bit of extermination work? Girl, I'm going to squash any vermin you find. And then visit the caretaker and give him an earful from me for sleeping on the job. <laughs> He'll be in the old seal silo uh, next to the fence, snoring like as not. I missed that. <laughs> Have your finest can of for a loco. Do that for me and you can laze about here as long as you like. Bet. Alright, I'm gonna go kill some bugs. Is that Jin offering up his ass so you can get a drink? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's happening there. Uh huh. <gasps> what is that? Is that a mount? Indomitable. Can I kill it? Oh my god, that is a big hammer. So is this like, is this what helps them farm? Do you farm? Are you a farm? Are you a farmy sort? Am I about to get my ass handed to me? Why am I, why am I running around as if I'm, um, <gasps> wait, what does this do? I never did try this yet. Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Is that Frey? Or is that just... Who is that? Is that just... Is that... Who is that? That's so sick! Oh, they're gone. Oh, I just blocked the battle music here. Hell yeah. Oh, it is Frey! It's Frey! Clericor. This is Clericor, actually. That very much is Clericor. She'll be very sad to know I eliminated one of her kind. Don't tell her. I can't have her hating me just yet. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder why I'm able to summon Frey. That's kind of cool. Blighted crop. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh boy, that was, that was difficult. All right, is that it? Oh no, there's one more, oh I see it. Oh, look at these little plants. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 grapey, wapey. Grapey, wapey. Mm. I don't like saying that. That didn't really come out the way that I wanted it to. I was trying to be cute, like, wape. Like, you know, like doggy woggy. Yeah. I don't like that. I take it all back. Now I gotta go yell at the farmer, right? Kinda like you saying coke earlier. Coke? When the uwu hit different. No response, maybe it's not louder. What if I just, like, attack the door? What if I just broke it down? Perhaps the occupant is hard of hearing? <laughs> let me just, like, let me just break it. Easy peasy. You hear a faint scream from the room beyond. Time to burst in and save the day, brave adventurer. Oh, god. Oh, god. Thank you for mocking me, game. No one is home, and judging by the lack of furniture, they haven't been... Uh, for some time. The gnawed scraps of vegetables on the floor is just rats have taken up residence in their absence. Damn. Um, did you do any skips? No. No, I did not. I would not do that. I'm unfortunately going to be um, barreling through this game at a uh, slow rate. Hi, Milk! How are you? Nice to see you. So back in here, was it? <gasps> Another cat girl? <gasps> oh my god, you're so you're so tall. What's that like? Oh, it's you from chat! Oh my god, you're like cat girl Yennefer. Iconic. Iconic. 
Welcome back, dear. What did that good-for-nothing caretaker have to say for himself? Well, about that, he's actually not there. Gone? Hmm. Must have left to join the rest of the hopefuls. What? Did he get bit? In Gate Town. Outside Yulmore? You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? No, I was thinking you were another dreamer. Well, never mind all that. Take a seat wherever you like, dear. You've got you've more than earned it. I'll even throw in another drink. On the house. <gasps> Thank you all. That's the very kinds of you. I really appreciate it. You know, it's really hard to miss that ominously br <gasps> And is that how is business today, Mistress Thever? He got fluffy boots! He got fluffy boots! Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. Why can't I? Why were they hiding his face? It's good to face? see you, my friend. Why were they hiding his face? I know who that is! <laughs> it's sweet baby boy! It's Blue Alize! The barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, wow, well, Fino, you really are a dear. Actually, he's an Elzen. Well, he's not a deer. I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? On the place while I'm out, eh? Here, yeah, babes. Can you help me out here? <laughs> Look at him! Look at his little outfit! It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsu. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. That's a jumper Opal made for me. I know! I actually can't see that outfit without thinking of you. <laughs> you little baby. Um, me? I was more worried about you. Huh. Alize said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. <laughs> Sunday, but thank you for I the believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. <laughs> I see. But the Exarch and Alize told me what they knew of events, oh. but I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. Mm. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the Eighth Umbral Girl, Calamity. Girl, you're telling me? Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. Oh by my god. By his description, the catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly his weapon employed don't... by the Garlean Empire. Re re uh, reach the ground. <laughs> oh my god, he's just a little man. <laughs> Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Oh, Gaius was telling you the yes. truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Mm -hmm. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped. But so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. He's just a little guy. He's just a little businessman. <laughs> In that sense, guy. our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. 
<laughs> but I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. I don't want that shit in our world. Mm -mm. They are a they menace that I would source. dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. Amen, King. That is what brought me to the gates of you. Why did I look at him like that? I look so Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. If any solutions are <sighs> to be found, I believe our search should begin there. I look what say so you, old wary. Friend? Hungry for another adventure? I mean, I would rather sleep, but I'm with you, kid. Ow. And so we take to the road once more. He's like a little, like, golden retriever. Or like a lab. You know? Like a service dog. <laughs> I love him. All right. <gasps> I like your skirt. I'm gonna try to take the room once more. Assuming you have no objections, let's make our way direct into the city outskirts. If we time our, tri our arrival just right, you may be lucky enough to see why I have yet to set foot in Yulemore, despite my best efforts to do so. Come, from here we must head west, then cross a small bridge. Okay. So where am I going? Oh boy. Alright. Oh my gosh, I will do a big explain. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm basically waiting on him so I can like put two and two together with this narrative. Um, because like I am kind of struggling to understand what we have to do to prevent another calamity. Do we have to like exterminate all of the sin eaters? Is that correct? Is that what it is? I feel like that's what it is. That's intended. Yeah, that's like the desired outcome, right? Yeah. What would that make Elise part husky? She's got, she's got miniature um, German Shepherd energy. Kalusia seems peaceful, does it not? Almost familiar. I had a similar impression of the Crystarium. Even in this distant world, people are much the same. To think that whatever, whenever a calamity struck the source, a reflection such as this one, with all its culture and history, was being erased from existence. No! Get away from me! Over there! Quickly, someone's in trouble! Oh no. Alright. What is this side quest? What is this? Oh my god. That is a collusion iguana! Sir, that is a chameleon! That is a karma chameleon, thank you very much. I think I know my lizards better than you. <gasps> oh, no. Manic madam? Yeah, me fucking too. Well, thank the fates. Look out! Oh, wrong thing. I didn't mean to shirk. I'm at that. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Neat. Well, thanks, Ray. Hey look, it's me! If I was a, um, old white woman. <laughs> My poor heart. Thank you, young miss. Why are you all smiling? Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. In my haste, I lost my bearings. Girl, really? But I see how this is doing well in hand. Fine work. Are you alright, madame? Just a few bruises from where I fell compared to what was in store for me before this brave soul came to my rescue. I honestly thought I was done for. My feet are not as swift as they once were, and I knew there was no one left to hear me scream. Not that I let that stop me. Good night, Kelsey! Bye-bye! I should probably leave my old ho house behind and queue up outside you more with the rest of them. 
without those fancy lords and ladies or welcome an old crone like me. So even a shack near the gates has to be safer than staying here. <laughs> I don't know what this voice is. One would hope. Either way, I suggest you avoid wandering alone, lest you make the sin eaters task any easier. Thank you again. You saved my life. Now, I'm sure a strapping lass like you has little to fear, but I wouldn't linger long in this place. There's not to be had here, but cobwebs and memories. I love her outfit. I kind of want it. This is what he says. Many of these parts have abandoned their homes to live in Yulmore's shadow. Should the Sin Eaters descend upon this re uh, region, they're precious few with the strength to fight them off. Speaking of which, what have you been told of these monsters? Ah yes, Isaiah would be well qualified to speak on the subject. Compared to Amaranth, Kalusia is almost a haven, but as you saw, we cannot let our guard down. Had you arrived but a few moments later, the Sin Eaters would have claimed another victim. Thought. Still, we have won a small victory this time, at least. Now shall I press on? We need to return to where the road forks and follow the path that leads west. Let's go. Am I hearing an ether right? What is that sound? Or are those bugs? No, it's a lifeless area, right? Quote unquote. No, but they're hobgoblins. But do they count? I don't know. I don't know. You saved my life. I am eternally grateful. What oranges? Were you that old woman? Was that you? Oh, this music is so pretty. The atmosphere of this entire area is so good. It's... It's already, like, infinitely better than pretty much everything in Stormblood was. You've been hearing that sound this whole time? I... Oh! Oh, that sound! Oh, the swing! I always thought it was like quest related, but I guess it's just the light. Oh, hello. Wow, thank you. Wow, thank you so much for the heals. Oh, you're so sweet. No, it just brought back Toy Story for me. You know, I've only seen Toy Story once, and it was when I was very, very young, and I did not like it. It kind of like scared me. I don't know why. Bye. Not a Toy Story girl. The contrast here is depressing to say the least. That gate up ahead is known as the Open Arms, and Yulmore itself lies beyond. Would you accept me with open this, arms? This, meanwhile, is the aptly named Gate Town. The dwelling place of the many desperate souls who hope to be chosen to live in the city proper. Chosen to live in the city? I kind of like that person's outfit. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Brought a new friend, eh? What? Who's this? Oz? Oz is in this game? <laughs> I'll bet you got a trick or two up your sleeve. Maybe even three. Care to show me? She's not here to compete. Leave her be. Compete? What? I was only making conversation. What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. I want those outfits. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Greetings to our hopeful petitioners, one and all! Yulmore extends its warmest regards. Let it be known that a lady of distinction wishes to dine on Fish Divine. We seek a master culinarian! 
woman who can guarantee seafood oh, perfection. Oh, I can't cook. Never mind. Dazzle the matron with your delicious dishes, and Never life mind. in the I city will be yours to me. enjoy, even on days when fish is not on the menu. Wow! When it's not on the oh, menu, you yeah? Answer the call. Name wow. yourself or another. We might not at all. The summoner has that outfit. Really? It's a job quest reward. Well, I may have to start grinding summoner again. Do you recall how I said Yulmore was a center of power and authority? Well, that is not the only reason for its fame. It is also known as the City of Final Pleasures. The noble and the wealthy who survived the flood gathered here to live out the rest of their days in decadent abandon. Mm. A poor man could sooner pass through the Ivan Needle than Yulmore's gates. The only way the common folk can enter this perverted paradise is if they fulfill the whim of one of the privileged. Mm. And so they are picked over like market produce. Ew. I love those outfits though. Oh. <laughs> what a catch! We'll not be throwing this one back! Is this how we're Having gonna get seen into your the, all too obvious to charms, we welcome you with open arms. Come, join us in a city of splendor and live out your life in an ecstasy of endeavor. Of endeavor, yeah, babes. Wow. Oh, and they're all cheering for her. Oh my God, the cat boy ear wiggles. Oh, just look He's at those expectant my faces. What could you possibly be waiting for? Well, well, what have we here? An extra share of meal to celebrate our newest resident. Like a big good? For you. Ah, oh, love. Enjoy. Thank goodness. Oh, They're getting sweets. Meal but is a foodstuff which you more routinely doles out to the people of Gate Town. And apparently a staple for its citizens as well. Mule. Many Mule. here rely on it to survive in these times of Mule. scarcity. Yet the whole arrangement just Mule. seems. Russian for rations? Oh. Um. Well, let us just say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Is she looking at me? Hi, can I help you? Oh, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> what did I do? Do you think I'm pretty? Do you think one of the, the rich people would want to make me their house pet? Now you understand why my attempts in the city have thus have thus far come to naught. The dubious privilege of residency must be won via a contest with ever-changing rules. They say this policy has been in place for the past two decades, ever since Yulmore's current ruler came into power. Yet from what I have seen, it does more harm than good. Not only does it distract people from our shared struggle against the Sin Eaters, it robs them of their self-sufficiency. I have tried to propose ways that could improve their lot, but my words invariably fall on deaf ears. The attitude is so entrenched now, I worry that, well, I'm happy you should take a turn around Gate Town and judge the situation for yourself. Alrighty, let me do that then. Let me see what I can find here. I'll just go about down here, see what, what's over here. I'm going to talk to this person. It's going to be somewhere here. No. Here, no. Here, no. You. This can't. Still here, are you? Can't blame me for wanting a slice of Yumo's pie. If you ask me, you should ditch that sour faced brat and make a home for yourself here. Gate Town's not much to look at, I, but at least it's safe. And the mule is the best thing I've ever tasted. Yeah, wait till you taste me, bud. What? No. Okay. And so, two more places. Mm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they got a little. They got a little bendy thing going on. What's happening over here? 
What's going on? What are you doing? What is all this then? Do I have to jump on something? Do I, do I have to do a jumpy quest? Jumpy quest? A jumping puzzle? Do I, can I go up here? I cannot. Because it says up. How do I... What? Do I go in? Do I go in somewhere? Do I just go over here? Let's see. Oh. Oh. What do I... What do I do here? What do I do here? Do I jump on something? Or is it just like further around here? The... What the... What in the hay? like in between something oh oh I just have to keep going up oh oh because like it's on a slant so that's technically going up large pot bubbles over the flame pale chunks meal you realize so in the otherwise plain broth okay so they're putting it in their soup and then there's another place right over here Aha! There you are. Preoccupied petticoat. Just look at it. Can you imagine a more beautiful city? I mean, yes. Every day I dream of the life that waits for me inside those walls. Oh, will they ever pick me? I mean, I've seen better. Looks very Russian. Alright, let's go find Alfino. You know. No uppies for Pepper. No uppies. But who is she? Who is she? Wait, who seems nice? Who seems nice? The girl in the red? Or the me? The who? Sorry, I only just looked at chat after like just zoning out in the game. <laughs> oh my head. Okay. What is this? What are they? Alright. Okay. Let's see what Alfino has to say. You see what Gate Town has to offer. These people can no longer fend for themselves. They become dependent on handouts for Mule and believe Yule more is the answer to all their woes. Yet no matter how I frame my encouragement, they seem unwilling, nay, unable, to conceive any other way of life. That is sad. And they're getting like treats too to keep it up. And to stay and to stay put because they know they know they'll come back for entertainment. For the, the, the dangling uh, chance of whatever they believe freedom and prosperity to be. You disapprove of these people's way of life? You disapprove of Yulmore? Yeah, something's not right with that fucking city. It is difficult to make a final judgment without first seeing the city's inner workings. My habit is that uncertainty which always makes me feel so ill at ease here. Not that it matters. However, injusticeism seems to be. Seems to me, these people claim to be content with their lot is hardly my persecutor says their choices. True. But take that elderly lady you rescued. Does it not seem that those who have chosen to forego Yulmore's largesse are doomed to suffer for their independence? Largesse? I don't know. In the end, they are all but forced to seek refuge in Gate Town. And so hamlets and fields across the island are left empty and unattended. And untended, hastening the region's descent into ruin. Mmm. Nay, I'm not convinced that Yulmore's generosity truly serves the best interests of Kalusha's people. I'm not so naive as to think there is some miraculous solution to all of this, yet I cannot help but frown at the sight of heartbreaking villagers struggling to survive, even as a chosen few rejoice at being plucked from poverty by the hand of a capricious noble. There has to be a better way. I will not I will not know for sure, however, until I have taken those long delayed steps through Yulmore's gates. It's fortunate that you arrived when you did, Pepper. I've been working on a scheme to insinuate myself into the city, and if all goes to plan, it should soon come to fruition. I love him. Time J3 out for that? That's an awful thing to say. What? What? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, I fucking missed it. For the most part, they keep to themselves in their ocean grottos, and rarely have dealings with land dwellers. He asks if you- I can't even say it? 
Probably say it's the cutest Jay. Oh, that's completely fair. But Sitaru took such great pains to impress upon me. Sorry. I take that back. If I dip my Oreos in water? Oh, you should have just banned him. I think that deserves a ban, not a timeout. In water? Why would I dip my Oreos in water when milk is right there? Oh, now I want Oreos and milk. Good night, Sarah. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for the 100 biddies. I appreciate it. I also just realized I accidentally complimented J3. I did not mean to. I retract that. Rasutaru took such great pains to impress upon me during our stay in Kugane. Business favors the bulls. And so I reached out to them. Mm -hmm. I duly discovered that the Ondo... Ondo? Ondo are inordinately fond of land-grown produce. Fresh fruits in particular. And when I offered to procure such goods for them, they promised to pay me in pearls. An attractive business venture for any prospective investor. Would you not agree? Surely even the most jaded Yomoran... <laughs> Moran. <laughs> Lord would have time for a merchant who can make pearls from plums and pumpkins. Yes, I've come a long way since my days of buying samurai swords that were first negotiating a price. Yes, help me know! I love the growth! Good for you! My appointment with the Ando is due to take place in a few hours. I just need to collect the produce and meet with them on the shore. Would you help me make the exchange? As long as I don't have to run a fetch quest, I'm in. Excellent. I should be glad of your company. First things first, then we must pay a visit to Moshamo, um, my supplier in right. Come. It's just northwest of here. God damn it, it's fetch quest time. Cream, soda, and milk. Oh, that just sounds like an upset stomach. That sounds awful. Ew. Cream, soda, and milk? Who the fuck does that? I'm trying, like, I'm just picturing it curdling the second that, what about pilk? What, piss and milk? Is pilk pee pee milk? I just made a grocery order. Oh, Pepsi milk? Blech! No, get out. Cream soda with fireball is just like a cinnamon roll. Oh, okay. That I'll try. That I would try. I just made a grocery don't make me go edit and add Oreos. Do it. Orange, please. Get some Oreos because I can't get any right now. Do it for me. Do it for me, Stu. <laughs> Holy fuck! They intend for me to explore this entire area? Oh my god. Uh... Is everyone just like collecting Oreos now? Milk and soda sounds like a nightmare to me. Yeah, me too. Like that just sounds like vomit. I'll eat a whole line for you. Thank you. You truly are my favorite. It doesn't curdle if you make it right. Ex fucking excuse me. All right, make it for me. Record and then record yourself um drinking it. Do it. What do you mean too far away? Are you clapping for me? Thank you. I did add more Takis though. Didn't learn my lesson early. In to hurt myself again? Hell yeah. <gasps> Yum! Oh. Oh, I thought I dodged it. I did not. Do you know how badly I wanted to get Indian food today? But I had to literally stop myself because I knew. I knew I wouldn't be able to stream. <laughs> Is there something I can do for you, friend? Good day to you, Moshimoa. This is my associate, Pepper. We are here to collect the produce I purchased. Wait a minute! Are the Mikote names different here? Moshimoa. I want to go meet some more and see see what they're like. Hey, I loaded your lackey up with the goods not long ago. Oh fuck, my lackey! I know of no such person. Mr. Lad, short blue hair? No? He said he'd come on your behalf, and since he seemed to know all the details, I just assumed- Aw, oh, fuck! Confound it, son must have been eavesdropping on our conversation. If the charlatan was here not long ago, he cannot have gone far. We should split up and search the area. You find a vantage point on the south side of town, I shall take the west. Oh, hell no. Different world means different cat culture? Yeah. 
What were they called again? The cats here? The the meow mlo, mo, the mole mow, the mow mama, ma, the mow, the mo, meow, no, meow is the food. The mum, the me, me, mimo, mom, mambo jumbo, mambo number five. Mistle. Mm, I was not even close. <laughs> I was nowhere near that. Mm hmm. We're just elves now, and you're something else with an M? Yeah. Can't believe the Ellison are now just elves. That's so funny to me. Mimos. The Mimos. The Mimosas. The Mimosas! But, like, I don't remember how they do their names. Is it, like, a male mistel? Wow. <gasps> a male mistel? With short blue hair? Jin, I'm on to you. Jin, I know it's you. I know it's you. You're who's been dropping dropping eaves. It's you. Locate the blue-haired mistel. Is that is that them? Is that them? I found them. I found them. You've located your quarry. <laughs> Hi, Mimo! Hi, Tarek! Hello! Yeah, why would they call the, the... I mean, I guess it sounds like human, but... Hume. I am a Hume. The Mikote sound cool. I'm a Mestel. Pepper, any sign of him? Yeah, he's over there! <laughs> she pointed to... <laughs> Yubikina, let us move in before he makes good his escape. Oh. Righty, Let's ambush him, yeah. You're one with Pepper, as it should be, as it should be. I am Pepper. That was the most coherent Pepper's ever sounded. You know what? You're right. For once, you did not hee me hoo me ni hoo me ni hoo. Who would have thought? Pepper's capable of saying other things. There you are. Oh, this is gonna be some sad shit, isn't it? He looks really young, or maybe I'm just short. The thief who claims the harvest on my behalf. Hand it over. Well, oh, oh. Forgive me. I just, I have to get into the city. I have no family and all my friends have already been chosen. No one here gives a damn about me. When the meal gets handed out, I'm lucky if I get a smell of it. You're lucky if you get a smell of it, yeah? Blimey. No matter what I do, they won't call out my name. I'm so tired. I'm so bloody hungry. Oh, he hungry. Or maybe I could steal your idea. Get in that way. Oh, no, he hungry. I have some cookies in my backpack. What is your name? Kai Shi. Kai Shi. Tell me then, Kai Shi. Must it be your more or nothing? What of the Crystarium? They may not offer charity, but you would be fairly compensated for any work you did. No, no, it has to be your more. Why, so you can find That's where friends? all my friends yeah. are. We made a promise that we'd live together in paradise. I'm so scared to find out that any of the people that get chosen here to live there are just like slaves or they're slaughtered, like they're put up for entertainment. I was to make my deal with the under at the clave. Listen carefully, <laughs> and I shall tell you my plans for the business <laughs> and how best to arouse the Ilmoran's interest. So like his friends aren't even like alive. You'll give me your place. Aww. Just like that. This is gonna break my heart, I already know it. I'm giving you a chance, nothing more. What comes of it is entirely up to you. I understand. Oh, thank or you. Or he's going to get you. so close and then they're going to kill him or something like that. He'll be like right there. So close to getting that that sweet little victory. That that little taste of living in Yulmore. And then, whoop, he's dead. His tail is so small. This was but one path. 
there will be others. But for young Kai Shia, it was the difference between life and death. I do not regret my decision, yet I will admit that a part of me wonders if it was for the best. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? We strive to bring swift salvation to this world, that countless lives might be saved, not least your own. Even if it came at the cost of one man, should I have forged on regardless? That's not who you are, quite possibly, meaning we'd better hurry up and think of a new plan. No, that's not who you are. <laughs> I suppose not. Were Estinian here, he would most likely scoff at my soft-heartedness. Same old Alfino, ever the slave to sentiment. Don't kill me. But I thank you for your kind <laughs> Don't words nonetheless. Kill me. <laughs> Let us see to it that both these stories have a happy ending. Mm. Mm. Shall we return one. to right then? Ooh. Is that? Did they kill him? Is that him? Oh. I can't be sure, but I, I think someone's in trouble. What if this is bait? Come on, they may need our help. Well, they could just be taking a nap. They could be tanning. <laughs> okay, is this another cutscene or is this gonna just, okay, I gotta run. Classic beach napping, yeah, as you do. It's a bit jarring to see a Kappa with buzzed hair. Oh, you know, it's the missing ears big time. <laughs> I know most, most like Mikos in this game that I've seen have always had like shaggy hair, you know? Ever pass on a girl's speech? Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. No, I don't think, I like I don't really go to the beach. And when I do, it's definitely not to sleep. Hi, Sai, how you doing? The weather on the minimap yet? Yeah, it's always been like like this. Yeah, everlasting light. I noticed that when we first got to um, uh, the Crystarium. Feels like it's about to fall apart. I went to the gym. Oh God, speed. What's it like going to the gym? Sometimes I feel like I'm the only person that like doesn't work out. I mean, like I do my yoga and stuff, but that's like kind of it. I hope I passed out on a beach after working out. Sorry, are you about to do that? I took up you and Pepper pointing and sing together. Heat those two perfect for the Discord. Thank you, Davey. <laughs> Me and Pepper are just one. I am Pepper. I am simply she. <gasps> Ether current wrap aside two dead bodies, but I think this one is just a eh, friend. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and a banana. Yoga is a 20 valid form of exercise. Thank you, Vincent. You're so right. Thank you. I feel a little bit better now. I gotta do some more, some more stretchy wetchies. My body has been fucking killing me. I should take care of the worst of his in injuries. Mercy, mercy, I beg you. He's dressed all fancy, though. Breathe easy, sir. No harm will come to you here. Look at his fancy fit. Look at those nice shoes. The poor man is shivering. Pray keep an eye on him while I get a fire going. Bro, can't you use, like, fire magic? Oh, he had to get, like, the sticks and stuff, I guess. I thought for certain I was dead. How am I ever to repay this kindness? A soul for the tale behind your current predicament. Why don't you begin by telling us your name? Tristel. I was invited into Yulemore to work as an artist. A wealthy couple took me in to paint pictures for them, but when my style proved contrary to their taste, they just as quickly turfed me out onto the street. Oh my god. 
I was left penniless and patronless. A grave sin in Lord Vothry's city. Within days, they had brought me before the man himself, and he asked me what I meant to do. Dejected as I was, I told him that I wished to leave. Little did I know how soon he would grant me my wish. They flung me over the balustrade into the god's damned ocean. Oh my god. And so you just floated ashore here? From up there? Were you not dashed to pieces? Don't ask me. Look, I suppose. If you hadn't found me when you did, it wouldn't have counted for much. Monstrous. The citizens condone such barbaric punishment? Oh, without a second thought. When Lord Vothry passes judgment, no one so much as blinks, let alone argues. In Yulemore, his word is law. Wow, he sounds like a Twitch streamer. Oh, whoops, I don't mean to speak to you again. The more I hear about Yulemore, the more determined I am to see what waits within its walls. I shall bend all my thoughts towards securing another way to the city. There must be something we can do. But first, we must convey Tristan to the shelter of the village. Fire or no fire, he needs to be out of this chilly coastal air. A way into the city? Oh, is Tristan gonna help us? Is he gonna be our key? Why do I feel like they're introducing a bunch of fodder to you? I mean... Yulmore is a streamer house confirmed? Holy fuck. Literally. That is just- that is simply what it is. And I refuse to believe otherwise. We are all just dictators here. <laughs> I think I finished up my last homework. Just want to see you later. Bye, Sai! Good luck with your homework! Such as old bones. Exactly. Exactly, Davy. Pray accept my deepest gratitude. I owe you both my life. And if you'll permit me, I would assist you in your attempt to enter Yulemore, insofar as I am able at any rate. To be frank, the thought of sending my savers into that awful place makes, my, makes me sick to the, to the stomach. But since it's plain you've set your minds on it, you should take this. It's my favorite paintbrush. Oh, the Yulemore and Elite are never satisfied until they get exactly what they want. And if I'm not mistaken, the couple I mentioned will be looking for someone to replace me. If you make a show of owning such a well-used brush, you may be able to convince people you have a talent for painting. Well, isn't Alfino like a really good artist? Are you certain? This is your livelihood. We cannot deprive you of such a treasured possession. I give it gladly after all you've done for me. Besides, I can't... I don't think I have the heart to paint anymore. As to what I'll do instead, I honestly haven't decided. But I shan't stay long in this place. Not with that city brooding over me. Nay, I'll move on to new to new lands and a new profession. And I'll keep you in my prayers from now until my dying day. Oh, City of Final Pleasures. That's a title. They say kindness is its own reward, but Tristel has repaid us with a gift as timely as it was unexpected. We will, however, need to act upon his advice before another painter steps in to fill the vacancy. Thankfully, I do have some modest glue with a brush. Nothing approaching that of a true artist, of course, but enough to play the role, I would hope. As for you, hmm, well, if you don't mind taking a subordinate role, may happy you compose as my assistant? I could do that, for sure. Then it is settled. All we need to do now is return to Gate Town and await the next appearance of those vile jesters. Easy enough. Ooh, what are these blue side quests? And can I pick them up? Because will they give me ether currents? Yes. Perfect. And will this one over here from Ulyss? Please, dear God, please. Yes. Amazing. I will not do them now, but I, at least I have them. All right. Let me disable them, though. Oh, girl. Stop talking. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, but it's right there. I may as well do it. Nope, nope, nope. Beeline with the MSQ. Aya! Aya! There we go. <sighs> okay. Hey, where am I going? Oh, yes. Over here. Oh, no. What? 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 Oh! Wait! Oh, there was no ether right there. Fuck, I have to run. Or I can hop in my Uber. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. A title to a snuffle, maybe? See, I was thinking something a little bit more on the ominous route, but that too. Can I be there too? Sounds like a nice city. Final Pleasures 14. Don't kill me. Just 
one last nut before I die. Thank you, thank you. Alright, hello Alfino. What scene? Wow, they come quickly, eh? Not just like once a day or something? Oh, watch them be here just for me. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention once more. What a day it's been for the folks at our door. I kind of love them. We've welcomed a peddler who made pearls from a plum, and now we've a place for a painter of a plum. Or a plum, a plum, a plum. So come along and don't be slow. It's time to let your colors show. Anytime I see an NPC with the Orshavon hair, I get triggered. I can paint, portraits at least. Landscapes and still lifes are so rarely commissioned these days. Oh, and I thought I spied. I thought I spied some new faces in the crowd, but fortunately you should feel at ease around an easel. These puns and these rhymes are so good. What proof have you of your prowess? Any masterpieces on your person? Oh, I have that painting of Yuguri and Gosetsu on me, I think. Everything I paint is soon sold, so just life of a working artist. Smooth, Elf, you know. I have only my brush to testify for me, though you will note that it has seen no small amount of service. Aha! Ho ho! <laughs> Flex of paint, old, both old and new, a tool much loved and much used. Wow, just like me. Not a prop to be conjured on the hop. Very well. Come with us and we'll put those talents to the test. That was easy, huh? On one condition, I must accompany. And who is this hanger on? Well wisher or parasite? Ayo! Why, this is my assistant. She whose unfailing support allows my art to flourish. I will go with her or not at all. Yeah, that's right. Take that, bitch. Parasite, then. <laughs> you shall leave her fate in the hands of your new employer. It matters not a whit to us. I guess I'm a parasite. And having filled our latest vacant space, we retire to Yule more sweet embrace. I wore the sweater outfit to fit in, you know, for the vibes. Gotta roleplay it. Oh, and you don't roleplay, right? That's what you told me? Hmm? Oh, mercy me, the mule! <laughs> we almost took our leave without leaving a lovely token. Oh, don't kill me. We must empty the sacks ere we make our way back. Like how the villagers were like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where's our mule? I said I don't do that kind of roleplay. No ERP for me. Hey, that's okay. Look, I'm not judging. Not all of us can be CJ. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> no extreme raid progression. Redemption is beyond us. Look at this place. The lament of all but saints and fools. Oh my god. And the comfort it's of like the lords the and ladies of this saucer, accursed place. But way more lavish. Once they Ayo? held fast against the madness. Ayo? Until embrace the coming cataclysm and delight in the end of days. Yo, can I be a go-go girl here? I already got a stripper name. My name is Peppermint. <laughs> Perhaps in rapture they seek to lose I'm themselves the and the misery they share. That's what they're gonna hire or me for. Perhaps for them alone, the promise of eternal pleasure really does hold true.
They got that old money. <laughs> Time to show you all more of the bees, knees. Don't kill me. Welcome, welcome to the city of final pleasures. Feel free to weep at its magnificence. No? Not even a single tear? Moving right along then. Well, I already did all my crying, alright? Our first task is to register you as residents. You know, make it all nice and official. We'll smooth the way, so you just need to put on your happy faces and head through the joyous hall. The, bu the Bureau of Immigration is in the first room on the left side of the passage. Declare your name and occupation in a nice loud voice. The curse will tell you where to go from there. Oh, and pay no mind to those folk off to the side of the road. Much like the hopefuls in Gate Town, they haven't earned the right to enter the city proper. What the fuck? If, however, you enjoy basking in the envy of your fellow men, then by all means, take your time. Why, why waste another moment? Go! Enjoy the beginning of a new life in paradise. Oh, thank you. I wonder how Alfino and I are going to get out of this, if we even are at all. I mean, no, we should. Because, like, I could have picked him first, which means I still would have to go find Alize. The Bureau of Immigration, was it? I suppose we had better show ourselves willing for the time being. Well, I want to go talk to this cat girl. Hmm? Do you need something? Uh, what did you hear? Oh, I've lived here for ages. Ten years, at least. It was my mother who brought me here. Though she's dead now, of course. It's funny. I ought to feel sad to think of her. But I don't. I don't feel much of anything anymore, really. I suppose there's not much point to it. I have nothing. Nothing to love, nothing to hope for, so why bother? I know I'll never get up there. To you, more proper. I'll live here, stealing their scraps, and then I'll die here. That's all. Good God! Oh. This is kind of sad. Everything is really run down, but they have like bits and pieces from the riches that I would assume they threw out. And they just oh, that's ugh. This is this is grim. Alright, the path to glory. Let me the fuck in. The glory gate. That's what I call my coochie. Hi, boss. Alright, where do we go? Where do I go? Do I go a little bit further up and then right here? Yes. Oh. Immigration officer? Welcome to you, more fortunate friends. May I have your names? I am Alfino, an artist, and this is Pepper, my assistant. Catboy! Ah, yes, I was informed of your Im imminent arrival. We can fork out the usual interview and begin processing your registration papers forthwith. Perfect. Easy peasy. Now, the citizens of Yulmore are divided into two classes. <laughs> there are the free, who are blessed with the favor of Lord Vothry, and the bonded, who work in the employ of the free. Hmm. Interesting. And so we're the bonded. Okay. You will be joining the ranks of the bonded. Your duties are to serve a patron in the capacity for which you were chosen. In your case, painting pretty pictures. Should your patron dismiss you for any reason, you must find another sponsor among the free or accept work as a general laborer. Jesus. I see. And might you tell us something of the patron we are to serve? The two patrons, actually. Chai Nuz and Dulia Chai, or a mystical couple, I was gonna say, I gotta be kitties, who must, who most refer to as the Chais. <laughs> They're both gentle souls, but I would ask that you conduct yourself with respect and humility, for your own sake as much as theirs. The Chais? Don't kill me. I'm gonna start calling myself that. I'm also a Chai. Tea latte. Ugh, can't believe it's such chai tea. Now, a moment please. Sure. It does crack me up every time I go to like Starbucks or like any coffee shop that's like more mainstream and it says chai tea latte or chai tea. Think like, babes. <laughs> I once said non bread and I almost died. I would have jumped. Anytime I fuck up like that, I'm like, oh god, the white people are getting to me. <laughs> Take those papers next door and submit them to the clerk. Once they've been stamped, you'll officially be Yulmoran citizens. Salsa sauce. Salsa sauce. Get out. Enjoy your new life in paradise. Oh my god, salsa sauce. That's brutal. That is brutal. 
That's some tasty environmental world building, dang. Oh, like the, the home that had all the beautiful pieces? Yeah, no. It's fucking grim. So many Mikos. Welcome to the Bureau of Registration. Papers, please. I love it. I love seeing Mikos. This one fully stocked in. Feels like it will be based on the movements. Nope. What have we here? Alfino, artist, Pepper, artist assistant. To be employed at the service of Lord China's and Lady Julia Chai. Yes. Yes, everything seems to be in order. Your registration is hereby approved. Is that easy, huh? I think it best that we deliver to the Chai residence before... What? Oh dear. Do I smell bad? Do we smell bad? Oh no. You smell hideous. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you crawl here from a ditch? Or through a ditch? It's like an unholy miasma of dust and sweat and the musk of some unwashed beast. Oh, you're so rude. Proceed to rush to the delusory door? Delousery door and scrub yourselves clean. Use whichever showers are free. After you've rinsed away that stench, you'll want to splash yourselves with this perfume, liberally. Once you've made yourself presentable, then you may proceed to the Chai residence. Cornan? Cornan? The guard by the stairs will give you directions. And the shower, stinky! Yeah, Pepper's literal first shower. <laughs> I hadn't realized we were so <laughs> aromatic. <laughs> Not Pepper checking herself out. She's like, huh? 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 <laughs> a place where lice and bugs are removed. Oh. Nice. I do love this for me. We're to bathe in here then? Supposedly. Oh. Sir? Sir? Good, great. Thank you. Are you gonna are you gonna help me? Are you gonna you gonna get my back? Yep. You're gonna get in all those tiny creases? Thank you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Great. Good stuff. <laughs> You're still cleaning the stream of water. Wow. And with the help of Jin. So kind. Such a gentle touch. <laughs> Truly is the truest of friends. I I sure hope this person's okay. Nissan, I hope you're good. Okay, now what? Uh, apply the sweet smelling perfume. Is that in here as well? No. I think that might have been in here, no? Where was the per where was the perfume? Was it in there? It must have been in here. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Where is it? Where is the perfume? Where is the... Maybe I should draw the curtain? Yeah, maybe! I can see you! Oh! Is it on me? Do I have it? Is it a key? Aha! Sweet smelling perfume. Is it Dior? Oh. Now I smell yummy. You apply the perfume as directed, and the delicate scent of... Now 12? First you gifted 17, and now you gift 12? These numbers are so peculiar! Thank you for the 12 gifted subs, Bio. I super duper appreciate it. You are almost close to 400 subs gifted to my channel. Holy fuck. You are three away. Blimey. Madman. I spent five minutes trying to find that shit and had to Google. <laughs> By the perfume is direct and the delicate scent of roses fills the air. I mean, when I looked at the um the quest, it had the icon, which means it's in my inventory. See, I learned things. Wait, can I change my glam here? I'm gonna put this one on. Not that one! <laughs> Not that one! I meant this one. <laughs> oh wow, you all smell so good. Do I smell good? We all smell good. You you swoon in? Well, wow, thank you. Is that Burberry I smell? Does Burberry make good colognes and perfumes? I don't, don't, I don't think so. They're not really known for their scents. Oh, I did get a new one. Oh, 
what was it by? Was it Dior? I don't know, but it's like, it's called the poison. It's so good. But it amps up the smell of my sweat, which I don't like. Oh, you've showered and dressed already, have you? Is it not, that is to say, <clears throat> it seems rather exposed for one's ablu ablutions, does it not? Hurry <laughs> Shower, stinky. What would Estinian say? Alize would have been drying her hair by now. Not ah, hurry up and shower, stinky. Uh oh, stinky. What do I say here? I kind of want to call him stinky. But I really want to say what would come out of what would a Stinian say? Good gods, you'll mention nothing of this! Swear to me! <laughs> uh, what happens if you say hurry up and shower, stinky? Look, you smell so yummy now! Yummy, yummy! Floral baby boy! Well, that was bracing. I believe the lingering smells of the road have been successfully expunged. Shall we go and present ourselves to our new patrons then? Mm. Look, I'm filing my nails. I'm making them more claw-like. Burberry has an amazing perfume. I have the blush one. And over the years, I've gotten nothing but compliments. Hell yeah. My go-to perfume is is uh, Indigo by Nest. I fucking love Nest. Indigo and Sweet Vanilla by them. And I also wear a cologne called Jazz Club by Replica. Fucking slaps. I love wearing cologne. Love cologne. So yummy. Can you scratch my back with those things? Yes, if you say please. You're looking to present yourself to the Chai's, are you? Let me explain how the city's laid out then. Imagine three layers, one on top of the other. This layer here is called the buttress. Buttress? Buttress? The butt. We're at the butt. Above us is the understory, where the military has its headquarters. And above that, you've got the canopy, which is where the free res citizens of Yule Moore spend their days. So if you want to find your new patrons, you'll need to keep climbing until you reach, until you run out of stairs. Then look for the Grand Dam's parlor. A grand dame, I guess. They'll be in there like us not. Sounds good. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. A little window. A little a little pretty lighting for a pretty baby. Is this fine? Just a quick rinse then? Just a quick rinse! Alfino, you gotta get those pits and every crack, boo. Ooh. Hey, it's her! That hot- wait, is that the hot bunny from- no, that was from somewhere else. Who's that hot bunny? Oh, she's from the Crystallarium. Is that just another hot bunny? Is it here? No. It's higher. Until I run out of stairs. God damn it, okay. Mikode jump is adorable. I oh, know, look at her. She go ee. She go ee. You can see her underwear! Don't look. You can see my undies. No luckies. This place is so fucking ridiculous. According to the message engraved in the base, special permission is required to use this etherite. Are you fucking shitting me? All right. Fine. Oh, it's the happy music. Oh wait, he's kind of hot. then I did not expect that voice I want her robe I want her coat can I get her coat Lord and Lady Chai pray forgive our intrusion I am given to understand you were in search of an artist why is ah, Chai freaking out you must be the new uh Oh, what an adorable boy! <laughs> no. 
that silken hair, those pearly cheeks, oh, and you even smell wonderful, like a bed of flowers. Oh, she's so cute. She is cute. I approve of this one, dearest. I am positive he'll paint us the most Whose delightful pictures. Whose voice does she remind me of? She reminds me of someone. I, uh, uh, y yes. <clears throat> well, I mean, as long as he paints better than that talentless that we wretch met we the sent science. back in last week. Oh, he's so mean. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome to you, I Ma. want her coat. <laughs> I will rob her. I will take that fucking coat. Alfino, if it please you, my lady. And this is my assistant. Hello? Hello? Your assistant? I've heard of folk bringing in family members, but this seems a bit irregular. Aren't you a little young to have a protege? We are family in all but name, my lord. Though we share no blood, we have stood by each other through life's many challenges, resolved to prevail together Did or not at all. Did he change his accent a little bit? Do y'all hear that? Of all people, tis she who best understands my work. With her unique insight guiding my hand, the art I Does create anybody else hear that? is sure to satisfy your expectations. His actong? Once he's, the picture is begun, of course, I shall have no need of constant encouragement. Ah, oh, yes. He's act And so I wondered, rather uh -huh. than her being in your way, mm -hmm. might it then be permissible for my assistant to explore the city she has so longed to see? He's trying to sound like Emmerich! Out of gratitude for her priceless contribution to my art, I thought it only fair that I make this humble request <laughs> he, on her behalf. He kind of sounds like Orsha! <laughs> oh, did you ever hear of such devotion? He kind of of like your assistant must have her wish. She shall be free to roam to her heart's content. <laughs> oh, don't look at me so. <laughs> Isn't that right, darling? Oh, God. Uh, He's summoning oh, yes. a rum Yes, report. of course, dearest. <laughs> Qu quite right. Don't kill me. Al Chiffon. Al Chiffon. Alrighty, let's speak to Alfino. Yes. Alfino would send you to the city to explore. Now you have the opportunity to experience Gilmore, so you make the most of it. Explore the city top to bottom. In other words, I would start with the canopy and go from there. Try wandering around the market stalls, mayhap. Such places are usually filled with colorful characters, only too eager to share local gossip with a friendly visitor. I would appreciate it if, of course, you could share any discoveries with me in turn. We should both learn as much as possible with our <clears throat> new place of residence. Right, babes. These moogles have blue balls! Someone better help him out. I heard that's really painful. <sighs> oh, hello there. Fresh register, are we? You seem a little lost. They got the blue balls! <laughs> well, it is lovely to make your acquaintance. <clears throat> Speaking of uh, acquaintances, you wouldn't happen to have run into my attendant on your wanderings, would you? Big strong lad, long hair, tied back. He was escorting me on a shopping errand when, we, when I realized I dropped my handkerchief. And I've been waiting here all alone while he's been off searching for it. I'm not terribly fond of being alone. If you do see him, I would be obliged if you could pass him this message. Forget the silly handkerchief and return to my side at once. Me. Okay, let's see. Where is this big man with the ponytail? <laughs> Whatever it was that she said. Are you gonna be here? Sir, do you need help? You about to die, my guy, all for a hanky? Wicked white, that was too close.
Thank you, friend. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. I was trying to rescue my lady's handkerchief, you see. The wind must have blown it over the edge, but luckily I caught it. It caught on something. I thought if I could just stretch out far enough... I uh, used your life for a scrap of cloth? You must think highly of your mistress. She's my entire world! Without her, I am nothing. God. When? I just want someone to look at me that way. When I first came to Yulemora, I thought only of improving my lot life. Oh wait, can y'all hear me? Filing my nails, by the way. Please, Twitch chat! But there was so much more to the city than wealth and plenty. There's no war here, no conflict. The residents all treat each other with warmth and respect. Go on. My mistress has ever been so kind to me, and I can think of no other place in Kalusia where I could possibly be happier. I can probably think of a few other places. We are getting nail free nail ASMR. And no one told me y'all could hear that? Fuck. Well, I'm almost done anyways. Sorry, I might have gotten a bit carried away. I find it hard to stop when I start counting my blessings these days. Yeah, let me just wrap it up. When you're actually a nice mistress, your pets like you? Are you saying I'm not nice, Vosk? A short, killing, a short king willing to die for a scrap of cloth? <laughs> we all want that, to be honest. You're true. Yeah, she said she's lonely. Curse my clumsy feet. I must return to her immediately. Man... Where's my simp like this? Where are you at? Okay. There. How do we how do we feel about my nails? I need to paint them, of course, but now they're a little bit more rounded. I don't know if I want to make them pointy or not. I'm usually not a pointy nail gal. I like having them kind of, kind of like that, you know? Like just, oh, I gotta, I gotta round out, uh, where is it? This nail, this nail and, and this nail, these two a bit more. Let's see. Okay, one second shot. Let me just, Good night, Psycho! I'm one step closer to my <laughs> villain arc! I've been in my villain arc. Claw me? Yo, say less, Vinny. Should I paint them black? I'm going to an arcade fire concert tomorrow. And I have a bad feeling I'm gonna break my nails there. But I still want them to look nice. I used to do my nails a lot when I wasn't um, depressed, and so I thought that maybe doing my nails a little bit will make me feel a little bit more put together. A little bit more like that. We do need a little bit of cleaning up. I usually make my nails like a shade of brown because I feel like it goes with my outfits more. But there's a part of me that wants to like go back to my like spooky like black roots. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do like black, dark brown, light brown or something. Good night, Luxury! Take care! Thank you for hanging out with us. Oh. Yeah, black is always really good. This one nail grows so peculiar. Peculiarly. Peculiarly. That's a word. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm just fixing it up. How do we feel? Cute, right? Nice and round? No? <laughs> Do 
Nailed it. Oh, if I wasn't going to be using... If I, if I had a long cutscene coming up, I would paint my nails right now. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we gotta go back to that lady. The maiden. My attendant told me everything. I'm so very grateful you were there to offer your assistance. Mm -hmm. You value him highly. You seem a dedicated patron. Um, uh, you value him highly. As if you were a member of my own family. I could not live without the wonderful life I lead without him. We free citizens of the bonded are an unending gratitude. May happen in another society or a different standing would breed prejudice or resentment. But in Yulmore, a most glorious measure is in place to avert such unpleasantness. Are you sure about that? Part of the measure, part of that measure requires that the free surrender their fortunes. Upon registration, all our property, financial, intellectual, or otherwise, is given over to the city. What? In exchange, we are provided with ample funds and commodities to live a life of pampered luxury. Being liberated from the concern of earning coin has an almost miraculous effect on people's outlook. There are no rivals to compete against, only fellow residents with whom to enjoy a tranquil existence. Now, if you'll excuse us, I must see what the markets have to offer as a reward for the return of my handkerchief. Oh, and, I for and I've not forgotten you, of course, our courageous messenger turned rescuer. That is an interesting system, but seems entirely problematic considering where the bonded have come from. All this talk of relying on the bonded and I haven't given a thought as to what your duties might be. I hope I haven't interrupted your work unduly. A tour of the city, is it? Then you must then you really must visit the beehive. It's always buzzing with activity. <clears throat> Local humor. <laughs> anyway, a lady by the name of Tista Bai usually has her seat near the entrance. She'll gladly speak with you on any number of topics, assuming you find yourself on her good side. Alrighty. Where do I go for that? Do I go this way? And I go here. Oh, it appears I have a party member in here. What could he possibly be doing? <laughs> what? Where? What is it? <laughs> amazing. Iconic. Great. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little purple hair. Welcome to the beehive, my little drone. Seeking the sting of excitement to liven up your day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can tell at a glance when folk are new to our happy colony. It's the nervous fluttering you see. Always gives them away. Why don't we play some cards to set you at ease, eh? A quick game of high or low. It's simply a matter of guessing who has the bigger hand. If you win, I'll grant you a single favor. Within reason, of course. Interested? Sure! Ready for a game of high or low? Let's go. Good for you. No time like the player, 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 present. <laughs> <sighs> three cards for you, three cards for me. You flip one of yours over, I flip two of mine. Alright. Oh god. Okay. Now what's your call? Will your total be higher or lower than mine? Okay, you have six. I think mine has a chance of being higher, so I'm gonna go with high. I may have rolled over, pulled a one, but my card's at up to 13. I have nine. 14! Let's go, bitch! I win! Take that. Congratulations, your guess was right. Hmm, usually I'd concede defeat at this point, but what do you say to a rematch? One more win, and we'll talk about that favor. Excuse me, you're just a sore loser! In a match of high or low? Come now, little honeybee, we all need our diversions. That's the spirit, let me sort out the deck. Three cards for you, three cards for me. You flip one of yours, I flip two of mine. Alright.
You've got nine. Oh, I'm at three. That is possible to be, but I think I'm gonna play it safe and go low for this one. What? No, a total of 18? Oh, I fumbled the bag. I fumbled the bag. Yes, we'll play again. Come on. Oh no. This is gonna be my new addiction, isn't it? Okay, I'm I'm gonna go high. Fifteen? I win. Easy. Nineteen. Boom. Boom. Oh my god. Well well, look at that. I think we got a knack for this newcomer. Congratulations, victory is yours. As is the prize I promised. Wait, I want to play again. Come whisper in my ear then and don't be shy. Tell Tista what she can do for you. You want me to whisper in your ear? That's all? How delightfully wholesome. But if knowledge is what you want, then what? Then that is what you shall have. In my humble estimation, the most wondrous thing about this town is how safe we are from the Sin Eaters. They say Lord Vaut... Va is it pronounced Vothri? 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 It's the one with the power to command them. What? To command them? Which means no Yulmorin need ever raise a weapon in defense of the city? Girl, was that the kind of thing you wish to know? If your itch still needs scratching, you might get a for a few words out of a tharn over there. There's not that Mary Sot likes more than the sound of his own voice. Hey, oh, me too? Why do you think I'm a streamer? Uh, where is he? There he is. Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, am I getting a free show? Hey, yo! Oh my, oh, work it, queens, let's go. Hello? God damn, Anna, oh my god, in the sweater too? Take it off! Take off those Uggs! Sir, can I help you? Oh, am I gonna get a private dance? Oh, that's a good view. <laughs> wait, wait, can I angle that right? Can I angle this correctly? <laughs> Right on the bottle, right there, perfect. Was that new to Yulmore, you say? Why does this guy look like Jay? But <laughs> like with not dark brown hair. <laughs> Only just arrived and already you're looking to peel away the layers of mystery. Oh, I'm all for chatting, but you need to slow down and enjoy life, my friend. I tell you what, you hop on stage and give us a dance for us? Hey, yo, and then we can have our little talk. Huh? Dance on the mark. Okay, where is the mark? Where am I going? Am I going right here? Is it right here? Is it just over here? Or is there like an obvious mark on the ground that I'm fucking missing? No, I- I- is it- is it literally just here? No, I think it's higher up. Is it higher up? It might be. Because there's that arrow. It's telling me to go up. Up be up- oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! I told you! I'm a go-go dancer now! Yes! Yes! Put those toonies in my butt crack, baby! Dance like there's no tomorrow. Let's go, mama! Sick. Speak with a thorn. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Watch out, you're gonna hit me in the forehead. Please. Please! Please! Now that was a show. <laughs> you're welcome to clamor up on stage anytime you like. Thank you. So what was it you wanted to ask me? Ah, yes. Something about our fair city. Well, I could tell you it wasn't always so peaceful as it is today. The Ilmoran army may be the very essence of military might. <laughs> but even our forces saw grievous losses in the, in the war against the Sin Eaters. Things changed for us. Oh, around 20 years ago now, when the old ruler's son came to power. <sighs> He's got this way with the Eaters, you see. Turns them docile as house cats. Am, am I a house cat? I wouldn't be exaggerating to say they've become something of an ally to Yulmore, no longer an enemy to be feared. And yet elsewhere, there are still fools who insist on fighting their losing battles. Pah! A toast to Lord Vothri. It's Vothri? Hell yeah. I'm gonna become a card shark. 
You've gained a, prelim a, pre a preliminary sense of city. The Chais and Alfino will be expecting your return. Alrighty. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I've got to zoom out a bit, yeah? Oi. What's all this? Oh. Alright. Now this plays out the very same way with the dude character. He's an equal opportunity appreciator. We love to see it. We love to see it. No sexism here. If you a hoe, you a hoe. Them's the rules. <laughs> he doesn't care who's shaking ass as long as someone is. Relatable. Hello. Nope. Wrong person. Where's Elf, you know? Where's me boy? Oh, you returned from your jaunt around the city so soon. You need to have hurried, hurried back. Young Alfino has yet to put brush to canvas. One cannot rush good art, I'm told. Or good artists, apparently. Ah, finally. Oh, shit. He's in his good boy gear. Oh, it's- He lost his tie! Put together an on an I've put together an ensemble of the garments he chose. Is this satisfactory? <gasps> he looks so good! He looks so fresh and clean! Oh goodness gracious me, that last outfit is precious, but this makes you look positively dashing. He looks so good! You truly are a handsome boy. How am I ever how however am I to decide? What happened to painting? I don't know this part of the artistic process. Exactly. The lad is an artist here. It's not a dress-up doll. It's about time we set him to work for the reason we called him here. Must we? I do love a good painting, but I thought since we were enjoying ourselves so thoroughly... Well, I'd not... This to say, as long as you... Hmm? Ugh. Just make sure you give the lad time to repair. We know he'll be upset if he's not ready to paint at a moment's notice. Whatever you say, darling. So, shall we pick out some jewelry next? I love her. So much. And we have the same hair! Finzies. <laughs> Though I do think our tails are different. I have the, the longer, boofy tail. Oh, who has the next quest? Oh, it's fast off, you know. Off, you know, draws you close with a whisper. Li Chai has a very particular sense of beauty, and apparently that extends to how I should dress while painting. This obsession of hers works in our favor. If the time I spend indulging these attractions is the time you can use to continue your explorations. For this excursion, I'd like you to delve into the later below us and sniff about the military headquarters. I'm sure the understory has its own tale to tell. Alright, chat, you're gonna have to do me a favor. You're gonna have to tell me when a good time to stop is. I am thoroughly enjoying my time here. And I want to keep playing, but I don't know when I should call it quits. He trained the tie for a turtleneck. Ayo, look. All of y'all know how I feel about turtlenecks, okay? This is a dub in my books. But yeah, I, I want to keep going. I don't know if there's like a point where it's like cliffhangery that I should wait for. Or should I just like wrap up all the Alfino quests and then like wait till whatever happens after knee afterneath afterwards? Totally not suspicious at all. Okay, wait. Where's that where's the etherite? Is it up here? At the end of the expansion. One request after the cutscene? Okay. Depending on how much energy you've got, you could probably get to the end of this. A little arc with Alfie, as with Ali say. I could probably do that. Voss is saying there's one more quest. So that works. Do they want me to eavesdrop? Is this like an eavesdropping quest? What am I? Gather information. Oh. Hey yo. Weeping warbler. Hey yo, it's me. Hello? Oh, her dress is so cute! You- you're one of the bonded, aren't you? Like me. Please, I need your help. My throat- it's- I can't sink anymore. I have been making excuses, but it's just not getting any better. If my patron thinks I'm of no use to him, then... I need to sneak out- I need you to sneak out to the derrick- 
derelicts and describe my condition to Thorich? Here's a list of symptoms and a hunk of mule to pay for his medicines. Please, I have no one else to turn to. Hey, I love me some fetch quests. All right, so I gotta go downstairs. All right, cool. Where the, oh, the ether was upstairs. Can I use it? Even though I'm not attuned to the main one? Let me see, let's test this out. Oh, hell yeah. The glory gate. Okay, wait, so how many quests are left until the end of this little, this little piece? Is it one more? Like, one more after this? Oh, am I going the wrong way? Is... I feel like I am. I feel like I have to, like, go back that way and loop around. <laughs> yes? Okay, perfect. Then I'll stop after that one. We've been streaming for six hours and I haven't gotten a single DC. Hell yeah. We'd love to see it. I hope I'm going the right way. God, it's... Th so the sounds that I'm hearing, like the light or whatever, it's really reminding me of Elden Ring. And I love it. God, look at all the junk. Oh, this is kind of pretty, I guess. Ooh, etherite. <laughs> yeah, I'm a weeping warbler. Aren't we all? <laughs> to some degree. Mm. <laughs> you need medicines, tonics, potions? <laughs> Why do you hee at me? Cure for an ailing voice, is it? No, no medicine will cure this. Methinks your songbird has a lump in her throat. It must be cut out. Hello? Excised, and even then the voice may never heal completely. Hee <laughs> hee. Poor little songbird. Will they kick her from the nest, I wonder? Or simply silence her chirps? Sir? Oh, your face. You didn't know? Of the many hopefuls who enter the city, very few are ever seen to leave, even as corpses. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, you might see one or two fortunate uh, fools hurled from the balconies, but the rest gone. I fucking knew it. A town of nightmares it is. Not for the ship's rad. No, 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 no. I'm content to scurry around down here and nibble on the crumbs which fall from the table. Rayanera, is that you? This consultation is over. You have my verdict and I have my mule. Good day. Well. That, um was unsurprising to say the least. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I meant to go this way. Speak to this weeping warbler. Did you get my medicine? Oh, I don't know how to tell you this girl, but he said no. He said you're gonna die. <gasps> so that's it? What am I to do if I can't sing? Oh, fuck. Ah, there you are, my sweet canary. Have you been crying again? Don't tell me your voice is still not on the mend. Oh, generous sir, have mercy. I've done all I can, but even the apothecary said... Oh, wait, sorry, that's Pepper's voice. I can't do that for other people. Is he gonna be nice? You've been suffering all this time. Is he gonna look after her? I'm sorry, my pet. I hadn't realized your affli your affliction was this grave. What do you mean, fret? I'll not reward your hours of trial of trilling by casting you out into the street. <gasps> you are too kind, sir. But what use am I if I cannot sing? I fear the day I become more burden to you than treasure. And I shall have a word with Lord Vautry, Vautry and arrange for your as ascension. <gasps> oh! In that paradise where resides neither pain nor illness, will your song... Ring out clearly once again. Or am I happy to think it a step too far? Wait. No, I... You would do that for me? Of course. Why? I would almost wish to hasten my own ascension, knowing your blessed... Your blessed instrument was waiting there to greet me. Wait, ascension? 
Wait, what's ascension? It's giving murder? It's giving cult? I'm getting culty vibes? <laughs> ah, you must be a new arrival. Allow me to explain. As all know, the Sin Eaters exist to devour the sinful. Hmm. But also to serve to gather souls of the innocent and shepherd them unto celestial paradise. Hmm. It is through Lord Vothry that we learn this truth. It is through Lord Vothry's grace that the free people of Yulmore are destined to embrace salvation. Hmm. Okay, Bioshock. We are blessed to spend our days surrounded by love and merriment until at last we are called to our final rapture. Hmm. Even the bonded may find a place within the host, should their patrons deem them worthy. Lord Vothry truly is a great man, isn't he? No! Now, if you will excuse us, we must be on our way. May you find eternal salvation for the capacity you have shown my precious canary. Girl. Girl. It was either you get thrown to your death, or you get sentenced to a good death? I oh, hi. Did you- did you- you wanted a smooch? Here, I dote you. Don't leave me here. They don't feed me. Please help. Well, I give you a kiss and I have I have I have some cookies I can give you I can give you I can give you one cookie There and now you won't be that hungry. Yeah, there you go I'll come visit you every so often. I got more cookies where it came from You're welcome all right, goodbye. Be safe. Don't ascend! Okay, where am I going? Report to Elf, you know? Okay. Was there anywhere that I could TP up there? I don't think so. I think I gotta just take the stairs, right? I gotta hoof it. Yeah, I gotta hoof it, I think. Actually, let me double check. Yeah, I've got to hoof it. Because I can't TP to the right. All right. Should I have a senator us? Ayo? Rude! But she's cute. But she's cute! Hello? Hello? What, what happens in here? That, that, that seems ominous. I feel like that's gonna be of use at some point. Do I keep going up? I do. No, this is it. Yeah, there we go. Aha! I'm learning! I should have upgraded to the Deluxe Zelda. Did you have much of a choice though? Or were you sentenced to that one? Hmm? No, no, no! No, no, no! Continue! Whatever it was you were doing! No, it's totally fine! It's okay! I, I did not mean to eat shop. <gasps> I get kiss? Thank you. Tasty! I come in, I come in, I come in, I come in, I hippity hop, I hippity hop, I hee hoo! Oh, he do a paint. Oh, wow, Alfie, that's pretty good. It's good to see you back. You're taking so long, I began to worry something had happened. I began sketching an outline for the portrait, but nay, the chais appear otherwise occupied. We share what your investigations have. We share what your investigations have gleaned thus, thus far. My bad. So, Lord Vothry boasts a manner of influence over the Sin Eaters, does he? Let us win the reverence in which he is held by the citizenry. And as for this ascension business, I cannot help but be put in mind of the apothecary and his ominous remarks. If so many folk have entered the city over the years, then where do they go? Alfino seems eager to discuss the significance of your discoveries. Here we go. Time for some poor people to get murdered! Presumably. Hey, are they drinking chai? Hell yeah! <laughs> I take my eye off you for one moment. You're chattering away with that assistant of yours. Might you assume the Ellen is done then? Bro, fucking chill? Okay. Ugh, oh, does he not like it? What in the blazes? What? It's really good. It's so 
Unflattering. Explain yourself, Alfino. Where is your artistic interpretation? It should invoke images of affluence and nobility and overwhelm the viewer with its boundless beauty. Lord Chai, you say that this portrait was to commemorate your anniversary. Yours being a joyous union, it seemed to me that a realistic portrayal. Realistic? I don't want realism. I want perfection. A spectacle to slacken jaws and weaken knees. And to make people cry out in amazement. Okay, so he should just draw me then. Got it. Easy peasy. I'll be your model, Alfie. I got you. Now, fetch a blank canvas and... Oh. Ah! Ugh. Is someone gonna get dropped? I say? Did that come from above? <laughs> Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please! A tale to make you quiver and your noble blood freeze. There was a villain on the loose set to ruin our fair city, but our lord has got him now, and his fate will not be pretty. Should I do an accent? Yes, the hammer of justice is poised to come crashing down. Oh, I can't even do it. And one and all who'd watch it fall are invited to join his lordship in the offer. A malcontent? How dreadful. And this man is to face sentencing? That's right. In fact, if you're curious, it might be worth you going along for the experience. The offer they mention is part of the emergent. The level above us where Lord Varthry resides. Ordinarily, you would be barred from entering, but it seems they'll be opening its doors for the next little while. Karen Lift will take you up there. Am I about to see... Someone die? Am I about to see an innocent man die? Is it the apothecary man? Oh no. Oh no, 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 That's him. That's Vorthry. I'm trying to get a better look at who's beside. He's attended by Sin Eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? Mercy! Mercy! By the Twelve! <gasps> no! Kaishia, what happened to you? Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. I knew something would happen with that boy! Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Did he like slit his wrist? Like what's going on there? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. Oh, shit. He came to us, claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. Oh, fuck. Yuru is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society. Sir, that is not... That is not a good attitude. To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. And he had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord, <laughs> anything but that. What then is a man of mercy to do? 
but offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. He's trembling. Another way? Meaning what exactly? He gonna die. Sin eaters are part of Yulmore's society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. <laughs> Literally same Pepper! <laughs> Ishia won his place here by fraud. But his actions were driven only by a desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept. But to humiliate him thus, to demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmore? You tell him. You tell him, puppy. Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? Murder? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. Also I a dictatorship. Alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. Is, is that a baby? And thus am I alone the voice of justice. Do y'all see that and face? Any who oppose me is he holding a little to be punished? A little a little one? What what's going on there? No! Do not applaud that, you fucks! Oh, she angie. Oh, I angie. And people call this paradise. He has baby-shaped titties. You were granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Painting. Oh, an artist. Then you shall paint a picture for me of Yulmore. Is this like if a compromise? If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. Yes! Heal the boy! Who gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds? Oh, let me fuck I him up. I told you to paint me a picture! Let me fuck him up. Let me whoop his ass. Let me at him, Alfino. Let me at him! What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Girl. Can you walk? I think so. <laughs> Them's fighting words. Look at my ass! Boom, 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 boom. Did, did that little worm just insult me? Did you j it? Did you just catch on to that? Is he? Is he like part sin eater? Like what's going on there? <sighs> I'll kill them! I'll, I'll kill them all! I'll enslave their minds! I'll, I'll torment them! Torture them! Uh, then tear out their hearts! Oh my god, you're a spoiled brat! This is who you kneel for? Who's this? Oh, it's Ball Gag Man. Rat Man! Solus was here all along! All right. What the fuck was he doing there?
Forgive me. In my anger, I seem to have marched us back outside again. It was probably best we leave the island altogether. I believe we've worn out our welcome in Yulmore. In any case, I've seen enough of the world's self-proclaimed capital city to convince me that our battle against the Sinews will find few allies in Kalusia. I will accompany you back to the Crystarium. We need to regroup and think on our strategy anew. And you're coming with us, little man! Kaishir, I have done you a grave disservice. You were hungry and desperate, and I offered you a solution without once considering the risks inherent in you accepting it. If I had but known the price you would be made to pay, you gave me everything I needed to make your idea work. It was me who made a mess of things, not you. But even after all the trouble I caused, you still stepped in and saved me. And now Lord Vothry wants us all dead. Why not come back with us to the Crystarium? I am certain we can find work for you there, if you are willing. Oh. No. That would be me leaning on your kindness again. No, 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 this is different! I need to do some thinking. Learn how to stand on my own to be- No, 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 but you need to be somewhere safe! Come! Uh! Very well, but you must promise you'll be careful. Do you- The Yule Morans may yet come looking for us. I'll keep my head down, don't worry. And you take care too. Give me the chance to repay what you've done for me. Alf! <sighs> Alfino! You know. Lord and Lady Chai. What in the blazes did you do? They have the entire city looking for you. <laughs> I'm so scared of her. I took a peek at your unfinished portrait, Elf, you know. No, I've had many a beautiful many a beautiful and striking picture painted for me, but there was something about your work. It was as if you had caught the very essence of our love and rendered it naked upon the canvas. It was bold and flinching, and I adored it. Please, you must come back with us and finish what you began. I will speak with Lord Vothry and vouch for your character. I'm sure we can smooth over any hard feelings. Say no, bitch. Thank you. Good boy. I'm sorry, Lady Chai. There are more important matters to which I must attend. More important? What could be more important than enjoying the days we have left, of, left to us to the fullest? Pray press me no further. We are leaving. But I would not presume to take the garments you were so kind as, a pro as to procure for me. One moment. No! Take them! I wouldn't hear of it. Keep the clothes, you silly boy. I insist. Yeah, you look good! And I shall make arrangements so that you can pass through the gate without causing us to I expect you to come and visit. <laughs> I will return. I promise you that. The outrage I witnessed must not go unanswered. The next time we meet, I shall be better prepared to confront the corruption which hides behind the glittering facade. Sorry. I'm gonna miss you, though. You're an angel. Your husband? Not so much. You can do better. Alright, Gate Town. Speak with Alfino on Crackshell Beach. Where the fuck is Crackshell? What the? Where the bloody he Oh, okay. It's over there. So it's by the Crystarium, so now I gotta talk to him there, and then I can just DB, presumably. Just ignorant. Yeah. Like lease. <gasps> Well, thank you, but, um, I think I can hoof it. No, I'm a princess. I don't want to hoof it. Let him go die in a ditch. Yeah, the ball gag man. Oh, scrungly ball gag man. Oh, wow, thank you. That was such a long venture. I appreciate it tenfold. <laughs> thank you, my friend, for staying at my side through this whole sordid endeavor. Well, it's not quite the joyous outcome I had hoped for. Our efforts have nevertheless answered a great many questions. Suffice it to say, our plans for saving the first are unlikely to involve the aid of Lord Vothry. <laughs> and his subjects. Come, we must speak with the... Uh, oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, please be safe! Oh. Be careful! You may sink! Um, anyways. Come, we must speak with the Exarch and chart a new course. This is far from over. Am I finally gonna get the reveal? Are we gonna figure out who it is? Oh, hello. I still think it's Grahatia. It has to be. Because he was locked away in the Crystal Tower and look at how he fucking looks. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's, it's him. It's him. It's him. 
I know Sarnik said that, and a lot of you said that, like, the VAs voice multiple people. I don't give a fuck. That's him. <laughs> Fosk. <laughs> Am I gonna get a reveal, or is he still gonna be ominous? And now I got my babies! <sighs> it is good to be back amongst friends, not to mention my dear sister. I, I love these two. I love how much they, like... They love each other. It's very nice. I like seeing, like, family bonds in in games and such where where they're really close. Like in um, Dragon Age Origins, I think it's like you and your cousin Shari or Shiari or I forgot her name. Um, with the elven, the city elf uh, origin. Can't be a cat boy. The mall doesn't match. A hero then maybe? I guess. But like really short. Sometimes you fight the most with the people close to you? Yes. Not- yeah, they can't always be like super 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 PMA. You gotta have that like tough love in there. But that like... The tough love with the... With the whole like nobody can hurt that person except for me kind of shit, you know? No, he doesn't have a tail I guess. Unless he's hiding it. Like I said, he's probably tucking! Um, I have not seen her for some time, but I gather she is keen to press on with her plans as I am. And you've seen quite a lot of the first yourself now. More than enough to appreciate the scale of the obstacles we face. Let us lay our discoveries before the Exarch and discuss what must be done. Oh, this is a level 71 quest. Is this the last one or should I end here? Or should I do this one? Is it gonna be a cliffhanger? What's the vibe? Yeah, Shiani! Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. I fucking... I love that bit. End here? End here? I wanna... I don't wanna! I'm not gonna be able to do the MSQ until Saturday! Because uh, I'm going on tomorrow! Keep going, coward! Oh, but I'm sleepy. <laughs> Girl, look at some. I know it's two thirty. I gotta go to bed. Just one more quick. One more quick. Okay, hold on. What if I? What if I accept the quest and don't do what comes after? What if I do a little teasy tease? And <laughs> before I send the quest, puts you in three hours of cutscenes? Look, I ain't complaining. Oh my god, I've been streaming for six hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> what? Okay. Just. Just the crumb. Just a crumb? Is that a good idea though? Or like, should I end it here? <laughs> just flirt with the objectives. Just, just a little quest as a treat. Accept it, do it, fuck it. Yeah, like, I'll just like, accept it and then see what happens and then hop off. You're about to go into a cutscene soon? Like, if I accept it? Not sure if it's upon accept or not. <laughs> what if I just took one widow quest? Just, just one. You should definitely end here. Fuck, okay. For once, I will trust Vosk. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think it is fair to end here. I wrapped up Alize, I wrapped up Alfino. We did all the level 70 quests. This is the start of the level 71. I wanted to keep going, but I shan't. I shan't. I will not. Like will presents, yeah, like will presents, exactly. Oh my god, this game. Shadowbringers is off to such a good start. This has been so fucking good so far that I'm like a little in shock. 
Do you know what I mean? Hold on. One second, sorry. It's such a jarring twist to the way Stormblood began. I'm so invested in this. I love that they made me, like, catch up with Alize and catch up with Alfino. And not just being like, oh, like, what's going on? Like, what have you been up to? But they, like, specifically made me go through, like, how do I explain it? Like, experience what they've been going through with them. Like, a little taste of what they're doing, you know? And Alize before Alfie is the progress way to do it. Yeah, I on okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like... I feel like I definitely picked the right combo. Because, like, first of all... Solus at the end of that quest? And then with that, like, primal, like, uh, primal-looking sin eater thing because now that i've seen the sin eaters from the alize cutscene, you know like now knowing like the intro like these are what they are blah, blah 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 and then going there and then seeing them but like seeing them be controlled or whatever like calm perfect perfect that setup was so 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 good okay yeah all right okay that this yeah, this is going to be the, the end of my stream. This is it. All right. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope you had a bunch of fun. And I hope you're enjoying this run of Shadowbringers with me. A little taste of what their own specific struggles are. And what they've been going through. And where they're at emotionally on the journey. Yeah, it's really nice seeing Alfie knows um, backbone as well. I love him. I love the twins so much. I'm really glad as well. Because they were who I was like super worried about. So I'm really glad that I got to meet them first. That made me really happy. And that they're both okay, and now they're reunite. Love them. But, yeah. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join my Discord server. That way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and hang out with the community. I will not be live tomorrow, and if I am, it'll be very late or very, very early just to do my dailies. We will not be continuing the MSQ until Saturday. So I will see you all on Saturday for sure, right? Right. That being said, I will bid you all good night. Bye! Where's my ending screen? There it is. <laughs>